Hey, welcome back everyone to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I am Tibbs along with my BFF here, Ronnie. Soup. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, sorry for the delay, folks, but the wait will be well worth it because we got a monstrous video for you today as we tackle what might be the most complex dungeon in the game, the Great Bay Temple. Oh, man. What did Hurricane Irma hit that temple too in the Great Bay? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I actually really, really like this dungeon. Pe people tend to roll their eyes when they they, they think about it because they think, oh, it's going to be like the water temple. No, it's not. No iron boots to switch. It's time you can actually swim. And the water, well, you'll see, it's a lot more than just raising and lowering the water level. Yeah. And it, the temple is better than the water temple. It's more cooler and uh, not as, I don't think it's quite as tedious. I like the music too. It's like. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I forgot what the music sounded like. It's honestly been a while. I mean, again, since 2001. It's not really like music, it's more kind of atmospheric type stuff. Yeah. Look at this guy. Someone scratched my back. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no shame. Alright. For all of you uh, Zelda fanatics out there, you'll know that this guy was in the fishing hole in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> oh yeah, that is true. Uh, and when you try to leave, you, you, you get jerked back and your controller vibrates. If you have the uh, uh, rumble pack. Hey, where are you going? You can actually, when he, you're an adult and he's wearing that thing because his hair is gone, you can fish that off his head. <laughs> I don't think I ever knew that. Oh no, speaking of Hurricane Irma's. Oh wait, that was Death Mountain Cloud. Never mind. Oh. Well, for, for you people watching in the future, you know what week we did this video. <laughs> right, yeah. And Ravenous Spectre is safe. And so yeah, is Alpha 621. So, with the exception of a little rain, we didn't get anything. Yeah. All right, where's Link's warp or two? Oh, yeah. No, nothing was going to stop me from going to see it. Yeah. I saw a picture where it said, the neighbors went to go see it. This is what they're coming home to. And someone tied a balloon next to the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Easy to... Okay. This is why we went through all that mess to get this song. Oh, wait. Crap. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be as more for this. She's so sad. The music solves all problems. The song of healing. Oh. Bossa Nova. Yeah. That's right. You see that menacing structure in the back? That's where we're going. Doom, 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 doom. Ravenous structure. Oh. She looks frightening when she's singing. Yeah. She bears a striking, stri striking, striking link. I'm gonna say striking link. A hey, Matt Striker. Uh, he, she bears a striking resemblance to a Rudo. <laughs> Whoa. Plot twist. Turtle Rock. That's right. Well, Pinocchio knows what's going on. Oh, there it is. Turtle power! When I see this guy, I can't help but think of those, like, turtles in Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, I never played that game. I played Sonic the Hedgehog Moonlight Fail. Oh. <laughs> Moonshine? Wait. Something out of Banjo Kazooie. Great day. 
Now right, climb onto the largest back in the world, and I'll doll palace to safety, brother. <laughs> Black stroke all of us to safety. What you gonna do? Thank God Donald Trump's a Hulkamaniac, brother. What's it, that Royal Rumble? What you, what you gonna do when the Hulkamaniacs rumble all over you? I don't remember saying that. I remember one time he said something about, uh, and tonight, mother, brother. Like he messed up and he quickly corrected himself. Here we go. To quote Lisa Simpson, you got to admit, Ma, that was pretty cool. Mm, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Wait, it sounded like Tingle there for a second. So Tingle's a voice of Marge. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's the hurricane. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, it's, we're watching Twister now. <laughs> yeah. There's Hunt and Hunt and whoever else is in there. I don't know how being on that thing's back stopped me from getting blown away, but whatever. Because you're on the back of the turtle. The Great Bay Temple. Finally, at the five or ten parts later, we're at another dungeon. I know, right? This place, as a kid, confused the hell out of me, but over time, I've grown to really enjoy it. There's only one part of it I don't care for, and we'll get to that later. It's a very technological looking place. Yeah. And people give Castlevania 64 a hard time for having skeletons ride around on motorcycles. <laughs> The worst part about that game, no offense, is the camera. Yeah, I agree. I love that game, but the camera, yeah. Mario 64-esque camera angles. Yeah. So revolutionary 20 years ago, but now... Yeah. And just saying 20 years ago, talking about those games, makes me feel old. Right, yeah. Well, yeah, it was 20 years ago when Nitro debuted. 22 years ago. So he has to say 22. Yeah. Basically, this this room right here will show you what the kind of gimmick of this dungeon is. Basically, the, the idea of this dungeon has to do with a lot of water flow, changing the direction of the water, having the water pump in a certain direction. Basically, it's almost like this dungeon was a big like water pumping station, and you have to like make it... I'll pump again, something like that. Like it, it almost seems like it has an actual purpose for being here, other than just being a place of worship. You gotta go with the flow. That's right. So the boss of this dungeon is Flow from Progressive. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you play as. Geico, the li Gecko the Lizard from Geico, and you go up against Flo from Progressive. <laughs> yeah, and then the, um, what's that guy that, that guy that is in the Allstate commercials? <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you in good hands with Allstate? I don't know about Allstate, but I would, I'll be pulling for Flo to squash that Gecko, because Geico sucks. I wouldn't know. I've never had either one of them. That's a whole different rant for another time. <laughs> The S2K show, horrible insurance companies. <laughs> yeah, the design of this place is real. Like I said, even though they only had four dungeons in this game, they all made them very well done. Yeah. Or as they right here is a pro this room right here is a prime example of what I was talking about. If you see the way the water was turning, later on, we'll actually be changing the direction of the water, and that allows us to get even further. You said it was well done, as in, uh, or as in uh, what DK64 would say, it is well done. <laughs> and I don't mean the tag team from the WWE. 
Oh, jeez. Well done. How about more like Raw? Uh, As in Monday Night Raw. Who are they again? I don't remember. Timothy Well and Stephen Dunn. Not very well known. I'll give it an A for a creative, from a creative standpoint. Get it well done, you know, Stephen, well, Tim, Timothy Dunn, whatever, or vice versa. It wasn't Kevin Dunn. Huh? Oh, yeah. Kevin yeah. Dunn. He, he'd be their manager. <laughs> they go up against Cornette and the Midnight Express. <laughs> Imagine the promo battles between Cornette and Dunn. You know what, Jim? Your tag team sucks. You know what sucks, mother... <laughs> them doing that promo in ECW. <laughs> If Kevin Dunn loses, he has to, uh, he loses his teeth. <laughs> if Cornette loses, he loses his hair. I don't know. <laughs> hair versus teeth match. That'd be a first. Uh, boy. I'll get to knock Cornette them Bucky take... Beaver and teeth out of your mouth. He probably would take the racket and smack him right in the mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing about this dungeon that is greatly improved from its water predecessor a lot of people think that the water temple, the reason why it's so kind of hated by a lot of people is because it's confusing with the water levels. There's a couple parts in it. It's easy to get lost. The boss, some people love it, some people hate it. But for me, the biggest difference is in the water temple, in the original N64 Ocarina of time, you had to keep equipping and unequipping the iron boots and you had to pause the game every time. So it, it was annoying. Whereas in this game, you know, all you need really is the uh, the Zora mask, and it gives you so much freedom of movement. This is a water dungeon done very well because the water is literally part of its mechanic. Yeah, I hated that in the Water Temple, the constant switching of the iron boots or whatever. But in the remake for DS, or whatever, didn't was it easier? Like just hit L and R to quickly toggle back and forth. Yeah, yeah, it had um, a button you could always have him on. Yeah. It did something similar in the Wii U version of Twilight Princess and Wind Waker, for that matter. It, it put the iron boots on a separate button so you could always use them. And Majora's Mask for DS? Well, Majora's Mask doesn't have uh, iron boots. Oh, yeah, but I mean, like, I'm thinking of the item switching system without having to pause and go to your. Kind of like in Mega Man X, just hit L and R. Oh, oh. Piranha 3D here. Yeah, uh, Spinal's Pet Fish coming after you now. <laughs> How cool oh. would it be <laughs> to be a Zora? Man, you hit your head on the lily pad like that it was really that heavy. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, this is another one of those places, if you take a look at the overall map, like if you have a map or like a big master map in front of you, it's not really that big. Like none of the dungeons are really that huge, but it, it feels like it's bigger because there are so many rooms that you have to approach from multiple ways. Yeah, and you notice how you can't swim through certain tunnels until you unlock them. I guess, what, it's the current that's holding you back? That's right. Well, Tibbs, you got to stay current. Get good. That's right. Oh, man, the freaking that, bomb that's trees. For you, that, that, that's for you, Spectre, since you couldn't join us tonight. Get gear. Yeah, get gear. Well, greetings and salutators. I can't get on commentary today because the old lady's watching uh, May Young Classic, so we're watching uh, the old lady's watching the old lady <laughs> classic, and, and there you go. <laughs> yeah, well, give the woman a hand. Ah. Oh. Oh, uh, poor Mark Henry. She has yeah. a penis. Yeah. That's why they call me Sammy, baby. Oh, boy, this room. There's nothing in here. Huh. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Wait a minute. Is, is that the that's the boss from A Link to the Past? Uh, the Misery Mire. What? Actually, I think this is supposed to be... No, not Misery Mire, uh, the, the water dungeon. I know, yeah, I know, I know which one you're... Um, oh, what's the boss's name? 
I know there's like three eyeball bosses in Link to the Past. Misery Mire, I think, is... Vitreous. The Ice Palace is Cold Stare. The uh, Argus is the name of that boss you're thinking of. Here, I'll pick it. I, don't, I think here it's... I think here it's like Wart or something like that. Wart. Lawsuit. Um... I don't, I don't think I knew the names of the bosses in the Lantern Pass at all, except for Aghanim and Ganon. Yeah, you got the Armos Knights, uh, the, I think the Land Molas, yeah, the Moldorm. Then in the Dark World, you have the Helmosaur King, Argus, um, Mothula, Blind the Thief, uh, Cold Stare. That's right, Blind. And, yeah. and, um, and uh, Trinex. That's right, Blind. I knew his name was Blind. Not the other name you, you called him, but blind, yeah. What was did, did you like? Did you know that 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 was that little girl was blind? Did you predict that, or did it surprise you? I think when I first played it, uh, it it didn't occur to me. Like I I knew that taking her outside was too easy, and when we went into the boss room, I think that's when it hit me. Like I figured. That the boss like would that she would lure the boss out or something like that. Yeah, that's what gave me. I think that's what kind of made me think, what's going on here? Err, let's not go outside. And I'm like, why not? Don't you want to escape? And then when I bombed that hole, and then I went into the boss room and it showed the light shining on the floor, and then I put two two together. She don't want to go outside. Where, uh, you know, why does she want to go outside? And then that light in the floor. That's when it hit me. Man, this uh, this boss has his eye on me. All right, yeah. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. God, he's freaking out. Oh, I guess I would too if someone kept shooting me in the eye. Yeah, I mean you did you did come into his dungeon, so he has That's the right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna get hit. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh yeah, sometimes sometimes it's a pain because he just won't open up. Yeah, he, he won't open up. You know, he he keeps it all inside. Yeah, come on, don't be such an introvert. Come on. Hey, I, he he's he's acting like the WWE's creative team. Oh, did you see? <laughs> but did you see that you shot him and then he well, still missed you though? Came after you. Wait, there, finally, jeez. There we go. No, hey, look at me. You look at me. <laughs> just just look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh jeez, man, Rob Conway. <laughs> Just look at me. That was his idea too. Ain't I a sight to see? No. <laughs> Which is worse though, him or Sylvan? Didn't he come dressed up like a male stripper or something like that? Like a, a army guy, yeah, a service man, but it was a ploy to join the the French Canadians. Or no, the I mean, La Resistance or whatever they were called. But you know what? Say what you want. I actually kinda liked Rene Dupree. Yes. He was built as hell for such a young guy. Yeah, and he was, uh, I thought his little dance was funny, and he came out to the poodle, and they told him to stop doing that dance because he was getting over it. They didn't want to get over it. And that's what I hate. Let people get over organically. Forget politics. Forget forcing people down our throats. Let the right people get over organically. Yeah. Look at Braun Strowman. Who would have thought he would have gotten over as much as he has? Right, yeah. Yeah, now we got the ice arrows, which are head and shoulders a thousand percent more useful in this game than they are in Ocarina of Time, let me tell you. Yeah, that's a good shampoo. <laughs> I knew. Remember? Ooh. <laughs> Remember King of the Ring 98? You should know what I'm talking about. Uh, does it have something to do with shampoo? Al 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 oh, yeah, yeah, versus. the head and shoulders joke with head, yeah. I vaguely remember. I don't remember the exact line, but I do remember something like that. Your head and shoulders above the rest. Or whatever. They attached the bottle of head and shoulders to Al Snow's head so they could pin. Oh, yeah, that's that's right, yeah. Back when too cool was too much. Yeah, when they sucked. Before they were cool. Now 
I would restore the water flow in this room while well, the part of it. Well, no, actually, whenever you see the pipes like rippling like that with like a little light effect, that means there's water flowing through it. Yeah. Going through the vents here kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Yeah, there's a ferry in this pot, and it can be tricky to get. Oh, doing a. Uh, can't stop moving. Looks like doing some nice karate moves there. Max on, Max on. Remember karate fighters, and they would push that all the time in WWF. <laughs> oh yeah. Survivor Series or Karate Fighters presents Survivor Series. Wasn't it like it was like the final of the tournament they had on Raw when Lawler finally asked Goldust if he was queer, and Goldust is like, "No." No, and it hits him in the face. And I remember that time during an interview, Jared goes, listen, you ain't nothing but a flaming fag. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Even back then, that was a shocker. Now, you definitely, you're not going to say that in WWE. <laughs> oh, that's hard to get. The stupid current. Well, now that it's free, all you got to do is put the mask on. Come oh, right that's right. I love the color of the fairies in this place. I love blue slash purple. Yeah. Is it, I guess, Hugh? Hugh Morris? <laughs> Alright, currently you're on track here. That's right. Great Society Titers, I just joined the commentary here and make mashed potatoes and gravy in the water temple. Oh, it's time to get good. It's time to get good. This hurricane needs to get good and get gone so I can do some more commentary here. Taters and gravy. I didn't know Luke Gallus was here. Yeah, that's the, because uh, the copyright laws, uh, SC2K cannot use uh, biscuits and gravy. Uh, so uh, uh, Spectre and Wee Guy, uh, Festus and Jesse have to use uh, taters and and, and gra uh, taters <laughs> and bacon or something. I don't know. That, that, that's the poor man's version. <laughs> yeah. Taters and bacon made me a man. You know, the other day, I saw a video of someone talking about Serena Deeb, and I was like, who the hell is that? And then I remembered that she was part of um, CM Punk's Straight Edge Society. That's right, yeah. I forget what they called her, but she had, like, no hair. It, it was Serena, yeah. If you think about it, Link is doing more for plumbing than Mario ever did. Right? Yeah. I think I saw something on Facebook where Nintendo actually revealed that Mario was never a plumber. <laughs> yeah. I didn't read it. I just seen it. I'm like, really? Yeah, whatever. Who cares? It's not going to ruin my childhood. Yeah. One thing I, I feel... Always like to think, I always like to think instead of going to the job, he just like stayed home and took acid or mushrooms all day and that's what the games are. Yeah. I feel dumb though. For some reason, for the longest time, I thought Mario and Luigi were monkeys. Huh? Yeah, because they jump real high and they their face and I don't know. Just they were like, what the heck are they? They get big and little and I'm like, and Mushroom Kingdom, like, well, and what are they? You got toads, hey. or, or hey, not toads? Not even toad, boat, huh? Whatever floats your boat, dude. Yeah, I'm like, what? What the heck? A toad is not even a toad. It's a mushroom. Why do you call them toad? It's we, not even a frog. We don't, we don't judge here at SD2K. Yeah. So for some reason, I, I thought they were monkeys. You, I say that to you when you created the damn channel. <laughs> right, yeah. You guys are dumb. You guys are cheaters. SC2 gay. Hey, the, that would you know that would actually be a cool name. Yeah, SC2 gay. Like if, would, we, if we ever wanted to do a spinoff. Yeah, and uh, rainbow colors instead of the blue and black color scheme. <laughs> And it don't mean like, it don't, it don't necessarily mean homosexuality, it just means happy. Yeah. We're happy. Yeah. Playing Hello Kitty and stuff like that. Yeah. Or the Neon Cat, ne Neon, Neon, Nyan Cat, whatever his name is. Ooh, on target. I actually just uh, played Double Dragon 4 the other night. It was pretty good. I'm trying to play it, but I can't, you can't play with a controller. I have to use a keyboard. I said, forget that. Well, I got it on the Switch, so I can't. Well, Gentoo bought it for me on Steam, and so 
I kind of feel bad because I haven't played it yet because you have to use a keyboard. And I said, I don't want to do that. I can't stand playing games on my keyboard unless it's a keyboard, unless it's a Shadowgate, which uh, Blue Rose bought me the 2014 remake on Steam. But all you got to do is use your mouse for that. Man, I'm going to have some major wrinkles after this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a little at me young. Oh, jeez. Don't you do it! Don't you do yeah. it! You know what? I know, say say what you want about Mae Young, but unlike Sammy, at least Mae Young is actually a woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark Henry, I guess, uh, yeah, yeah, m moved yeah, up. She showed us. She showed us how much of a woman she was. Yeah, jeez. Uh. If anybody's actually that curious, Royal Rumble 2000 or 2001, one of the 2000, I think. 2000. Oh man, I saw that too, and it was live, so they couldn't cover it up. I wondered if they told her to do that. They did the same thing with the cat, and some other, the pay per view before that, I think, Armageddon. Uh, not Ernest Miller, but the cat. Uh, yeah. yeah, the cat, whatever her real name was. Stacy, Stacy something. Stacy Lawler, or whatever she was, and yeah, just uh, <laughs> but May Young, jeez. <laughs> Uh, I know they did that to be funny, and Andy Richter did the final vote. And you, kn you knew he was going to vote for her. You just knew the swerve was coming. So it wasn't. It was yeah, a swerve, but not really. Freddie Blassie was there, and he loved it. Yeah. <laughs> I think the others were Ivory, Terry, Jacqueline, that BB woman that was there for like two oh, seconds and yeah. nobody cared about. Yeah. Mark Henry trying to cover up. <laughs> Uh, my, the funniest, one of the funniest thing, things about the whole storyline was when the Valentine's Day episode of Raw, where they try to get a hotel room together, and the clerk assumed it's going to be two separate rooms. And he goes, okay, uh, so two separate rooms? And he goes, no, nah, man, we want the love suite, man. He's like, okay, yeah, I can do that for you. Gives them the keys, and he goes, ooh, let's get it on, let's get it on. And then the clerk for goes, oh, my God. For all you young kids out there, are wondering what the hell we're talking about go on the network and watch some attitude era monday night raw you will see things that you will never see again in wrestling get parents permission first um yeah. and <laughs> um the, the also later on that night uh then when we got in there like she had the edible panties turn off the light <laughs> he goes mm, tutti frutti and jared goes ah! and they go back to the arena and jr goes <coughs> You're you're right, King. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh I think there's one time where he threw up in his crown, but not really, but it looked like he was, and <laughs> for some May, May Young related incident. And hey, why not? So, someone took a shit in his crown once. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like one time, uh, they, they Jr. and the King was talking at, uh, at the commentary table. All of a sudden, they showed a close up of May Young's face backstage, and and Jared Lawley goes, ah! <laughs> And JR goes, oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, wait, that's Mae Young. Coming up next, Mae Young and Moolah are coming out. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. God, God bless her. Yeah, she, she was she was great. Tough old woman, too. How are you going to take a bump at age 80-something? Or, Jeez. That, it's interesting, too, because the... the Moolah was the one who was the famous wrestler, had the championship for years, and no one really remembered Mae Young's career. But now it's like the opposite. Mae Young's so famous because of the Attitude Era, and no one remembers Moolah anymore. Right, yeah. And I was going to say, uh, Mae Young, the, uh, dang it, what was I going to say? Like, it was the Bischoff joke, the pie crust. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Isn't pie crust covers his mouth, JR? So this mini boss here, this uh, wait a minute. Did, I love this. I love that ice breaking right there. It's so cool. There's an ice breaking for you. What's your favorite Zelda game? <laughs> All these toxic bubbles that Swindoll said was toxic and has the alien DNA. I was playing this game for y'all was born. Yeah, I played before I hit the shelves. 
thank you, by the way, for playing those videos during your anniversary stream. <laughs> oh, yeah, no problem. It was fun at first, but then when everybody left, it was just me and Danny. I'm like, all right, well, I'm done. Thanks, guys, for watching. <laughs> <laughs> So you fight this frog in every dungeon, right? No, we actually we only fight this thing twice in the Woodfall Temple in here. Oh, okay. So I knew I'd seen it somewhere before. If you get too close to that bubble, he'll actually start like doing like karate moves on, like punching you and shit. <laughs> Hate to burst your bubble, but you're gonna die. Live in your own little bubble, Bubble Man. Final, there's the final frog. Oh, nice. Feeling froggy? Yeah. Use the bomb blast suit. I mean, the blast mask. <laughs> Don Gito. Don, Don Quixote. Don Quixote, or however you pronounce it. Yeah, well, not for long, baby. The dialogue will actually be different if you've beaten Snowfall Temple before you talk to them. Alright, we're getting close here. Ah, the Sasha Banks key? Yeah. Get it? Because it's boss. <laughs> <laughs> Break your neck, Link. You were like two feet from that wall. Yeah. Look at those moves. Yeah. Show me your moves. Uh. Yeah, I said this was the most complex dungeon in the game that might because the, the, the final dungeon has one of the most interesting mechanics in any Zelda dungeon ever so it's kind of a coin toss to w which one I enjoy more I think they're both great on their own merits I can't think of my favorite temple overall in every Zelda game but the one on top of my head that I really love is the spirit temple I have to say, the ancient ship from Skyward Sword is incredible, because the whole setting of it is amazing. Yeah, I only played a little bit of that game. I didn't even get real far in it before I just stopped playing it and eventually sold my Wii. See, the water was going one way, but now we're going to make it go the other way. How would you compare this to uh, the Water Temple Twilight Princess? In Twilight Princess, well, I have. Uh, well, that's. Mm, in a way, for me, it's kind of hard to make that comparison because even though they're both Zelda games, are two very different Zelda games, and that that one definitely has a different feel to it. Like, there's not, with the exception of the main room with all the staircases, there isn't a whole lot of water manipulation. You got the hook shot and whatnot. So I mean, you you have the hook shot here, but this dungeon doesn't really use it. So I can't really make too much of a direct head-to-head -head comparison as to which one I like better. I think I actually like this one better because the Lake Bed Temple. I mean, I love Twilight Princess. Don't get me wrong, but the Lake Bed Temple for me is one of the more uneventful dungeons in that game. To me, it's all right. I still prefer that though over the Water Temple. <laughs> Even though I'm not to say this is the more fun one because of how you're Azora, you can the way you can move around and stuff. Exactly. And see how now the water, instead of moving uh, counterclockwise, is moving clockwise. So now we can go into these other rooms. Clockwise orange? I mean, wait, clock Te works. <laughs> Technically, you can still if you if you can well, not necessarily glitch it, but if you can maneuver in, in certain ways, you can actually get into some of these rooms early. 
But oh, I cool. forget whether you can actually do anything and then if the water's going the wrong way. Lakitu would show up with a sign saying, wrong way, wrong way, turn around. <laughs> no, Tingle would, mm, you're going the wrong way. I don't know, Tattle would, Tattle would tattletale on you. No, Skip would, he'd like, it's too soon, follow your map. Yeah, follow the on-screen, follow the path. You can't go here yet. Of which, tell your buddy Skip that I'm king. He'll know what I mean. Oh, okay. He wants, he wants to be the Raspberry King. <laughs> but no, Nikki said he'd be the, the Blueberry King, which he is from that Starburst commercial years ago. <laughs> okay, is this the room I think it is? Yes, it is. Okay, this room actually has an interesting fact about it. In, the, in our version, the North American version, these platforms will always line up perfectly. From what I understand in the Japanese version, you actually had to time freezing that, or else they wouldn't necessarily line up perfectly. Wait now, on top of that big structure. Wait, what's he thinking here? Good lord, you, you can't, good lord, hope not. Don't do it, kid! Don't do it! You'll regret it for the rest of your life! I remember watching WrestleMania 23, and instead of Jeff Hardy grabbing the briefcase, he wants he wanted to jump off and land land on the edge. He's on the ladder outside that's propped up between the uh, guardrail and the ring. JBL's like, "No, what are you doing, kid? Go up there and win the damn match! Damn it, the hell!" Just like Survivor Series 2001, where he he could have escaped the cage, but instead he wanted to do the Swanton Bomb through the table, and he missed. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Instead, and JB, JBL goes, he could have won the damn match, damn it to hell, Jeff Hardy, but instead he wanted to be the human highlight reel. <laughs> the lights are on, bright, let's dance. <laughs> I hate it when he said that cheesy ass cliche commentary. Come on, JBL. Get, get. <laughs> With Texas football Friday night lights. Because just like in the movie, er uh, everybody in Texas talks like that. Yes, yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw. I was telling um, when N N Nikki and I went to dinner tonight, and I was telling her that one of my favorite names for any city ever is Waxahachie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Waxahachie. <laughs> That's where Trevor Murdoch's from. Yep. That's right up there with truth or consequences, although I don't know if that's a real place. <laughs> yeah, I wonder about that. I think it is. Or Blackpool, England. <laughs> or Hoboken, New Jersey. <laughs> Hulk, Hulk Hogan? Hulk Hogan! You Hulk Hogan! <laughs> or his... Hulk. Yeah, or Parts Unknown. <laughs> Or maybe a Damien Demento. Barely. He was from from the outer reaches of your mind. <laughs> His biggest claim to fame was being in the first main event of Monday Night Raw. He faced The Undertaker. Yeah, jeez. Uh, Lane from High Rule. From High High Rule, and uh, now in Termina. To find his friend, Navi, from the outskirts of High Rule. Oh. Ah, why would you want to find her, JR? She never shuts up. Ah. Went to High Rule High School. My friend's mother got mad at me when I was a kid. I made her mad. She usually took me to school, but one day she goes, Well, you could walk to school. <laughs> and me and my friends make fun of her. Hey, hey Ronnie, you could walk to school. <laughs> I would have answered her back, like, fine, I'll walk to Skill. Yeah. All right, I'll go to Skill, close the door, run off. <laughs> what has happened to my Skill? Yeah. To my Skill. Ron Simmons, former running back and high school trophy winner, Marietta High Skill. Alongside Marcus Alexander Bagwell. Oh, boy. 
American males. I saw a promo the other night where Scott Steiner turned on Buff, and I guess that's when he left the NWO. Well, the NWO was pretty much dead anyway at the time, but Scott Steiner turned on Buff, and then uh, before he did, though, Scott Steiner goes, before you were the NWO, you were nothing, and if we kick you out, you'll be nothing again. And I said, wow, Scott Steiner really does destroy people with the truth. Yeah. Because that's the only time I ever cared about Marcus Bagwell is when he was buff in the NWO. Before and after that, never cared about him. When he started coming out with that huge hat, I was like, like the night he faced Booker T on Raw and, and uh, was it Tacoma when the, before the whole invasion thing? Uh, I was like, why, why? I was like, well, why am this is Raw? Why the hell am I watching Buff Bagwell? Yeah, by then he was really past his prime, and I mean he he wasn't great or funny, and except for those like, two years with NWO from '96 to '98. He was teamed with Scott Norton, right? Uh, vicious and delicious, and then after that he just uh, he had that neck injury. And then he was just uh, Scott Steiner's manager for a while before he wrestled again. Or not manager, but just uh, sidekick or whatever the heck he was. He'd just come down the aisle and interfere. His, his, if, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have gotten Judy Bagwell on a lift. Oh, geez, yeah. Former tag team ja champion Judy Bagwell. Former tag team champion with partner Rick Steiner. Uh, Judy, Judy Bagwell on a forklift match. <laughs> Jeez, man, I think that I was wondering if that was a worker shoot. If that, if is that really her, uh, his legitimate mother in real life? And I, I look at the face, and I think it is because I see the resemblance, but I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and watch it and see how she behaves. Well, she. So you can tell sometimes. She did okay for somewhere no experience, uh, uh, no experience in TV or promos or whatever, but. Um, the look at the facial features and the accent, d definitely Southern Georgia or whatever. I, so it might be her, her uh, his uh, legitimate mother. Buff is fluff. <laughs> yeah. You know, he kind of he kind of actually reminds me of Johnny Cage a little bit. Like he's full of himself, but he's a douche. Yeah. My friend's dad will always say, I like Buff. Like, tell me, what's his favorite wrestler? I like Buff. <laughs> it's actually Swindoll's uncle that said that. I like Buff. Yep. It's, uh, yeah. Swindoll's, yeah, Swindoll's cousin's dad, of course, means his uncle. Swindoll's uncle. <laughs> I like Buff. Wait, Link is like, oh my god, they're, they're spending too much time talking about Buff Bagwell. I gotta finish quick. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. The Buff Temple? Jeez. No. American fail. American fail. American fail. <laughs> ECW! <laughs> Jeez, imagine the reception they would have gotten in ECW. They would have gotten probably murdered during a riot. <laughs> Imagine uh, the American males versus the el Eliminators. Oh, man, they would get eliminated for sure. Perry Saturn, I don't know much about John Cronus, but I know Saturn probably would have booked both of them by himself. <laughs> Jeez. No, the American males versus New Jack and Mustafa, the, the original oh, gangsters. <laughs> for the love of God. But Bagwell comes out, we challenge you to a tables match, Dudley boys. <laughs> Whoa. The, any team would beat the, the the American Fails in ECW. Danny Doring and Roadkill, the Mama Lukes, or whatever they were called. Yeah, they, the Mama Lukes. <laughs> yeah, they would. Uh, I mean, the FBI, uh, Lil Guido, and Tony Mama Luke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Techno Team 2000. <laughs> Techno Team 2000 would probably whoop the American Males. Jeez. The only team, uh, Judy Bagwell, Rick Steiner, were because of Rick Steiner. <laughs> the, the, the dicks? <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the dicks or the, there's another one called the dupes or dups in ECW that didn't stay long. And there was another one, this, the, 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 the Mulkies would whoop the American Mouse. <laughs> All right, it is boss time. Now, remember how I said there was one thing about this dungeon I didn't particularly care for? We are about to see it. This is probably the least liked boss in this game. Oh, you're about to fight the drum boss. Oh. 
No, that would be cool. Yeah. I mean, I like this POV shot here, but the boss itself kind of stinks. I mean, it's cool looking, but the fight, yeah, just doesn't do it for me. I'm trying to remember what he looked like here. I guess I'll find out here in a second. Well, you're, you're about to. It's Pennywise the Clown. No. Pennywise. <laughs> it is the Gargantuan Mask Fish, Gior. Jeez, I vaguely remember this boss. I thought it was some sort of another amoeba or something. Not too much to say about this thing. Just a big fish. Not bad, but you're just a big fish in a small pond, brother. Yeah. Remember that wrestler, the I fish? And I, uh, and I have to bring you to what? <laughs> it's Shark Boy. <laughs> oh, Shark. Shell, wasn't yeah. That, uh, shark Boy, wasn't that uh, John Tenta like earthquake? No, Shark Boy was Shark Boy was in TNA. Okay, I'm thinking of, um... It's Dungeon of Shark. Doom. Dungeon of Doom, yeah. Sharporg actually wrestle. Rest in peace, Earthquake. I love the Earthquake character, but Sharporg actually move around do different stuff. Did you know that Earthquake was Golga? Yeah. I didn't know that till relatively recently. Yeah, Golga 13, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew that because back then, even before the internet, there was this uh, local wrestling hotline. They tell you a few tidbits of stuff. They said... One of the oddities, Golga, is Earthquake under a mask. I'm like, what? <laughs> Whoa. There's plenty yeah, of fish in the sea for Link. Him. Yeah, all you gotta do is shock him. Yeah. Some speed runs of this are pretty cool. Fishman from Mega Man 2. You know, speaking of the oddities, uh, Nikita had never heard of the Insane Clown Posse until last night. She's like, do you like them? I'm like, no. Well, that's not a bad thing to never heard of them. <laughs> oh, we got him. Nice. Boy, he was... He was flopping around like a fish out of water. Man, oh, he, he was a flop. <laughs> He's like a flip-flop, GR. He's flipping around, huh? Oh, he, le he leaves you his heart. Brett's heart? Go <laughs> 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 yuck! Get the fuse shadow. Oh. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> Three down, one to go. Yep. Where's it going? Don't you need that? Oh. <laughs> right, here we go again. With another giant. <laughs> What's it saying, Link? Hey, listen! Right, yeah, that's copyright infringement. <laughs> What she was saying? Oh, I can't tell. Hell. Uh, our friend. Learn how to cut a promo, kid. Now, this, I've always wondered by saying help our friend, are they referring to the last giant or the skull kid? Now there's a little thing to think about. I think it's the last friend because uh, the Skull Kid. That what what connection would they have with the, would he have with the Giants? Because in, in basically in the in the I can't remember if we've gotten to it yet, but there's a little thing you when you listen to the stories that Angie's grandmother tells where 
before Termina came to be, or back when the first people were living, I guess you could say, when the giants were living among them, the Skull Kid was their friend. But when they left to take care of the four temples, the four compass directions, he got sad, and that's when the fairies found him. And then he got corrupted by the mask. Okay. Well, that is part 17, and that's quite a, this has been a, quite a video. We had a dungeon, we had Buff Bagwell, we had Mae Young. You got everything in this video. So, you got the total package. <laughs> that's, oh, God, that, that, that's another video. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ferrani, I am Tibbs. God bless and take care. Welcome to part 18 of Let's Play Lajora. Le Lajora. Lajora's Le Mask. The Lajora of the Lask. Yeah, this is Ron Moore, along with the Ravenous Spectre. Greetings and salutators to you all. Once again, it is me, the Ravenous Spectre, along with the Moor of Rons. I mean, Rons, the Ron Moor. Yeah, and for those of you who may have who do follow us on Facebook and Twitter, I said that Tibbs is not able to continue the LP anymore because of his schedule, his promotion. <laughs> And uh, he's just too busy to do commentary anymore. So, God help us all, I'm going to take over this LP. Yeah, it'll be a long one, but we'll uh, stick straight through it all the way up until all the way up until the end. Yeah. And Hopefully one day Tibbs will be able to join us again in the future. We'll, we'll see how that goes with future uh, commentaries. Yeah. Um, and so, in Part 17, Tibbs defeated... The Great Bay Temple. So this is right after, and everything is back to normal again and, and peaceful in Lake Halia, whatever this place is called. Yeah, we were going to actually end up having uh, one or two other people with us tonight, but um, apparently they were they they couldn't join us. So uh, would have been cool to end up having you know three or four people commentating on this. But yeah, it's time to play some metal. This isn't metal. This is no. jazzy. It's jazz under the sea. Under the sea. Under yeah. the sea. It's jazzy under the water. Where is hotter? Something, something so I don't know. The Little Mermaid for N64. Indeed. Remember the little mermaid on, on NES? That was an interesting game. I played a little bit of it, probably the first level, that was it. Yeah. I think it was one of those Disney games that came out that was probably one of their better ones on the NES, I think, at least from my experience. Yeah. Just like they did with other like uh Rescue Rangers and DuckTales and I think Tailspin was probably a good one that was also on the NES. DuckTales wasn't that bad. I mean, uh, Darkwing Duck is one. Uh, DuckTales is awesome, but Darkwing Duck wasn't as great, but not that bad. So this is not heavy metal they play here. This is light metal. He takes off his mask in front of all of them, and they can't tell <laughs> that that was him the whole time. <clears throat> So now I guess it's time for Link to leave Lake Halia. Or the Great Bay or the Green Bay Plunge, whatever Mr. Kennedy's finish move was. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Great Bay Coast. The Green Bay Plunge? Yeah. I think that's what it was. Green Bay Crash. Green, Green Bay so Plunge. How about the Green Bay Plunge versus the Pearl River Plunge? Mr. Kennedy versus Ahmed Johnson. Those would be two pretty, two pretty, a cup of two, two fruity, rest and fruity booty. I can't even talk to you. That would be an interesting little. Uh, rivalry. Yeah, I think uh, Mr. Kennedy might end up getting hurt. Yeah, for, yeah, knowing how Ahmed Johnson is, I wouldn't doubt Yeah, him. yeah. Not at all. All right, so Link or Macau, or whoever we are under this mask, is heading this way. Heading this, walk this way. Walk this way! Dun, 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 dun. Talk this way. <laughs> That was pretty cool when they ended up mixing that up with around DMC. Yeah. 
I was actually listening to some Aerosmith on uh, Spotify a couple of days ago because I was just kind of putting in some random bands that, of some songs that I have of them because I want to check out their other discography or whatever you want to call it. And I uh, was checking out some other songs of theirs that I never heard before. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've ever seen this or not, but there have been talk about people wanting to see like a like a um, cyberpunk slash steampunk esque Zelda. I really think that would be really cool if Nintendo could manage to bank something out like that. I would definitely play it. Uh, nah, he needs to. They need to stick to the same formula. I did hear there was an April Fool's joke ten years ago that the next Zelda game was going to take place in the future, and this. Uh, Mega Man X esque motorcycle was actually a Pona. I'm like, what? Nah. Honestly, I I think that'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> Man, I would. A lot of people were pissed, and I was like, I think this is a joke because they do that every year, and it was close to April first. I say this has got to be a joke. It, but when I first saw Spirit Tracks, the trader for it, I thought that was a joke, and then I found out it was real. I'm like, what? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Craziness. Well, at least they were on the right track. <laughs> all right, so now Link turns over all the fairies of this section of the game to the, to the great fairy, and now my defense has been strengthened. He regurgitates everything. Sounds like the wicked witch of the fairy fountain. Yeah. The wicked witch. We can reach Hyrule or something like that. Yeah. I can see uh, Queen, 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 Princess Zelda go into a little bit of a Smash Brothers 4 way. I almost said 4 way. That didn't come out right. Fatal 4 way. Uh, yeah, Fatal 4 way. <laughs> it's not a steel cage. When hell is hell, it'll be a kettle from hell match. Uh, yeah. With, uh, Link Wolf out at ringside. <laughs> Biting anybody who gets out of the cage. Yeah. 20 years ago, last month, Kane made his debut. That's got to be Kane. Yeah, and now he's going to be feuding with Braun Strowman, apparently, which I really like Braun Strowman. But uh, Kane, uh, he needs to go back to selling insurance and homes and getting back into politics like he was previously. It's really funny to think that somebody who had such a crazy character in WWE is actually involved in uh, a job, a career like that, dealing with like, I think it was dealing with like uh, home home insurance or homeowners or selling homes or something like that. He was also trying to get into politics or some politics. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if like his competition that he's running against would have made like a video, one of those scandal videos, like Glenn Jacobs is known as a demon from hell named Cain. Uh, oh, this, yeah. this is what he's done. He's done this to his own brother. And he's electrocuted Shane McMahon's balls. What would yeah. he do to you? Don't vote Kane. Or don't yeah. vote Glenn Jacobson. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they'd be like, well, we kind of should vote for the terrorists in the first place. I mean, if anything, anybody who's anybody knowing how popular the wrestling was back then, I guess, I guess it's kind of, kind of popular now, but not as popular as it used to be. But um, I think that. I think it'd be kind of funny if, if everybody was like, no, you're, you're wrong. It's it's just a bunch of fake fake news. It's fake news <laughs> that's going out there about Kane. And that actually would be fake news. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we got another bonus game going on here. Three, two, one, and... Oh, it's AJ Styles coming out at number three. No. <laughs> Get CM Punk at number 30. Okay, so this looks like fun. Oh my goodness, what is this? You gotta jump and land on where, where the torches light up, and I think you gotta do it in time before the flames go out. It's a mini game. W ECW. ECW. I can't stand mini games and in, in games. Honestly, I'm yet. I think I've yet to see one that actually kind of interested me. Or like side games, things you can play, like in RPGs, like say for like 
Final Fantasy VII with the Chocobo races, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX with their uh, card card games that they had in there, or like Witcher 3 with its win card game. I'm just like, uh, I'd rather just go ahead and stick with the main story and side quests and all that. I don't know why, I just never got into like side quests. Which I, is, this a, is this part of the main quest or is this like a side quest? No, it's a side quest. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of mini games either, and that's probably why I never played any Mario Party game. Yeah, yeah, I honestly thought about playing some Mario Party games before in the past. I think actually Nintendo is supposed to be releasing every single Mario Party game on, I don't know if it was the Switch or the 3DS or something like that. And I'm just like, holy freaking crap. Because I'm going to be like, that's a whole lot of daggone partying going on. But I've always wanted to try some of them out because I've heard some were better than other ones were. So I just never, I just, but I never really got into it because I never really had anybody that was really wanting to check them out. So yeah, they should make a Luigi party. <laughs> yeah, everybody's being scared and timid all the time. <laughs> you see that video I shared on Facebook where Luigi, if it says if Lu Luigi was honest and he just put Mario in his place and left him alone and left him to die in Bowser's castle. I heard about that. Did you hear that? I need to tag you in that or uh, or something, yeah, because it's freaking hilarious. It's uh, I don't know who originally created it, but I shared it from a Facebook page, and uh, Mario just basically tell. I mean, Luigi just tells Mario uh, what he really thinks about him because he's so fed up of him getting the glory. He says something about you no, know, there's Mario baseball, Mario tennis, Mario this. So you didn't even invent none of those sports. And Mario goes, what about Luigi? Uh, Luigi's Mansion. That's named after you. Isn't that the bullet bill calling the kettle black or whatever he said? And he goes, uh, uh, there's a good reason for that because it's my f mansion. And <laughs> Luigi said, I'm faster than you. And my fireballs shoot higher than yours. I'm more athletic than you. <laughs> and and Luigi just got fed up with, with his stuff and just left. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a pretty funny video. Mm. <laughs> Back here in Clock Town. Well, back is the Goron again. Well, this is Arabian music again. Mm. Are we playing bomb. Assassin's Creed Origins? Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> At the bomb shop. This place is bomb. This place is the bomb. Bomb, 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 da dang, da dang, diggy, 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 diggy. It should be, it should be, it should be, whatever it is. Got the powder keg again. You know, seeing this really makes me miss the Twilight Princess LP that we started last year around this time and it ended this year. Hmm. But I, that's definitely part of why, especially for how many, how many parts was that, actually? I forgot how many parts, but uh, the last part that we did, the final finale was like about an hour and a half long. Did you double, double check to make sure you were recording the last? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. I double checked it this time. All right, that's good. Go back and see it again. Oh, crap. We weren't recording anything this time for ourselves for almost an hour. Oh, sorry. I'm having trouble hearing you. I was like, oh, we were just talking to ourselves for well over an hour without recording anything. <laughs> yeah. PW Insider did that before. They did like probably 30 minute or hour audio show. They do it all over because uh, for some reason it didn't record. Oh, that bloody sucks. Yeah. One time they recorded and it was nothing but silence. And then finally the host go or the, the owner of the site goes, all right, fine, I guess I'll host it. And then the other guy goes, you just say hit record. You didn't say to host. And the guy goes, how does this website stay in business? <laughs> <laughs> I think Link is waiting for that old woman to get robbed again before he stops the robber. Yeah, but here comes Tibbs, looking like a creeper now, going toward the old woman. Oh my goodness. Oh, I thought he just ended up like picking her up by the scruff of her neck or something. <laughs> Come on, Tibbs, give the old lady her bag back. Come on. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Why is he running like, like he's running in place? Or... Or like he's running without moving his arms, like the episode of Seinfeld where that woman, Molly Shannon, didn't move her arms when she walked. <laughs> oh, thank you, dear. Ah. Do 
Maybe I should play the song of uh, whatever it is, the song of, of Speed Up to where it speed up this video. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be good. The song of Quick Cut, where you can quick cut through uh, all the excess stuff. What, for all these other Let's Plays that you got going on, is there any way that you can just try to cut them in half? That way you wouldn't have to worry about it going for so long? Well, it really depends on, like, what is there to be seen, or I like to really show a lot of the game. There might be a lot of cool stuff to see that I don't really want to cut out, or that might pertain to what happens later on in the game. Then you might say, well, why that happened? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Well, there's one part I cut out, and that's why we're here now, and whatever. Sometimes I do cut out some stuff it really is repetitive or I get get lost or whatever and Tibbs wants this to be a hundred percent run so I really want to include everything mm -hmm. <coughs> that makes sense if you put the time if you put the time into it then yeah it definitely makes sense for him to be able to do so my crackpot in oh no this ass wipe Jeez, creepy dude. Seriously, like, he going there is, I need to wipe my ass. I need TP from my bungo. Jeez, man. <laughs> also reminds me of the episode of Seinfeld where uh, Elaine goes, can I have a square? And the woman goes, no, I don't have a square to spare. I can't spare a square. You can't spare one square? <laughs> Time to air out some dirty laundry here at the laundry pool. Uh, here's the guy that plays the song of ECW. <laughs> oh, this guy's schizophrenic. Maybe I'm the one who is the schizophrenic psycho. Yeah, that's a pretty good song. I forgot who sung that, though. Uh, Puddle Mud. Oh, yeah, that's right. What, you feeling froggy? Come on, Kermit. And I don't mean Kermit from Kung Fu, The Legend Continues. There's a Kermit in that show? Yep. He's like a computer hacker that wears sunglasses all the time. He's like ex-CIA or something. He's a freaking dangerous guy. His name is Kermit. <laughs> that's all right. He's tough enough to be called whatever he wants. If he wants to be called Miss Piggy, that's fine. I'm not going to mess with him. More of the epic teleporting. Back here on, what did it say? Milk Road? A, a land flowing with milk and honey? That would, that, would, that would be some interesting gameplay dynamics for Link if it was a milk and honey type of environment. You'd probably have bees and cows everywhere. You would end up putting on massive bees and cows and have to go through some type of mini games. End up having a <laughs> Link would have to get himself milked or something with udders <laughs> yeah. to, be, to, to be able to get some type of fairy or something. Oh, yeah. that would be, or be like a bee and go and pollinate some flowers or there is a game where you play as a mosquito. Yeah, Mr. Mosquito. Yeah, it's one of those weird, quirky Japanese titles. I've, I've seen footage of it, but I've never actually played it myself. But I've thought about it. It's on my PlayStation 2. Yeah, geez, you go around <laughs> sucking people's blood and, like, who thinks of this stuff? Yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one thing, though, that I've kind of noticed. It seems like, at least from the Japanese gaming market, they always have some of these, like, weird quirky titles that they'll come out with it seems more so than it does out in the west they should make a game called mr snail and you try to do a speed run of that well you do know that there's actually um horse racing simulators over in japan that's like really popular like especially along the the bit like the video game format as well from what i've what i've last heard horse racing simulators they, although i guess it's no different than people who like nascar over here and i see no interest in that whatsoever <laughs> Well, I can understand that, but geez, like a game where you play as a mosquito, <laughs> like okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah, it's it's weird for sure. I guess you have to like make sure you don't get smashed or get killed or nothing. You have to suck a certain amount of blood from from um, your victims, if you will, because you're in the house of this family, and I guess like each stage is each member of the family. You have to 
get a certain amount and escape before I guess either they or some of the environment kills you. I'm not really sure. Yeah. Well, here's the alien sequence again. E.T. Far Home. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I man, man. Nintendo had a way of making some really creepy polygons back on the N64, especially with the different sound effects and music. Yeah. So right now, as you see, Link is allowing the aliens to do whatever they came to do, steal milk or whatever. <laughs> and Link's doing that for a purpose here, because remember when Tibbs did this, he allowed, I mean, he, he uh, killed all of them. He st uh, protected the, the farm. Now we're going to let the bad guys have their way. Holy cow. This is utterly terrible. Some x ball stuff right here. And they're taking what's her name too. On the next X Files. Exactly. David, X Files. David Duchovny or Agent Mulder and Scully, whatever the names were. Yeah, the episode know. where all the roaches were uh, t uh, taken over. Uh, no. Yeah, I think this guy was asleep and they all crawled. Just like that that movie Creep Show one or two, where those cockroaches apparently killed that, where that guy just had a heart attack because he hated roaches so much, and he got invaded by all of them, and and he died. And they was crawling in and out of his uh, mouth and nose. It was disgusting. Oh, I think I remember that way back when. I haven't seen the creep shows things in a long while. Yeah, well, that was, well, that Dr. Wally character deserved to die anyway. He was a douche. All right, so. Oh, her little sister got abducted. Forget about the cows. What about your sister? <clears throat> there goes that mean bug flying down from the sky. That was the full moon. Black hole moon, won't you spoon? Wait. <laughs> I'll just spoon. Now wash away the poon. Or the moon. <laughs> the poon tang? No. <laughs> wash away the poon. Oh, Lordy. Oh, here's this emo guy again. Freaking interacts it. Dude, eat something. I like his hairstyle. I've always wanted to have a mohawk. I've always planned on doing it, and anytime I do it, I shave it off because of the fact that if I ever end up getting, I mean, when I end up like going to a job or a job interview or something, I mean, I'd have to cut it off because I wanted to try to look as cool as possible, unless it was like a job that would actually allow that. But, I mean, first impressions mean something, so I want to be able to not have that because I, if I get it and I have it and it's like fixed right, then I'm gonna want to keep it. I don't want to just go and shave it off. So <clears throat> yeah. you know, I gotta see what's gonna happen with a, a job first before that that occurs. But it'd be great to to have it. It'd, it'd just be real simple for me too. It won't be like a big one or nothing. Just like a small one, just so I can have like a new hairstyle. Because I either have my hair spiked or I have my head shaved. And ninety percent of the time nowadays, or actually I should say hundred percent of the time, uh, I just never fix my hair or I shave it off completely. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was in sixth grade, we had this new kid that came in. And he was from Colorado, and he had like a, not a thick mohawk, but he's like mostly skinheaded and a, and, and a, and a mohawk, but it was very, like, short. Really? And uh, we in Texas, I think, I don't know if I was one of the kids laughing, I probably was, but a lot of the kids were laughing as soon as he walked in. Started busting out laughing because he just looked different. Yeah. <laughs> we're not used to seeing that in Texas. Uh, so <laughs> I, I don't know if he got picked on a lot of it, but he, he was a cool kid, but uh, he just first came in we all just bust out laughing <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 
who's that sleeping in bed? I, I'm confused here. I thought if that's your little sister, I thought she got abducted. See, this is why I hope I was hoping Tibbs would be in this. Uh, still finishes LP because I do not know as much as he does about this game. I'm just winging it here. Dang it, Tibbs. Yeah. Uh, why'd you have to get a promotion and have a schedule change? This should come first. Yeah, gosh, I had to go had to go and get married and like actually, you know, get a better job, and make more money. Gosh, you know, yeah. Zelda would always come first, man. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> you had to go get a life. No, S two K is your life. <laughs> this would be like this my uh, the rock and sock connection. This is your life. Yeah. Tib Tibbs, this is your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess um, I think what happened. What had happened was Link played the song. I guess to go back in time or whatever. I'm, I'm not sure because I don't even pay attention. You know, we're over here talking about Mohawks and wrestling. <laughs> yeah. you know, Mr. T and uh, Ink Ink from TNA and whoever else had Mohawks. Uh, uh, the uh, dang what do they call the the ascen dissension or whatever the heck they're called. The ascension. Yeah. The ascension. Dilly Gaff from Ink Ink. What? More like a freaking. Ascension. I mean, geez, what happened to their speaking, career? Speaking of wrestling, yeah, I know the Ascension, man. I had high hopes for those guys. They were really something in NXT because they were NXT Tag Team Champions as well. And now they're just they're a freaking joke, and it's, it's it's pathetic. It's ridiculous. I, I don't like I don't like it at all. And they just been like jobbing to other tag teams and all that. I, I hate it. But um, yeah. anyways, what I was going to say before, I ended up finding out some news today. I don't know if you heard about it or not. Apparently, TNA is actually giving fans $50 a piece for them to be able to actually attend their shows. And they're telling them that they'll get them on TV as long as they hold up a sign. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? With all the money problems and things that they've been having, why are you going to go and pay fans to come see your shows? Why aren't you actually putting it towards making your show better? Because that's, that's how desperate they are. Sense. Yeah. That's, that's how des crazy. desperate they are to get butts in the seats. And I don't ever wish for a wrestling company to go out of business just for the sake of going out of business or they suck. I always wanted TNA or GFW to succeed and get better. But at this point, at the same time, I'm kind of like, man, if it's gotten this bad, shut it down. I mean, shut it down. There's no sign that's going to turn around. you got to resort to this. You might as well yeah. shut it down. Let Vince buy it. Put it on the freaking network. Because back in the day, TNA had some good stuff. I'd watch it on the network. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I have some TNA DVDs, as a matter of fact. And that's when they were, like, really good back in the day, man. I even liked them more than I did WWE when I really started getting TNA. And then TNA started to go downhill for me. Of course, WWE did, too. And then TNA had to go and switch uh, to a completely different network that I didn't have. And I had to actually end up ordering it, which ended, which ended up putting more money on my cable bill, which I wasn't going to have. And knowing how I've heard TNA has just been going downhill lately, I'm like, well, it ain't even worth it now. Yeah, and I just I used to have TNA Turning Point 2005. Uh, I bought that on DVD, and that was I think where AJ Styles wrestled Samoa Joe, and that was a cool match. Um, I, I, Sabu versus Abyss in a barbed wire match that was brutal. Oh yeah. I remember and, that. I actually have that one. It's a uh, the world's blood. It's like TNA's bloodiest matches or something like that. There was two volumes of it. I got both of those. Yeah, Ugh. that was good. Uh, that was also, I think, the Dudley Boys wrestled in that pay per view, and also during that time, like 2006, Kurt Angle was in TNA wrestled Samoa Joe. When they had their little feud, that was awesome. Uh, Sting was in TNA, uh, and I mean, Christopher Daniels was awesome. Christian Cage, man, that there was they had good stuff back then. Mm -hmm. That's when Samoa Joe was like the Goldberg of TNA, undefeated for a long time. Just stomping people, and I knew about Samoa Joe before that, but not really that much at all. I knew he was in Ring of Honor, but I didn't really get to see him wrestle and become a fan until he was in TNA and had the undefeated streak for like over a year until he lost to Kurt Angle. It's really hard for me to keep up with history when it comes with, it comes to dealing with wrestling. Yeah, well, the this day in history posts that I usually post on the wrestling group, most of those I just search for it online because I can't remember everything. But I do, I did know off the top of my head though that uh, November seventh of uh, ninety nine, 
was uh you know 18 years ago was the uh ecw november to remember 99 pay-per-view that was pretty cool it was also the day where raw aired and uh in 94 november 7th and vince mcmahon announced that macho man was no longer with the company hmm. there's been a lot of rumors about vince buying up tna but i guess we'll see if that even happens He'll buy it for nine ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, and also November seventh, King Kong Bundy sixtieth birthday. Happy birthday! Indeed. Another frog here. Well, what's wrong with his eyes? Now this eerie swamp music again. We're back here again. Jeez. Speaking of eerie music, you know that there was actually um, uh, a song in Pokemon Red and Blue for Lavender Town. It was causing people to like commit suicide or something or get really sick because of some of the ringings that was happening in their ears and in their head that they would end up hearing from the theme. I actually went and listened to it myself and there was talk about how only, I think it actually I think they said children, only children could really hear it, and it would really affect them. If they were at a certain age, then if they heard it, it really wouldn't bother them. But if, if they were younger than a certain age, it would. And they were, like, getting really sick and going to the hospital. And, and Nintendo had found out about it. Since then, they ended up changing it. They changed it around now, so it's nothing like what it used to be. So it doesn't have that effect on people. I'm like, dang, that is, like, crazy to think of. Yeah, that is weird. Uh, yeah. we, we've all heard the urban legend Polybius yeah, yeah, and, that's true. and what it did to AVGN and um, what else uh, dang I forgot what else I was going to say uh, but, uh, I think something else like years ago I don't know if it's a I think it's a cartoon actually or, uh, where like the screen flashes rapidly and it gave kids seizures I guess it's because they have epilepsy or whatever Mm -hmm. I think that was Pokemon, the TV show. I think they've done that, or it was some kind of TV show. Okay. I'm not sure. Oh, what's going on here? I'm sure whatever we get wrong here, uh, Tibbs will correct us in the comment section. Indeed. We'll be looking at a whole book right now to us. <laughs> yeah, so whatever we don't know, if we can't explain nothing, we'll say, what is this? And I'm sure Tiz will respond. Well, Ronnie, dumbass, what this is right here, if you're going to host the LP, do it right. This is that temple where you fought that weird Aztec boss that did the dancing and... And just... Uh, mm. Odalwa? Yeah. yeah. Mm. It went, went, oh, I was going to say, uh, when my online friend, X Gemini, was alive, I sent the website to MetroidMetal.com, and it's like Metroid Music Remixed with Metal Music. It was awesome. And there was, I forgot which track it was, uh... But next Gemini I said, well, when I listen to this one track, I don't know what it is, but it, it seems like I'm hearing subliminal voices during the music, and it really creeps me out, and I can't listen to it. That is freaky. And I did listen to it. I can tell what he's talking about. It almost sounds like some sort of subliminal music in between the... the, the i got to go back and look at it again, or go back to that site and try to find the song. I forgot which track they, re they remixed. If it was Brinstar or Norfair... Um, or whatever it was, uh, or the item room when you collect the item, uh, but uh, he said it kind of felt like uh, voices or kind of like a subliminal voices. Just the way the it almost sounded like a voice is kind of talking real fast in the background with, with the music. I don't know. That, that's what he said. It was weird. That's crazy. All right. So, and by the way, uh, Raven Inspector will LP Polybius next week. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And then my body would never be found again. Yeah, and whoever watches it, too, our channel will be taken down. 
<laughs> actually, spe actually speaking of which, uh, the angry video game nerd ended up going and did like a little Halloween yeah. special dealing with that's that. Why I, I, seen that yeah, that's why I said earlier. I said we all know what happened, what it did to AVGN. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so my, we all heard Polybius and what it did to AVGN. Mm -hmm. So yeah. That was funny though, like at first I thought he was just being James Rolfe and not AVGN. Because he was like, this video is going to be different from the rest. Well, here it is. This might not be the real arcade cabinet, but you know. And, and he plays it, he said he don't want to show the footage. Because he's afraid, of it. like, I thought he was like being serious there. Like, he didn't want to really be responsible for anybody having seizures or whatever the heck it supposedly did to people back then, that, that, if those rumors are true. And, but then he started acting slightly, but slowly but surely weird, like subtly. And I, I, I was like, wait, hmm, wait a second. And then when he started acting more crazy, I said, I get it now. And then it was funny. I'm surprised that wasn't in his movie. I think the movie sure. wanted to be centered around E.T., though. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, next week, Jeff will LP uh, freaking E.T. for Atari 2600. Oh, good lord. Well, I forgot who LP'd it on the channel. Uh, if it was Jeff, a wee guy, or none of us, we just watched the footage. Uh, we did a video of Hong Kong 97, I think, last year. Uh, too much warping. Make up your mind where you want to go. Warpy, 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 warpy. Now playing as Darpus again. And by the way, did you see Skip Rogers post uh, the Breath of the Wild Nintendo 64 cartridge in, in the Skip Rogers group? Yes, indeed. I thought it was pretty sexy. Yeah. And Tiff said, take about 10 cartridges for Nintendo 64 to fit that game in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd imagine so. And I said, it'll take me 10 years to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. Wait, no. No, no. Oh, good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. That's it. He's dying. <laughs> He's dying. He's dead, King. Ah. <laughs> he found that. He fell into the abyss. All of a sudden, abyss's music plays. Wait a minute. That's a piss, uh, King! Ah! I miss a piss. <laughs> miss a piss. I miss a piss, yeah. <laughs> You're a misophist? What? A pacifist? A misophist, a pacifist. It's like Archangel Zero now, commentary. A pacifist? A pacifist? You sound like you just bombing it all over your keyboard. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you did. Dang it, hold on. <laughs> Let me get a towel. Gosh. Jeez. All right. There we go. <laughs> you spit all over the place. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Going back to the ice temple now. I was moving my uh, camera down here a little bit because that's where the microphone's coming from, and I got it closer to me, so hopefully it'll pick me up a lot better, and I just kind of knocked it a bit. Oh, okay. <clears throat> As Darbus Link equips the fire arrows and goes inside the Ice Temple again, or Snowhead Temple. And then he gets abducted by aliens too. Uh-oh. So I don't exactly know what Link is doing here per se. Uh... I'm sure Tibbs will explain in the comment section, or someone else, if someone else beats Tibbs to it. Yeah, because we're uh, LP in this game, and we don't know anything about it. Indeed. Greatest <laughs> of all time. Oh, G-O-H-T. I thought I said G-O-A-T. <clears throat> it's Chris Jericho. You just made the list. I'm going to run you up. Yeah, will Kenny Omega make the list? Ah. Uh. Ah, man, I want to see that. Well, let see me that tell you match. something. No, how Jericho really kills. I mean, literally kills Kenny Omega for wrestling a blow-up doll on a nine-year-old girl. Let me tell you something. Back in my day, if we did that, we'd be killed and thrown in the creek. <laughs> Sounds like something you would say. Yeah. If I was Jericho, <laughs> I would do a shoot murder in the ring. I don't give a flying. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. I'm sure he's going to piss all over that. Well, you know, Jericho lowered himself because, you know, Cornette kind of talked bad about Mick Foley for wrestling Joey Ryan. Well, you know, Mick Foley, I can't believe what he did, you know, and Joey Ryan. And now he's probably going to say, well, he shouldn't wrestle. Uh, uh, Jericho shouldn't wrestle freaking Kenny Omega either. Oh, Kenny Omega. I wish it was the end of Kenny Omega. You know what? I really don't even know why he even goes and says anything about Mick Foley. Mick Foley has done his time in wrestling. As far as I'm concerned, he doesn't need to be doing anything serious anymore. If he wants to go and have fun, then let him do it. And so be it. The man is a legend. He's a user. I think. I th honestly, I thought he was a great wrestler. I thought he was a great character, actor, everything like that. And honestly, I mean, at his age, whatever he wants to do with his wrestling career, that I'm all for it. It ain't no. There ain't no reason for Jim Cornette to be going and flapping his gums like he always does every single day of the week, thinking that his opinion matters and everybody else doesn't. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Raven is fainter or whatever the... You want to be called mother... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, it sounds like Grandpa needs to go into a home and take his medicine and go take a nap. Let me bring you some applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, as the Brahma Bull is pwned again. He is the most electrifying man. <laughs> He's just a heap of rubble. He's a lot. He's a heap of rubble, King. My goodness. Ah! It may be the Snowhead Temple. We are live here inside the Snowhead Temple. It may be cold in here, but all the snow is about to melt because we're on fire, King. Yeah. You play Oracle Seasons. We're live here at the Oracle Temple. Uh, the Oracle Temple. The Temple Seasons here in the Oracle of Ages. I get must be in the great state of Texas because the seasons change rapidly, King. Yeah, I think he's uh going back to all the temples again to accomplish something here with all the frogs. With the Don Giro mask. Oh, here we go. Is it that cute? Oh, that sounds so cute. Yeah. You should, you'd be cool if you got the frog suit from Mario 3 in this game. That'd be cool. That sounds like me after I eat too much Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> all that for a piece of heart. And I know if Jeff was here, he'd be pissed. Really? All that for a piece of heart? Really? Shot to the heart, and you're too blame Cuddy. You give love a bad name. Time to clean off your keyboard again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think Angel, Angel's not here? Yeah. Um. Uh, with the Jerry curls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish uh, Alpha Six Two One was here. He would laugh. He loved Angel and Angel's <laughs> voice. <clears throat> Oh, what could this be? What could this be? It's it's another heart piece. You know what? This is stupid. I'm out of here. I don't like this LP. <coughs> you can't get up there. Dang it, Simon's Quest. Stop putting a text box when you interrupt the gameplay to let us know what time of day it is. <laughs> oh, well, at least what a that, horrible night to have a curse. Well, at least it wasn't uh, as uh, slow as it was in Simon's Quest right there. Oh. Did you see that shirt? A picture I posted the shirt was a Castlevania 2 shirt. It says, what a horrible night to have a curse. Mm -hmm. Man, I wish I could get that shirt. Freaking awesome. You can get yours now for nine 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 right here on the network. Also, a really great Black Dolly and Murder song. Everybody go check it out. You can uh you can order now on the S on S T K shop dot com. S T T K two K shop. Yeah. What did the S T D? Oh, dang it. S T D K. Yeah. You got these idiots. You got these idiots on this YouTube channel. What is it called? S T D. What what kind of name is that? Whoever came up with that name probably does have an S T D. Probably got syphilis in the brain because he can't think straight. Coming up with a stupid ass name like that for a YouTube channel. Oh. 
Okay, what is Link waiting for now? You know what? I just thought, man, that is, I can just actually. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry, you're cutting in and out. I was just saying, I thought it would be pretty interesting to see how Jim Cornette could be if he was like a fire zone preacher. Yeah, oh, is that? Yeah, I thought about that. Oh my goodness! Imagine about doing commentary on their let's play. Oh my gosh! You got the angry real game, right, boy. <laughs> Jim Cornette's angry wrestling nerd. Yeah, I was thinking about possibly subscribing back to Jim Jim Cornette's talking sense just so I could hear his old man ramblings. But I'm only gonna look into like different segments that he posts up of like his podcast or whatever and just listen to what he's gotta say dealing with wrestling and wrestling alone. Anything well, he's gotta say about politics, I'm not I'm not dealing with it. I just see, see that's why I don't listen to him anymore, period. Because like there's a video called Jim Cornette, I think Jim Cornette talks about Bobby Heenan and I'm sure he's gonna say nothing but nice things about him. But part of me was like, no, I don't want to listen to this because he, he's going to usually get off topic and talk about politics and bashing uh, religious people again. Because he'll talk yeah. about Bobby Hand and he'll somehow get off topic and talk bad about uh, politics or talk bad, bad about uh, Christians or what they believe in or, or something we don't want to hear that's outside of wrestling. That's yeah. why I don't want to listen to anything he says anymore because he gets on topic on that stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he just uh, – he. It's like just to hear it sometimes. Sometimes just gets on my nerves. It really does. I'm just like Jim, Jesus, man. Just can you chill out? You you need to. I think he's going to end up having a stroke or a heart attack or something while he's doing one of his podcasts. He gets so freaking worked up and just flapping his gums so freaking much. Yeah. It's just like what happened with Ric Flair in the ring when he was in WCW on Nitro. He got so worked up in the ring, he had like a miniature heart attack or something. Yeah, that's actually a work. And the storyline was Bischoff that actually. Was a work? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a, that was a work. And it turns out as the story, this is a work also. Uh, Bischoff had actually poisoned him or something. Oh my God. Yeah. All right, hurry up, Lonk. Imagine Faces of Evil for Nintendo 64. Oh, good lord. Wow! Oh, here we go. Curiosity Shop. So, this is the place that kills cats. There's Mr. Leahy now from the Trade Park Boys. God rest his soul. Jeez. I tried watching that show. It was, like, way too in terms of, like, the language. I'm sorry, say it again. I said, it seems to me like there is a, yeah, I, I, I tried to watch the trailer park boys on Netflix somewhat to see what it was about. And I was like, no, I can't contend with this. I can't deal with this because it's like way too vulgar. There's way too much language in it. And I'm like, there isn't any sense of there being any real, um, like sensible dialogue or intelligent script being wrote out because there's just so much dag blast cussing in it. It's I like seen, every other word. I've seen certain clips of it and I like clips of Mr. Leahy. It's pretty funny. Mr. Lee character when he's drunk, he's like uh, saying, hey, Julie, and then he stumbles down the trailer park stairs, almost falls down, and just, <laughs> and then like, he just him and Randy's relationship, and uh, yeah, so those clips are funny, Mr. Leahy, uh, and I forgot the actor's name, uh, dang it, Dunsworth or something, something Dunsworth, the actor actually passed away recently. Yeah. As Link warps for the twentieth time. Hang in there, people, it's almost over. <laughs> Run over him. Ah. Uh. And you gotta be careful when you do that because it uses up magic. All right, so time to manipulate time, bend time again, and so this range can open up. ECW, ECW, ECW. 
Imagine Majora's Mask on Nintendo 64. Oh, wait, it's on 64. Half lives matter. I like that <laughs> that you posted. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, I found, I found a picture that talks about the game Half Life. And people talk about Black Lives Matter or White Lives, All Lives Matter. And there's a, a picture of Half Life, and it says Half Life Matters or <laughs> half, or Half Lives Matter. Yeah. It seems like it doesn't really matter since Valve hasn't come out with Half Life Three yet, and it's been yeah. 52 billion years. Well, someone posted a comment saying Valve, the company, the company that cannot count to three. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. One. That's your biz. That you're busy raking in money on Steam to even worry about uh, Half-Life 3 right now, but with the amount of money that they've been making, good lord, they could have already made like Half-Life 6 or 7 already, probably. One! Two! <laughs> wait, wait, th three! Wait, where, where's three? Where's three? Oh, what? Shame it, man, just flipped off Austin! No, I remember that. Speaking of uh, money or making or Nintendo, I saw a picture where Nintendo... It was a Did You Know Gaming, and they said Nintendo has so much money that they could lose $250 million a year and still survive until the year 2052. I, yeah, you know what? I, I, just, I, I really don't believe that because if that be the case, and they would have ended up making many more, they would have ended up taking that money and making many more NES classics to actually be able to meet supply and demand, and they would have done the exact same thing with the SNES, SNES classics. Now, while maybe more SNES classics were probably made, from what I've heard, I haven't found one anywhere, so I honestly don't believe that. And they would have just ended up printing more money for themselves practically by going and utilizing that and making more systems to be able to sell. So I, I, I don't, I don't believe that. It's just like everybody thinks there's some type of magical bank of Nintendo that's out there that Nintendo has made all of this money. And I'm thinking, well, why is it that they aren't going and actually utilizing that with their business to go and create more titles that they've had dormant for years and years and years and go and create more games like that and also create more of these um, emulation boxes as people want to call them which I, I guess that's practically what they are but whatever to end up going and selling to people because they're wanting them so much because people love Nintendo and the products that they put out but they aren't even bothering to do that so I don't know yeah I kind of, I kind of really don't believe it. I kind of think maybe that's like a myth or something that's going on dealing with Nintendo. Because if it, if it wasn't for that, then I think they would try to actually put more effort into putting stock out, which they haven't done. So. All right, and grandmother was telling us a story. We didn't hear a word. No, we didn't. But we got a heart piece. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that on this face? Looks that's like that's a, the Night Owl mask or All Night mask or something like that. He just got a few minutes ago from that Mr. Leahy-looking guy or the guy that looks like, like Tibbs at age 50. Looks like somebody crocheted something onto his face. <laughs> yeah. The Four Giants. Andre, Big Show, Great Khali, and the Yeti. <laughs> the Yeti. Jeez, the Yeti. I'm getting close to watching that next uh, as far as like watching all the episodes of Night Show, lead up to Halloween Havoc '95. Hmm. I need to sit down and actually watch some Nitro, see how how it used to go. Because I've never, I never actually done that because I was mainly a WWF guy at no, the time. Nitro was good up until freaking like summer of '99. That's where WCW began its downfall. Yeah, and they got bought out in what 2000 or 2001? 2001. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck? It's furry book balls. <laughs> oh, arms and that? legs. Jeez. Oh, there was a friend of the giants before they had created the four worlds. And there were giants in those days. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds, repeated to hear wronged all the people. Oh, realm with misfortune. The people sang the song of the prayer to the giants who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. Or oh, imp, or oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. The giant Gonzalez. You have caused the people pain, or oh, imp, leave this four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. 
The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. My ball, Zitch. The imp returned to the <laughs> heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And those people rejoiced, and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. I didn't even catch the first part of that, but okay. Tortoise. Who's Tortoise? I'm not Tortoise. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Oh, Granny's losing her memory, losing her mind. We better put her in the home. Yeah, or Vision. <laughs> and another that, one. <laughs> that is a freaky mask. Yeah. Good grief. Majora's Mask was Majora's Mask was meant to be freaky too, especially with some of the content that they've had in there. I don't deny that. Yeah. Well, come on, Link, do something. Like, get out of here. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, ding, 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 dong. All right, Link returns to the first day again. Again, we have to go through this. It's Groundhog Day in Hyrule. Yeah, I, said that. I should say. Play as Bill Murray. Not yeah, no, whatever his character's name was in Groundhog Day. Yeah. You know, there's actually a horror movie out now called Happy Death Day, which is like the Groundhog Day of horror, and it's actually more comedic than it is horror. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, that is the end of part 18, and we'll see what Link does next in part 19. Until then, God bless and take care. Later, Tater. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Part 19. This is Ron Moore once again with the Raven Inspector. Greetings and salutations to you all. Alright, so Link back in this town again. I think he's going to leave again. Move out of the way, douchebag soldier. <laughs> what business do you have? None of your business. Move. I'm going toward the stone tower section, or whatever it's called. No, is this Jericho's list? Oh, wait. That would have been a really weird list if he ended up <laughs> utilizing that. Yeah, Link's list. <sighs> the, the, list of, the list of Link. The Linky list. Yeah, The missing Link. Yeah, there you go. Yay, yeah, opponent's back. Epona, because she pones people. Epona fell. <laughs> oh, this uh, jelly thing coming after us again. At least he has a heart. Indeed. <clears throat> oh, ain't she cute? Yeah. The low pony. The horsey. Quit horsing around. Horsing around. Yeah. All right, now jumping over the fence here, and we're going to I think uh, the Icona graveyard. And all these flying bombs! They're getting, jeez, watch good, out! Good grief! Did they slow you down or something? Because they just kind of came to a stop. Yeah, I guess so. That's weird. <laughs> yep. Iconic graveyard. Graveyard. Yeah, Link has really dug his own grave here. Indeed. I remember back in uh, Ocarina of Time, we had to deal with the graveyard digger dude, and you drop down inside of that tomb, and all of those other little ghouls were there or something. <laughs> there he is. Freaked the crap out of me. Yeah, yeah. that's the guy. Dompe. So it's, it's exactly the same person, because it's supposed to be like an alternative universe, so to speak, like same characters but different names, and this is, he still has a name, Dompe. Dompe from Devil May Cry? Dompe's Inferno? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there you go. That was a good game. We need a sequel. 
Yeah, I know I said it, and then uh, they scrapped the sequel because it didn't get enough sales. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was it was crazy, though, man. I remember when they ended up having, it was basically like a publicity stunt. I thought it was real for a moment until I looked a little bit more into it, but they had like a bunch of people outside going against the game because they were talking about how satanic it was and crazy it was and all of that, and, and it was actually the company themselves that was doing that for it to be like a publicity stunt to actually get the game to be uh, to get recognition. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, from from what I read, that was the case. But I actually saw a video of it, and I'm like, I don't know if that's real or not. And I read about it, and I was like, oh, it was a stunt. I was like, oh, well, that's classy. Yeah. The people out there are saying, don't play this game. You're going to go to hell. Yeah, exactly. The Roger Sensor's out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a giant stat child from Ocarina of Time. Jeez. It's in Castle. Hey, that's a... That's that boss from Castlevania 64. You're on the wrong game. Get out of here. Jeez. Oh, wow. What? <clears throat> Those things kind of those things kind of look like overgrown Koopa Troopas, but without the shell. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's a shell of his former self. Yeah, indeed, he is. <laughs> he got shell shocked. <laughs> oh, a burning firewall. Trump should put that up instead. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> I remember I ended up seeing a meme one time. They were like, "Have him put up an electric uh, an electric fence wall instead. That would be more entertaining." And I was like, "Jeez." <laughs> well, no, if the Rock's president, he'll probably do that. Put up an electrifying fence. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the most electrifying fence in all of the United States. Yeah, WrestleMania twenty twenty. Uh, the Rock versus Trump winner becomes president. <laughs> yeah, there's been so much talk about that too. So much talk about, oh yeah, you're gonna uh, is the Rock gonna run for president? <laughs> uh, that would be crazy. The heck, if Trump can do it, I guess the Rock can as well. The heck, even Schwarzenegger was freaking governor of California. Yeah, imagine so. imagine uh, the 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 promos or the debates between the Rock and Trump. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh! Now there, now there's some debates that I would tune in for. Holy crap! Yeah, Trump, you stand there, look like a Oompa Loompa. <laughs> <clears throat> you talk that way to the Rock again, he's gonna smack that rug off of your head and put his boot up your ass. <laughs> if if you thought what Stone Cold did to you at WrestleMania, putting the stunner on you, the Rock will put the rock bottom on you and uh, whoop your candy ass. Yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine some of the lines that he would come up with. <clears throat> the Rock would win the popular vote for sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would. All right. Night of the first day. 60 hours remain. Oh, they're telling stories by the campfire. So they think I'm their captain with this mask. That's really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't have to worry about being attacked by him. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because in Breath of the Wild, some of the outfits and things you can get can keep enemies from attacking you. Like yeah. there's an outfit and a that you can get like an outfit and a mask you can get that's actually of one of the Kaboblins or whatever they're called. And when you go around them, they won't ever attack you. They see you as one of their own. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, he talks fast. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine those uh, chattering teeth, how they sound. <laughs> yeah. What are they doing? Digging their own grave? Yep. Looks like it. Remember Grave Digger, the monster truck? Oh, yeah. I love that. Does he still do that today? I really don't know. 
Be, this has got to be the Undertaker's favorite monster truck. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Bigfoot, <clears throat> you're making a grave mistake. You will rest in peace. Man, the Tombstone Pizza commercials. What do you want in your tombstone? Tombstone Pizza, Pierre. <laughs> Undertaker should have been in those commercials, dang it. Yeah, he should have. They should at least have one of them with him on there. Yeah, some sort of WWE themed, like KFC with Shawn Michaels. Have Undertaker do something like that. Oh, I gotta find one of these. Remember these, Macarena Tom? Uh, yeah. I believe they also show up in Breath of the Wild, too. Uh, oh, ouch. Oh, the uh, Golden Axe. Man, we need a new Golden Axe. Something that isn't Beast Rider, because Beast Rider was just. Beast Rider? Ghost Rider? No, Beast Rider. It was uh, it was the, the newest Golden Axe, and it didn't sell well at all. And, was, it, uh, was that on 360? Yeah, it was on that and PS3 and also, I believe, PC. Was it a one-player game? <clears throat> uh, yeah, I believe so. I actually have it. I got it for like a couple dollars or something because I wanted to try it out for myself. And from what I played for like a couple dollars, it was pretty, pretty interesting, but I haven't finished it. Yeah, I think uh, Archangel Zero is talking about that in one of our low budget reviews of Golden Axe. Uh, talking about uh, how are you gonna make a, a new uh, remake or a new sequel to Golden Axe and, and it only be one player. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that was another thing that people really didn't like about it was because it didn't have multiplayer in it. I mean, at least have three players or at least three or four players, four players at the most. But um, yeah, it was sad to I couldn't believe that. I was like. Dang, man! If you're gonna go ahead and have us end up playing as one of the chicks, put the dwarf in there, put the put the warrior in there, put a, a like a brand new character in there or something like an like an elf or something. Yeah, the ultimate warrior would have been a good go next character. <laughs> yeah, he would. Death Adder, I will add unto you pain and agony, and I will subtract victory from your soul, and then I'll divide and conquer you. <laughs> and then I'll multiply my warriors to surround me with their power. Yeah, yeah, and then probably Death Adder would be standing over there laughing. And Sean Mooney, the warrior with his mathematical equation of what he's going to do this Sunday to Death Adder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Link learns another song. The Song of Storms, nice. Oh, and I was going to mention, a lot of you may have seen pictures of me wearing a Golden Axe t-shirt that was given to me years ago. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've seen that one. <clears throat> I never played Golden Axe 3. What is that like? I don't really know. I've played the first one and the second one, I think, but I don't think I've ever played the third one. Um... There was a. Uh, there's been quite a few games that's kind of been based off of like the hack and slash style of Golden X, and uh, one in particular that I had, <clears throat> that I got on PS3 was the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons collection, the arcade beat 'em ups. There was like two of them together, and those were probably pretty awesome, especially considering you could go and had so like different paths that you wanted to take and you got all this different treasure and I think you, yeah you could go and buy other items and things you can take with you it was really cool yeah really colorful too we need some more like that to come out again but have them be a little bit more in depth I mean there's a lot of uh, beat em ups that are out there nowadays especially but kind of going back to that real uh, colorful classical sprite kind of style but Making it more in depth. Yeah. See, funny, you said uh, a colorful. Um, I remember one time I was arguing with somebody about which is better, Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat. I was saying Street Fighter, and he said Mortal Kombat. But he, one of his arguments, uh, one of his statements was, uh, you know, you got Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat has some dark, more sinister-looking characters. Street Fighter has some colorful-ass characters. And I'm like, 
uh, or Venom 22 was one that said, um, Sub Sub Zero, Scorpion, uh, Rain, they're colorful too. What are you talking about? They have, they're like yellow, blue, and what do you mean colorful? <laughs> That's a weak ass argument. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, both of them have their own po uh, positives. Honestly, I mean, yeah. I'm more of like I'm more of Mortal Kombat, considering I liked how you know heavy metal it looked and all of that. But at the same time, I mean, Street Fighter uh, was pretty deep as well <clears throat> in terms of its uh, gameplay mechanics and its fighting system. Yeah, well, people were attracted to Mortal Kombat because of the gore, blood, and finishing moves. And uh, the argument was, well, Street Fighter, you can't kill anybody in Street Fighter. But I'm like, yeah, but it's more fun. I mean, better soundtrack, the better fighting mechanics, uh, just the, the way the controls, the way they flow, you do the, the moves and combos and stuff. And later on, Mortal Kombat did come out with combos. And Killer Instinct, though, was the king of combo fighting games. So, I mean, uh, yeah, it, uh, all three games have their uh, flaws and uh, uh, positives. <laughs> Here's another one of them soldiers. He's just circling them. Like, yeah, let me let me size you up. Alright, let's go. Yeah, once again. Yep. This is, this is Silver Axe now. Maybe we'll have plastic axe next or paper axe. Uh, bronze bronze axe. Yeah, bronze axe. There you go. Bronze bronze Strowman. Yeah, I was just fixing to say <laughs> bronze Strowman. <laughs> Yeah, he won the bronze medal in the Olympics. Her angle goes, where's your gold medal? Oh, it's bronze, huh? Another heart pace. Shot through the heart piece, and you're to blame. Those creepy sculptures from Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. I use the lens of ECW here to watch where I'm going and to see all these demons. The demons. I've been, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I've been uh, doing also an LP of uh, both Castlevania 64. Yeah, it seems like, uh, um, dang, I forgot what I was going to say. I'll remember <laughs> it, hopefully. <laughs> seems like, uh, Dracula? No, no. Or maybe this right now, seeing that this game is a mixture of Zelda and Castlevania here. Yeah, it feels like it. The song of double, the song of double J. Spin double J, my, Jeff Jarrett. Be alone with my baby tonight. <laughs> down, 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 down. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was sung by Road Dog. Yep. Well, hurry up! I guess he forgot the notes. <coughs> there he goes. What oh, the song of Triple Time? The song of Triple H. It's all Time. about the game. How you play it? It's all about the game and how you let's play it. Hey, this is the game. Welcome to my next let's play of SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Imagine Paul Heyman doing LPs. Jeez. Oh, that would be hilarious. I would totally watch that. Welcome to Up, Up, Down, Down with special guest Brock Lesnar. <laughs> he would break the controller and then F5 Xavier through the console. Yeah, like they're playing a UFC on PS4 or whatever system it's on. <laughs> and then like Brock Lesnar loses. He gets up and F5s him and Paul Heyman's back there. Brock! Brock! No! <laughs> yeah, that would be great. He's down his hands and knees just yelling at him. And, uh, no, Xavier's getting ready to in introduce him, but Paul Heyman comes out from the background. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> my client, Barack Lesnar, will face Xavier Woods in UFC <laughs> on the PlayStation 4. There's that guy again. <laughs> hey... Jeez, this sounds mean, but I know a guy looks like that for. <laughs> oh my freaking goodness! <laughs> you 
He also, uh, he also, the guy I'm talking about, he also looks like, a, he, I used to work with him. He looks like, uh, kind of looks like Bastion Booger. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks like he really will be digging up his grave here. Ooh. I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up digging bones. Up bones. Digging up bones. Doing things that's better left alone. Yeah. That'd be a Spinal's interest music if he was in WWE teaming up with Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Spinal's gone country. He's gone country. Look at them Look at boots. Them boots. <laughs> <laughs> Still nothing, jeez. Faster. Uh oh. Watch out, the wall master's coming. Oh. Look out. Well, give the man a hand. <laughs> he needs one. Yep. That's for sure. Whoa, where's he going? What the heck? What just happened? Oh, okay. I go up here. No, dumbass, go up the blocks. Better hurry. Oh, there he is. What? Did he fall off? He fell off. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh my gosh. Seems like it's a glitch. You stupid idiot. You know what happens to dumbass people that fall off platforms? They just made the list. Yeah. I said that to my girlfriend at night, too. I was like, you just made the list, you stupid idiot. <laughs> it's like, excuse me? Yeah. Because <laughs> we were joking around with each other, so. <clears throat> she goes, your face made the list. Oh. <laughs> what is going on here, Link? Let's go. I think that, I don't know, that was a glitch or what? Because he fell off, now we're doing this again. Don't fall off again. Come over here. Okay, that's what happened. He wasn't supposed to fall off. <laughs> this is trying to walk. He's like, well, get out of my way so I can get over here, Sonny. Sonny. Remember Sonny? Oh, yeah. And then she went and got in the porn industry. And from what I've heard, that failed. <laughs> yeah, remember Sonny Ono? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <don't. laughs> okay, I guess you meant to go down there. All right. No, follow me. Over follow here. me. Everything is all right. Oh, my Lord, dude. That is really like jeez. Yeah. That's enough to make me go nuts. Yeah. That's so slow. What the heck? Why in the world do they make it that slow? I don't know. They want you they want you to enjoy this game as much as possible. I guess so. How are you enjoying it though when things are so slow? I remember Max from Shoot Your Rage 2? I hated using him because he was slow. Nah, I fell off again. I don't remember, Max. I remember the uh, little kid with the roller plates. So. Yeah, that's my favorite one, Skate. Uh, Tiger Woods or whoever it was, yeah. Your miniature Tiger Woods. <laughs> yeah. Have you played the remake, Street of Rage? Mm, no, I've heard of it. Actually, I heard that there's a... That, there's been rumor of there being a new Final Fight in the making. There have been like a couple screenshots that were released or yeah. leaked or something. So, I don't know. Man, the Street Rage remake is freaking epic. Didn't you stream it at some point? I, uh, 
live stream Street Rage 1 and 2, and I did a let's play of the remake on S2K and a low budget review on, on my channel. About this giant pole now. Pwned. Captured a ghost in the bottle. Remember uh, a while back you put that Princess DQ in the bottle? <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember that. I'm a ghost in the bottle. Yeah. Kind of rubbed me in the right way. Yeah. I'll just get the heck out of here. Well, first, let's open this up. Open up a ch open up a and link. I want up if he talked. I want to open up a chest of whoop ass. Another bottle. <laughs> no, there goes low key again. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, great, great time for you to shake, Lucky, while we're recording. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't for his floppy ears, it probably wouldn't be that audible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, where to go to next? Milk Road. Milk Road? Yeah. Oh. And we'll see that in part 20. Until then, God bless. Take care. Later, taters. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, part 20. This is Ron Moore, along with the Ravenous Spectre. Greetings and salutations to you all once again. It is me, the Raven Inspector, and we're watching Link cut some stuff up. Yeah, and he is now at Milk Road. Is this Milky the land? Milky. Yeah, is this the Milky Way or the land flowing with milk and honey? Indeed. All Link right. is in heaven. All right, Terminator Field. <laughs> Terminator Field. Where's all the robots? Oh, here's the evil Toucan Sam's. Yeah, Terminator Field, Rise of the Gerudos. <laughs> yes, get evil Toucan Sam. Toucan Sam's evil brother. I pwned. Nice. Oh, a big rupee. Damn, what was that, worth 100 what, 200 rupees is still counting? Jeez. Good grief. Now, that's Sounds like it might be a sound glitch. Then that's what I'm talking about. Right, yeah. We're now going back to Clock Town. The Clock Tower. Gee, I'm sick and tired of seeing this Clock Tower. <laughs> oh, I have to keep on going back here. Like, even Link's like, really? Do I, want to <laughs> Do I have to go back here again? All right, in the west side. <clears throat> and this voodoo music again. That's Mr. Leahy. Oh, a bomb bag. What about a douche bag? There it is. It, it looks, looks like, like a, it looks like a douchebag. It looks like a seventies porn director or something. Jeez, there's a douchebag right there. I want to. No, no, Link doesn't want to buy the. No, well, make up your freaking mind, Link. You want to buy the douchebag or not? 
<laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, 200 rupees. Nice. <laughs> Freaking creeper. Why don't you have a seat over there, sir? He looks like he would be a creeper. Yeah. No, oh, it's this creepy kid again. Deposit more money to him. Stop patting your legs like some idiots. What is wrong with you? Probably a mental patient. Probably. I saw a guy walking through the Walmart parking lot today. It sounded like he was cussing to himself. I'm like, I'm going to park over here and make sure my doors are locked because they always are. Skedaddle, skedaddle on into the, the, the shopping center here to get away from this guy. Yeah. I think he was probably a little off of his nut. Yeah. I was walking through the parking lot on the far end. I'm like, yeah, this dude needs asylum or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I think once again Link is going to go get this big rupee over her. Yep, 100 rupees. Whoa, what do you do? Die? Oh. Mm. I'm about to say it. If that douchebag soldier does not let me go through. All right, it's quiet out here in Terminator Field. Uh-oh. Oh, man. The end is here. The end is over. Or however that song went. The LP is over. Indeed. No more pretending to play this game. Why in the world is he kneeling on the desk? Is beyond me. Oh, oh, he's just, I don't know. He's a psycho. Psycho said, "I don't have half the brain that you do." Exactly. All right, going back to the first day. Just remember, you're playing as Bill Murray or in Groundhog Day or whatever his character's name was. He's playing a bonus song here, and getting some milk because milk does it does the body good. Because you got to get good when playing this game. Indeed. You got some milk. Here on Milk Road. Look at that DQ scrub just creepily staring at Link right there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, here we go. Back to the uh, Green Bay Plant or Great Bay Coast again. Man, six bottles. Just ball up your anger. <laughs> all, all that milk. I think the bottle's going to be the death of Link. I guess I'll swim right to the bank like an idiot. <coughs> Link caught a fish in a bottle. I'm a fish in a bottle. You gotta yep. trap me the right way. I don't know. <laughs> well, geez, Link caught a fish, and I couldn't even catch any fish on plenty of fish. <laughs> A uh, better chance of catching, <laughs> yeah, like a link, a link, a better link has a better chance of catching a fish in this game than ever did from plenty of fish. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, I'm sure he never really talks anyway, so he wouldn't get anywhere with women. Yeah, really, his profile just shows picture and then dot 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 <laughs> description dot 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 dot. Yeah, yeah. He probably still get more women than I could. <laughs> See, women, women want a dark, mysterious, mute. He's, yeah. He's so mysterious and handsome. Oh, Jeff, you still working in the shop. You can't join us in commentary. 
<laughs> yeah, but you know what? Hey, I'm busy here working on these computers, and you know, why don't you buy something to shut up, okay? This game would be better than the Genesis anyway. <laughs> no, it would not. <laughs> it might be faster on the Genesis, but not better. The bomb shop. Oh, now I'm, uh, I forgot this Goron's name. Darbus, I think. Oh, I got the powder keg. Here we go. Trying to blow stuff up. Get out of this boring town. All these douchebags are trying to stop me. Time to kill them. Now you can't kill a soldier. You remember Metal Gear Solid 2? You can't kill those Marines on the on the ship or it's game over? Uh, where was that again? Remember the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 2? You play a snake. And oh, you're yeah. supposed to sneak past the Marines. You're not supposed to kill one or it's game over, mission over. Yeah, I don't think I ever played Metal Gear Solid 2. I'm, I played Metal Gear Solid. Okay, you're just talking about the first. I played some of the first Metal Gear, but never played the second one. Yeah, I'm talking about the second one. You play a snake in the first part of the game. Yeah. Well, my dumbass broke one of the Marines' necks, <laughs> and it was game over. <laughs> and Jody was sitting next to me and said, No, Ron, you can't, you can't kill a Marine, man. I said, Well, I didn't want to get caught, and I thought I'd kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to stay past the Marines, and if you kill one, his mission fail because you kill one of the good guys. That's a no-no. And or if you get caught by them, well, it's game over because you got caught by them. You're supposed to stay past them and like uh, take out the Russians that took over the ship. And those those Marines don't know it yet because they're in the middle listening to uh, their commander speaking about Metal Gear or something. Oh, you're talking about Metal Gear Solid 2. I, I'm sorry, I, I heard you say Metal Gear 2. Never mind. <laughs> no, Metal Gear Solid 2. Yeah, Solid 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've played, I've, I've beaten Metal Gear Solid 2. I, I don't remember that, though, but that is interesting to know. I think, I think any time that I was uh, trying to get through there, I would just knock them out or flip them over or something, which I think you can actually do that, but you, you can't kill them. Yeah, right. See, I broke one of their necks. And yeah. I, I think Alakon goes, No, Snake, what are you doing? Snake! <laughs> and Jody's like, no, nah, you're not supposed to kill Marine, man. I was like, oh, well, shoot. <laughs> that <Oopsie, not>. <laughs> JR, good, good, that's a Marine, you son of a b <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's a, you killed a Marine! Ah, broke his neck, JR! <laughs> they said he's dying. He's dying. Okay, I think this is the pose mask. Gee, see, I don't know anything about this game. I wish Tips was here. Yeah. But no, he has a life now and has a promotion at his job, so that's more important than doing this up. Ouch! Ouchie, ouchie. That was Tibbs dropping a rock on my head. Shut up, Ronnie, you douchebag. <laughs> Nijiron, Nijiron mower. Whoa, let's get away from that. Oh, ah, jeez. What the, the heck is a creepy looking go on? Somebody coughed. That was my... Oh. Oh, Econia Canyon. Chris Canyon? Who's better than Canyon? Dun, 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 dun. Who's that evil... Evil. I mean, who's that idiot prancing? Is that the same thief from the clock town? Might have been. This Tips. is a little bit creepy. Tips, what are you doing prancing around here? You pansy? And open your eyes. You like French Stewart? Jeez, was it stir off in the sun? This creepy music. <laughs> I said no. You can't see my sword. He goes fine then. <laughs> I think Tattles now. Tattles are getting all over him. He's tattling all over his face. Yeah. She sounds like an old school alarm clock. It won't stop. Prance your ass on out of here. Do you have a mouth that can shut up? All right, there's the Icona mask, I think. I have no mouth and I must scream. Whoa.
Oh, what the heck? So the composer named Do all believe or disbelief or it's with you to die without living corpse says we have a scarro. The Garo's oh. mask then. Whatever this the, mask is called. The Goro mask. Link's gonna end up sprouting two extra arms and jump on top of people. Jim Carrey's mask. Oh my goodness, that would be hilarious. Um or uh Rocky Dennis's mask. It wouldn't work for Link though, because he doesn't have a personality and can't say anything, so Yeah. <laughs> Did you get the reference, Rocky Dennis's mask? No. From the movie Mask? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that mask. Okay. Oh, that would be a weird... That would be kind of weird to... Yeah, it was based off a true story, too. A real person that had that uh, uh, illness or disease or whatever it was that made his face look like that. I mean, and then see the movie, what's kind of funny and awkward was like he went to summer camp or something and one of the camp counselors said hey kid can you take off your mask so i can uh see your see your face while i take roll please and rocky goes well geez i would i would but it's kind of hard <clears throat> i can't pull it off sorry it's hard and uh, the, the, counselor, the count, camp counselor went like oh geez kid i'm sorry nah, it's okay it happens <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I, I've seen that movie before, but it has been so long since I've seen it, I can't even remember it. Yeah. The heck? It's the Pringles guy. He's a ghost. <laughs> Isn't that one of those pogos or polos or pose? Yeah. Pogi, paka, popos? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, po popo. Drop by by the popo. Kind of looks like a spiritual version of a. Um, a Tom Berry uh, enemy in the Final Fantasy series. Yeah. <laughs> I just said yeah. <laughs> like I know what you're talking about. I don't. <laughs> it was one. Of, it was one of these really movies that they they wore like this burlap sack. They were green and had yellow eyes, and they carried a lantern and a dagger. And the last I remember, I was fighting them in Final Fantasy Nine. It's like they slowly move towards you and you only have a certain amount of time to kill them and if you don't kill them then the moment they attack you it's immediate death it's like over 9,000 damage 9,999 damage because they just stab you once with their with their little get dagger and you're done that i think that only happened to final fantasy 9 though i don't know if it might i, I don't think it happens in the other uh games i don't believe yeah kind of like how a cactuar would throw 1,000 needles at you and could in, could also end up instantly killing you, I guess, depending on how your level was. <laughs> what the heck? That's not freaky at all. All right, yeah. This is the freakiest freaking Zelda game I think that's ever been released. Right, yeah. And that's that something. Yeah, exactly. Especially with that weird music box music going on. Jeez. And that's saying something too, considering you ended up having those undead or undeath or redeath, dead, whatever they're called, and Ocarina of Time, if you looked at them, they'd jump on you and suck your soul out or whatever it was. Yeah. What in the hell is going on? I have no idea.
I have a final request. Could you shut up? Indeed. We need to get her done. Yeah. Get her moving. Creepy merry-go-round music. Whoa. What the uh, hey, Dora, where are you going? <sighs> I bombed the door over. <laughs> Dumbass bird flew into the bomb. <laughs> Time to do some Metal Gear Solid action here. Alright, now it's safe. <coughs> Music box house. Alright, the nut house. Whoa, jeez. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cool too. Huh. It's kind of metal. Yeah, play the song of healing. Dun, 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 e -C -W. Oh, looks like we got a new mask. The mummy's mask. Oh, give do. What the heck is a give do? A give do? Give do. You got Emotep's mask. Yeah, exactly. That's what you use in the mummy returns. We're going back to Assassin's Creed Origins here with a mummy mask. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a mummy outfit that you can get, but I don't think you can earn it. That microtransaction BS, which you suck the corn out of my poop. My Assassin's Creed. <laughs> he said ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ass Creed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure there's a porno called Ass Creed. I wouldn't doubt it one bit. Jeez. Ass that, effect? Yeah. Yeah, I, I wouldn't doubt it. Well, what's that? That Rule 42 or something? Anything that exists has porn of it or something like that. Rule 72, 42, 69, ABC, 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, whatever it is. I have no clue. <laughs> Let me put on the Give Do's mask and down some milk or, or never mind. <laughs> Getting to see the, the magic beans. Make up your mind of what you want to equip here, Link. Whoa, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to land on his feet and take damage. <laughs> Beneath the whale. Beneath the whale. Leave it. Leave it to Beaver? What are you talking about? Beaver cleavage. Oh, jeez. Man. <laughs> that is almost as bad as Katie Vick. Yeah, yeah. I saw that thing when you were talking about before about dealing with uh, Bruce Pitcher, Pritcher talking about the Katie Vick segment. And and he was uh, he was on some type of wrestling podcast. The whole video, I think, was like 13 or 15 minutes long or something, and he was talking about it. And I was just like, holy crap, Vince is just freaking insane. Yeah. Jeez. I'm glad they didn't put that in any storyline in any uh, SmackDown or, or versus Raw or WWE game. <laughs> Jeez. No, I don't know. I wouldn't think it would ever come down to something like that. That would be crazy if it did. I'm sure someone created a Katie Vick character probably. <laughs> Alright, so I got to give these masks to get past these mummies. It's the fire keys. Like I said, one of my, one of my parts of my Ocarina Time LP where they can keys my ass. What are you looking at over here in the dark? Being all creepy. And who's screaming? Yeah, 
and he quit my ice arrows. My ass arrows. Ass arrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Billy Gunn's arrows. I'm an ass man. Well, I'm an ass man. Yeah. That song, that song has some creepy lyrics. Yeah, it does. I love to float them and pick them and shove them and all this other stuff. The best surprise is when I stick them from behind and your right. eyes will give away the truth of how I feel. Indeed. I'm, hey, I'm I remember Peter the Insider was making fun of Macho Man's Be a Man Hulk lyrics. And they said that one was funny to make fun of, but the Billy Gunn song, Ass Man, was actually creepy. Mm. The best surprises always sneak up from behind. He likes yeah. it in the booty hole. In the I'm an ass man. The fudge ripple hole. Pack in the fudge. Pack in the fudge. Okay, I'm shut up now. <laughs> Uh, we defeated that po. Oh, what? Damn, I thought it was over. I got the big po in the bottle. Because remember, in this game, you can fit anything in a bottle. Another creepy mummy. All right, fish. I think that was fish, or was that a, a po? I forgot. Yeah, I think that was a fish you just used. I think this is why Link was doing all that grinding and back and forth and teleporting everywhere to get past this part of the game. I don't think you have to go through this part of the game, though. I think this is like a bonus thing or something I don't remember because I don't remember getting through this when I beat the game I, I never beat this game 100% oh geez some Castlevania stuff now going on uh, wall master no pwned you gotta time everything here all right Hopefully this is the last creepy mummy. I think he wants some milk. Hopefully he's not lactose intolerant. Stop screaming. Jeez. Ching, ching, cling, cling, ching, ching. Oh. Somebody's peeing in the cave. Black hole, son, <sighs> won't you come? <sighs> Wash away this rain that's in this cave. Honest to God, man, with the way Majora's Mask looks and how it runs, I would be so on edge trying to go through this game with the time limit. It would drive me insane. I don't know how. There's got to be some trick to it. I mean, especially warping back time and doing all that other stuff. I don't know. It kind of seems like stuff like that really doesn't fit in the space of time travel to me. I don't know. It seems like some things just don't make sense. <laughs> well, remember, he can slow down time. And yeah, go. that's true. That's not creepy. Well, <laughs> use the uh, mirror shield just like you did in Ocarina of Time in the Spirit Temple to do all this stuff right here. I need to stream something tomorrow. I just realized that I have a stream of Live stream Action 52. Yeah, okay. <laughs> just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah. All right. So that is the end of part 20. We see you guys in part 21. Hopefully that will be for fun. What will be next in this creepy part of the game? We'll see. Until then, God bless and take care. Later, potatoes. Yeah, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Stick them in a stew. I'm going to ECW. Hey, Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Part 21. This is Ron Moore along with the Ravenous Spectre and Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> We're like the losers. <laughs>
<laughs> more like my loser's mask. Oh, loser. Tibbs is going to kick your ass. My loser's mask. <laughs> hey, I have all the respect for Mr. Tibbs, okay? All the respect. Not Mr. Pibbs. Mr. Tibbs. Oh, Mr. Pibbs. Kids won't know what we're talking about. They only know it is Pib Extra. Yeah, kids these days don't know what it was like. To drink yeah. a Dr. Pepper and a Mr. Pibbs. Yeah. Or, or if you wanted to drink all the generics, what was... What was there, Dr. Thunder and, uh... Yeah, uh, Dr. Phil, yeah. Mountain, Mountain Lightning or something like that. Mountain Lightning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It sounds like some new age band. We're, we yeah. are Mountain Lightning. Yeah. <laughs> Morning Thunder or... Morning Thunder, yes. I remember All right, so Link is in the, uh, I think, e Econa Village or something like that. I even read it earlier when I showed it. More like the Econa Lodge. Econa <laughs> Village. <laughs> Yeah, e Econ e Connor from uh, sc 2 k Whoa. <laughs> hey, where's my breakfast? I was expecting a continental breakfast here. The intercontinental breakfast? The inter yeah, what, what would be, be the intercontinental breakfast? Intercontinental champion of breakfast assistance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, and here, Link, I think we use all the masks that he has. Link uh, personifies hypocrites because there's a lot of people that walk around with masks these days. Or, well, he he he's you know he's an L B G T Q plus plus I one C plus plus for mask yeah C plus plus uh, negative seven and then M at the end because that's the new one it's for mask people yeah all right and so yeah he's using the D Q mask here the disqualification mask the D Q mask <laughs> yeah D Q yeah I tweeted a picture. I, to a picture of Jim Cornette a while back of uh, Dairy Queen saying, you know you're a wrestling fan when you see the sign that says DQ uh, and but you think of disqualification. <laughs> he tweeted back, let me tell you something, you mother... No. <laughs> <laughs> he actually never responded. I was disappointed. I thought he would get a kick out of that, but whatever. No, I don't know who you are. You're that mother that likes Kenny Omega. Let me tell you something. No, I like Benny Benny Alpha instead of Kenny Omega. Who, who, who's Benny Alpha? Uh, right? I have no he's, idea. He's Alpha and Omega. But Kenny Omega is someone who's known for wrestling a blow-up doll and a nine-year-old girl. That that sounds like an entertaining episode. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, and that's why Jim Cornette hates him. Now, he didn't hurt the nine-year-old girl, of course. The nine-year-old girl actually beat him, but, you know, it's all scripted. And but Jim Cornette, like you know, he's angry because it takes away from the realness, like it was in the old days. I feel like I've said this before, but can you imagine just sitting in the script room, and it's like, okay, you're gonna lose this year, like really badly. What? Wait, yeah. why? I'd probably rather lose to a nine-year-old girl than David Arquette. <laughs> Wait, David Arquette beat somebody? Dude, David Arquette is the the former WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh wow, okay, I didn't know that. Yep. I thought I we were talking about the actor David Arquette. We are. Oh. Yeah. No, no like joke. Shrimp. No joke. Whee. Another heart piece, Jeff. Another motherfucking heart pieces. I'm gonna fucking kill them all. <laughs> kill all the heart pieces. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll break your heart. Oh, all the heart pieces are belong to us. Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Don't go breaking my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. I mean, one time I did an orientation at this job. This this guy's from the what uh, Boston, and he goes, oh, yeah. "I mean that from the heart." And then he goes, uh, "That's heart." For those of you here in Texas, <laughs> we all laugh. Hey, I, I completely understand you, uh, Aaron. My fiance. Instead of bag, they all say bag. Like uh, there's four A's in it. Like what? Or uh, John Cena's mother was doing an interview, and she goes, when he was a kid, he always played wrestling in the backyard. <laughs> the yard. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know how it is dealing with uh, accents, especially like Boston accents, because my uh, ex is stepdad, I guess you could say, because my mom was married to him, and then she got divorced. He was he was from Boston, and he had that like, strong Boston accent. So, <clears throat> yeah. Boston. Yeah. They had a boss too. It's from Boston. He goes, ah, this restaurant's dark. We need some more light bulbs. This is the darkest restaurant I've ever worked at. You have to buy. I need to get in my car and I need to go to town. I need to get some coffee. Yep, some yeah. coffee. Coffee. 
Is that one re dead dance, dancing like a Russian? What the heck? Yeah, he was doing he was doing the Russian dance. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, he was a commie, so it's probably a good thing it killed him actually. Seinfeld, Elaine, Elaine dating that commie. Oh yeah. Hey, this guy's a commie. He's spreading propaganda. <laughs> I forgot about that episode. <laughs> yeah, Kramer was Kramer was uh, hired as Santa Claus. They got fired him. You can't fire me. I'm Santa. The guy goes, not anymore. Get your skinny ass out of here. All right, boss battle time. Fighting, um... Fighting the socialists, you know, these communists all over this game. <coughs> Social He's fighting Bernie Sanders? Wait. That's just... Let me tell you about how many rubies you have. Yeah. Didn't, didn't Bernie Sanders kind of look and sounded like Larry David? I don't he, know. he sounded exactly like Larry David. Like, honestly... It could have been Larry David. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 ECW. I like this tempo music. It sounds like it would fit in like a Conan the Barbarian video game or something, and not the NES version. Oh, jeez. No. I hate those re retreads or whatever they're called. They dance like Russians again. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I'm just trying to dance here, asshole. <laughs> well, your dancing sucks. That's why I'm killing you. Oh, we're so beautiful. Yeah. Dancing, dancing, dancing. Da, da, da. Remember, uh, Spectre, remember Disco Inferno and Alex Wright? <clears throat> yeah, they would go out there dancing around. And, weren't they like a tag team? I yeah, think. Bo Boogie Nights. Yeah. Alex Wright had the weirdest dance. He looked so stupid. I always made fun of it. I think a lot of people made fun of it. Put a bomb there. Like, there was a Alex Wright music video on YouTube, and I posted a hate comment. Oh, my jeez. This music video was so dumb and cheesy. I never liked his dancing. And I think a few people attached me saying, oh, someone's jealous of Alex Wright over here. Like, like Alex Wright fanboys. I'm like, there's Alex Wright fans? Jeez. I mean, don't get me wrong, he was actually a good wrestler, just his character was so dumb in that dance. Ronnie, you're so dumb, you hurt yourself. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, well, you're so dumb that you're not smart. Ouch, that, that hurt my feelings. I need my safe space, Ronnie. But, yeah, you're, uh, you're, you're, so, you're so dumb that you're, you're just dumb because you're so dumb, so yeah. <laughs> okay, come on, man. Come on. You oh, yeah? That. Your mom's so old that she's not young. You're so dumb because you, you just you don't have have smarts to be smart. <laughs> yeah, something like Beavis and Butthead would say something like that. Your mom's so old she gave handies to FDR. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, May Young. <laughs> well, give the man a hand. Ah. <laughs> well, actually, he probably could have used it. He was crippled. You know, at yeah. polio. Yeah. Uh oh. <clears throat> it's curtains for you, Link. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what the? <laughs> Whoa. That's not freaky at all. I thought they had seizures. Fire. Kill it with lots of fire. Yeah, you got to use light. Since I don't have the light arrows here, just shoot the. You gotta have lice. Yeah, lice. Yeah, um, you shoot the curtains through. Let the sunlight shine through, and that's one of the ways to attack them. Open up your heart and let the sun shine in. Let the darkness. Yeah. Why does that skeleton have a Chinese emperor style hat? Because he was a Chinese emperor in the former life. Oh, you knew it. You knew it all along, you bastard. You magnificent bastard. I read your book. <laughs> oh, 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 I got swiped right there. Oh, oh boy, half a heart point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Come on, see the light. I remember when Sting attacked Vampiro in WCW? He goes, so much of darkness in your life, Vampiro. Let me shed a little light on it and hit him with a light post. No. Wait, what happened? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, I'm Captain <coughs> Keto. 
Oh, I think he wants to bang him. Jeez. So. Damn, I figured. Dang, I thought I fooled him. Uh, okay, that's weird. <laughs> He's lost his head. <laughs> Maybe without it, you can get ahead. This is what. This gets is how you head without a head. This is how you fight Al Snow in a, in a Zelda game. Like, he would fight you, then his head's floating around attacking you. Al Snow was so great in the Attitude Era. Yeah. I love Al Snow. He was crazy. His finishing was called the Snowplow. He should have had another one called the Snowball Effect. You have a Snowball's chance in Hyo. No chance. Yeah, that's what you got. Snowball's chance now. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, stop running your mouths. Almost was like Donkey Kong skull in a ways. Will what you the stop? Hell? Oh, okay, I see. I was looking at it from a. It looked like it was like looking at that skull from a side. It looked like it was a friggin' horse skull or something. Stone Cold Steve Austin Tower. <clears throat> Stop running your mouth already. Jeez. Just jaw jacking. Mm -hmm. His mouth's hard already. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Bang, bang. And this is one reason why we need voice acting and voiceovers in Zelda games. I mean, I know this is really, the 64 area, but I mean, it would have been a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think were they limited with audio and voice acting on that system? Yeah. They yeah. Oh, yeah, for audio. sure. They couldn't do Red Book audio, but they could do condensed MP3s. That's what they did for Resident Evil 2. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Because uh, RE2 was on there. Mm hmm. Here you are. Fitting, you know, um, like 900 megabytes into 64 megabytes. That's a big crunch. Whoa. Creeper face much? That's creepy. Ew. Oh, no, you learned, you learned Asian Link. <laughs> <laughs> Asian Link. And yeah, your, your, your Zelda comes skills. from the Asian folks, too. Your skills in math increase 400%. Your driving skills may or may not decrease. I don't know. I'm not going to judge one person's driving skill on this. <clears throat> oh wait, there's two links. What what's going on? 
Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, I thought that's what you're talking about. That's oh yeah, that's the uh, he learned a song where he can leap like a statue of himself. He can also do it when he wears other masks, like the Goron mask or Zora mask. He leave a, a statue of a Zora and a Goron too, I believe. He can leave so, a statue of himself, and that looks like nothing like him. That looks like Creeper Link, like hey, Phil, that let me look underneath your dress. <laughs> so, but that comes in handy here in just a minute. Well, tune in next time to see what happens. Tune in. We're not done yet. I know. I so. was... You ruined everything. <laughs> Look at the video counter. Jeez. You ruined everything, Ronnie. My plan was to make a joke. Oh, I ruined, ruined your face. It. You ruined my whole save. <laughs> so here in a few minutes, we're probably going to see a little bit of Four Sword Adventures action. If you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't. Please explain. I'm just a wow wow. Well, it's a penis reference, Ronnie. I know you don't get those very often. I wasn't Four talking penis. about penises. I was talking about swords. I hope he doesn't get a lot of penises. Penises can be referred to as swords. How? Because they just. Have you ever heard of sword fighting, my good man? Yes. Oh, cockfights? Sure. Now yeah, we're on like three are... different puns here. <laughs> we, we are puns deep, baby. Puns yeah. deep. Yeah, well, you know, I am pretty cocky. Balls <laughs> deep in the puns. If uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> they say I'm cocky, and I say, what? It ain't bragging if bragging you're doing it, and you back it up. It up. <laughs> okay, so Link has to do something here in under three minutes. Three minutes. Still. Looks like the ghost from Ocarina of Time when you're in the Force Temple and you gotta. Uh, defeat all the all the pose in order to uh, it's kind of like a puzzle what well, not a puzzle But like that one part was a puzzle in the fourth temple in Ocarina of Time for your member You gotta feel all the pose and then light up all the four lanterns in the front of the temple all them pose you better watch out for them pose. I got pose 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 in different area. I'll be pose. pimping pose Pimping pose I'm such a poser Reach down, light that stinky blood up, and say, "Poe ain't easy." Yeah. Poe ain't, ain't easy. easy. Poe ain't easy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That stinky Hyrule weed or Hy Hyrulean. Hyrule weed. Hy Hy <laughs> Hyrulean weed. Hyrule weed. I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I got I this shitty Hyrulean weed, man. <laughs> yeah. Remember that guy that was selling magic beans? Nah, yeah, they were magic, all right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hey, I bought some of those. I thought they looked real. He looked trustworthy. Remember those Mexican jumping beans when we were little? Oh, yeah. I wonder how those work. Those, I always love those. They had little worms in them, I think, from what I've heard. They, they had Mexican magic. Okay. I think they, I dropped one one time and it didn't work anymore. I was like, oh. A mariachi band summoned them to life. Yeah. And then they danced around. And it was amazing. Yeah. Stone Tower. Stonehenge? Weren't you here before? Like no, this is Stone Cold Steve Austin Tower. Oh, okay. What? Oh, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. What's he doing now? He's, I think, still doing his podcast. And... Brewing beer. I think he's. Uh, I think he's on some CMT show now too. Yeah, oh yeah. Had a Urban Skull Ranch. Yeah. yeah. He had a survival show for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I think he brews his own beer and brews cans of whoop ass. Mm -hmm. Does he call his beer whoop ass? Because that would be perfect. I don't know. I really don't know what it's called. I just know. I think he has his own brewing company. Is that right, Specter? I guess so. I don't know. I have no idea. Whoop ass. Tastes like piss. We'll make you a man. Uh, here we go with the creepy statue again. Oh, no. Yeah, it's going to come in handy right here before we can enter inside of Stonehenge. Oh, Stonehenge. Stone Tower, whatever it's called. Uh, how you call it Stonehenge. This is a puzzling part of the game right here. Reminds me of freaking, uh... Dang it, what was that Zelda game I beat recently on my channel? Not Oracle, the Oracle of Ages. And there's Moron, I mean Goron. Mm, Moron, Goron. So now he has to clone 
himself right here as the Goron to stand that switch. So I think you see where he's going with this. Okay, and now he's doing this. E C W. Like this music. Can you imagine doing that and like play a song and you clone yourself and you look back and you're just staring at it? It's so freaky. Especially when it doesn't look anything like it. Creepy pasta. No creepy pastas for us. Yeah. I do like pasta, but not the creepy kind. Yeah. I'll make you some spaghetti. There's another Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and here we are, folks, at the exciting Stone Tower, watching the great event between Link versus whoever the hell he's bursting. Isn't this a great day, Ronnie? What are we expecting here? The Stone Tower of Power. Too sweet to be sour. Don't you dare be sour! And my man Ronnie, he's got the rhymes. My, my co-anchor. We're just gonna watch Link over here. He's been doing jumps and hops and blow-ups all jumps day. Jumps and hops. You've been drinking hops and barley. Wait. <laughs> just a hop, skip, and a jump away. <laughs> Drink hops and barley. Ronnie, you're cute. Funny. Your face is cute. Ah! Thank you. Thank you very much. I am very attractive. And all the ladies want me, but I'm already taken. <laughs> taken where? Oh, taken for a ride. Ah! The movie Taken Radar. Actually, it's PG-13, which is really weird. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how they made a movie like that PG-13. It's like, no, it should have been R so I can see all the bloody blood. Yeah. Kurt Russell in Metal Gear Solid. Ready G. Oh, that would be awesome. Even him, like, old, you know, yeah. still, I would I would pay to see that. I think it's where they got the character Snake from. The voice and everything yeah, was Pliskin from Escape from, from L.A. and New York. Yeah, because if you notice, his uh, his name in Metal Gear Solid 2 is Pliskin. Yeah, this is Pliskin. Iroquois. This is Pigskin. Lieutenant Junior. Iroquois Pliskin. Did they ever make any... No, they didn't. You know, John Carpenter's movie should have been made in the game. They'd have been awesome. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Guess I run to the Rolling Rock. <laughs> Oh, jeez. How much longer is this going to take? Let's get inside the Stone Temple already. Stone Temple Pilots. There you go. That's what I was... I am, I am, I am. I'm not going to get next to you. A brother of me. I don't know the lyrics to that song, but it's called Plush. Yeah, Highway and Street. I, love song or whatever it's called is a good one, too. And I've been here. A wiener what? Yeah. <laughs> The clinger wiener from uh, wiener Battle Toads. Wiener. Yeah. A, a clinging wiener from Battle Toads. Yeah. Maybe we should get a new Battle Toads. Well, uh, J, J Man did, uh, I think, a long J time Man. ago on this, on this channel. Yeah. Uh, I was in commentary with him on this channel. He did, uh, I think, a playthrough of Battle Toads. Yeah, his name is Gay Man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I'm joking, Ronnie. Don't hunt, or, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Damon. Don't hunt me down. I know you don't look too far from me, and I don't want you to find me. <laughs> Kill me in my sleep. Yeah. Because I feel like you're, you're capable of doing that more than I would be. No fall, don't fall asleep in your chair. Oh, I'm already going to do that soon. <laughs> We're going to be talking. I'll be like... <sighs> wait, uh, wait, Damon, for my... Oh, you just tipped him out of his chair. Good God. <laughs> Get some help. Uh, well, joke's on you. It's a sofa. It's a <laughs> sofa. Yeah, dude, we have a we have a couch that it's like it's one of it's it's a reclining couch. It's not a sitting couch. There's a big difference with that, and I really do like reclining couches. It's like it's like 
the, the, the couch itself is really soft and it's like a wraparound couch, but like the cushions on the back are like massive pillows that are oh, just like really soft and you know, it's like you don't even need to stitch any type of freaking like cushions or anything in there because the pillows are so massive on it. It's just like you can just fall asleep on the freaking thing. It's amazing. Exactly. Yeah. When when Aaron <clears throat> when Aaron's working, I usually just fall asleep on my couch at night anymore. It's I feel great when I get up in the morning. Poppy pee to my sofa. Uh -huh. I got my dog here, Ada. She's just in the floor, like Jeff. What are you doing? Look is it, is it a recliner? A sauna recliner? Sauna recliner. <laughs> I think it's a Sealy. I want to say. No, I think it's it might be an Ashley. I don't remember. We got it from our local furniture store. Also, small note about Zelda. For no reason, support your local businesses. They keep your communities afloat. Yeah. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and Zelda. Before yeah, I gotta say that before me and like, filed a lawsuit because you know Nintendo they're pretty pretty up itchy about that. Yeah. All right, so we're almost there. That's the temple inside the temple behind us, or the tower, whatever they call it. The stone tower temple. The Is Dark there a stone temple? That movie was sucks so much. Is there a, a stone temple in, in any Zelda game? That'd be cool, like a reference to stone temple pilots. Oh, did, were you talking about Dark Tower, man? I didn't see it, but it looked crappy. Yeah, the movie sucked balls. To be honest, the only Stephen King movie I liked was It and maybe Pet Cemetery. Like, the new It is amazing. I like the well, It as well, but the new one is awesome too. I, I I probably would like it, but I just don't know if I could watch it. I just I'm so I enjoy the old one so much. I think it would just make me not like the new one. The new one is actually a prequel, so it's not an actual um, remake or anything like that. Well, I, I saw the review. It's not really a prequel because <clears throat> it was split into two parts, and all they're doing is just taking a two-hour movie and splitting it into four hours. Yeah. Well, you said Dark uh, <clears throat> dark Tower. Good thing it's not Dark Castle. Jeez. Oh. But I'm done. Tits. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Jeez. All right, guys, that is it for part 21 of Majora's Mask. See you guys in part 22 inside the Stone Tower. Till then, God bless and take care. Yeah. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Later, taters and all that lovely stuff. Go eat some taters. They're good for you. Keep your metabolism no. punching and your colon don't punching. Eat, don't eat too many potatoes or you'll just get fat. Yeah, yeah carbs. <laughs>
Let me guess, a map. Yeah, yep. Uh oh. Night, the first day. I tell you, watch out, douchebag. Man, I said, watch. Man. <laughs> Jeez. Uh oh. Man, I just hate these st st style pulses, whatever they're called. I think that's what they're called. Yeah. Ta Come on, hit him. Oh. It's like a upset stomach. Come on. Yeah, it does. What is this now? Okay. Yep, okay. I do like the music in this dungeon. Oh, Jesus, freaking dragonflies flying around with well, electrical fireflies or whatever the heck they call dragonflies with bombs. Oh, there's a Beemos. A Beemos? Yeah. Rebecca Romaine Beemos or John Beemos. What were their names? John Stamos. Oh, yeah. Alright, now I'm playing as a. Uh, Ouch! I guess I'll fly to the uh, explosive spiked ball like a dumbass. Indeed. What was that hand? Ah, it's Master Hand! Ah! There we go. You guys stay on top of your. Jeez. Master ah. Hand. Ah, the Beemos can't hit me. Ah! Yeah, no, that's like the same hand that was had to wipe his ass in, earlier in the game, if you remember. They need a toilet paper. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I don't remember that one. I thought it'd be a, no, not a compass, because it'd be a, a dramatic uh, deal of music if it was a compass. This game will encompass you with uh, awesomeness. Indeed. Jeez, watch where you're swimming, idiot. Oh, I severed the hand. Take time with the wounded hand. Cause that life's to steal, and life's to the hell. There's another stone temple pilot reference. What about, uh, we got a pirate base, stone temple pirates? Fail. Yeah. Oh, jeez, he's, uh, a Castlevania fish. Whoa. An upside down chest in the underwater. Now how am I supposed to open that? And also, if you've seen a few seconds ago, uh, a switch on the ceiling. How can I activate that? Oh, this this dungeon's tricky. Probably have to throw the boomerang or hook a shot or something at it. Yeah, I think so. Let's use my ray of light here to all right, make the light reflect off of that. And there we go. Now I can use that to disintegrate that block. I think this is where I get the compass. Move! What the heck was that? Freaking gremlin. This part's probably just as long as my, uh, one of the parts in Twilight Princess. It might be in a sky temple or... Twilight Temple, I forgot. One of those. I know the last part we did in Twilight Princess was like an hour and a half long. That's because that was the, the final temple and the, the ending and let's discuss and all that. Jeez. But this one's pretty long too. Huh. These big monster truck tires? I'm tired. Sure tired. Uh oh, look out for the demons from the movie Ghost. You're dead, Willie. Oh, Carl. Oh, Billy. <laughs> I'm tired. I seen a meme one time where it showed a baby crying, and it says something about when someone asks you to do something, but you don't feel like it. And it says, man, I'm, and it shows Tide detergent and a baby crying. It sounds like it's saying, man, I'm tired, but it said, man, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> the way they did it was funny. <laughs> I'm tired. 
Kind of sounds like how some of the people talk around here and back where I used to live. Yeah, I'm sick and tired. Oh, this part's tricky right here. Timing is everything. You got these enemies messing you up. Leave me alone for a second. Ah, there we go. Ah, whoa. What? Is that freaking ball headed Goron again? What is that thing? Jeez. Look at that. That thing's creepy. It's creepier than those black things. All right, the first stray fairy. Here's the second one. Oh, move, idiot. I think there's white ones too. Yeah, that's right. The white the creatures you see right here, there's, there's white ones. Why well, they start fighting each other? We have a freaking race war. No, get out of my face. Come on, sunlight. Do your job. Ah, dang it. See, and you got to hurry up and get over there before the, the sunlight stops reflecting. Freaking enemies mess me up. Leave me alone. No, right, there we go. What? Oh, right, you should reflect by now. Oh wait, I guess I got move for me. Ah. Man, I'm sick and tired of these things. I said leave me alone. Good lord, that would oh something something glitched there or something. No, I cut I cut that part out. I got tired of doing with those things. Jeez. So I just cut past that part. Jeez. Freaking gosh. Ball headed Goron again. Get out of here. Man, this is ah, oh, this is so annoying. Ah. Oh, you're gonna let him roll out over me. I don't think so. <laughs> Man, to get out of my freaking face. Jeez. Sick of those things. Let me get these stray fairies masks. Masks. Or mask. The mask. You got, we should get the Rocky Dennis mask. And that'd be cool. It'd be like smart and have your biker buddies help you out. The who? Rocky Dennis from the movie Mask. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. As I'm now the DQ scrub again, my pretty little pansies help me out. Oh, oh no. Oh. Almost fell on the fire. Burn with the fire. Flames of hell. It's like an instant death or make you start over. It won't really kill you, but it'll make you start over, take one heart away from you if you fall into the lava as a DQ scrub. The lava? Yeah, that's what Skip calls it. The lava in his old videos. I'm like, really? Lava? Sounds like Skip needs Jesus. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang it, making it in time. Son of a mother. Son of a mother fudger. Jeez. <laughs> Get good. Yeah, you're a pansy. If you play a game on easy, you need to, even though you bought the game and you're playing it one on one, you need to play it legit. Do not play it on easy, or you are a wussy in real life to where you cannot whoop somebody in a real life fight. There we go. Because Spectre, video games are a testimony of what kind of a man or woman you are. If you play on easy or cheat in a video game, you're a cheater in real life and a wussy in real life. Uh-huh. Yeah, I definitely don't, don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. But that's what the haters say. Aren't they right? Mm, yeah, because the, the hate we only allow the haters to rule over our lives and we give in to their trollism. I guess that's a word, trollism. You know, trollism, yeah. I like how Kevin Owens, though, puts them in their place on Twitter. Yeah, matter of fact, he ended up putting something out on Twitter yesterday, I believe, saying social media is such a poisonous thing because he said that fans or somebody were going after him at one point and now they were going after his wife. I'm like, you got to be freaking kidding me. Yeah, and I was, someone had responded to Kevin Owens saying, yeah, that's messed up what's going on with you. And then I responded to them saying, yeah, I know exactly what's going on. Just people so butthurt 
that they have to go after somebody personally to try to ruin their life because they're pansies yeah. and they're, they're so butthurt. And I told Kevin Owens, you do, you're doing your job as a heel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah. That's true. I mean, the era of kayfabe is dead. Back then, even back, not that I would condone it back then, but back then I can understand it where people were taking it seriously. Probably want to slash a wrestler's tires. I think I heard stories of the Dudley Boys' tires being slashed or confronting the park lot. Yeah, what's up now? Uh, the ECW fans waiting for the Dudleys or the Baldies in the parking lot. Yeah, we're waiting for them because we're going to kick their ass because they thought it was real. But it's 2017. Like, seriously. I mean, the world's gotten so pansified over the years. Uh -huh. You remember that argument I got over Facebook with the pop cereal box? Jeez. Yeah. I'm like, you people seriously need to get a life. And and that person told me, no, it, I go, people are so sensitive and butthurt these days. And they said, no, people are getting mad about stuff they were always mad about. They just now have the courage to speak about it. I'm like, no. I mean, just people are sissified these days. Millennials. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And there's the internet as a platform to complain about it. What the heck? All right, I guess it's the mini boss. Mm -hmm. uh. It's the weird boss. Then again, we've seen weird bosses throughout this game. Remember that freaking uh, tribal boss in the, the the Woodfall Temple? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot what it was chanting. Easy W. Easy W. He got pwned pretty quick. But you'll leave a bomb. Oh. What did this commit suicide? Freaking suicide bomber? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, appear right. What if, like, it appeared right where he was standing at? He, mur he fused with it and just got stuck, and the game froze, and that's it? Now yeah, then there'll be no more commentary going on with this game. Yep. Like, sorry, Tibbs. <laughs> LP's over with. Oh, finally, the light arrows. Nice. Let there be light. Open the door, not roll through it, you idiot. Okay, I feel like I'm on a construction site where it's not fin building's not finished yet. I'm on these beams. Kind of like that, uh, the castle in Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Yeah. Oh. With everything falling apart. Yeah. Legacy of Darkness. Oh! Darkness. Ouch. Legacy of da Darkness. Dak? Dak? Dak Prescott? There we go. Nice. Easy target. An easy target. I butchered it. Oh, whoa! Right in my face. This freaking crackhead beetle. What was that? Whoa, what's this creepy thing? What the hell? How am I supposed to hit in his eye? I guess shoot something. Oh, keep on shooting it again. Okay, cool. You got blinded with the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. I saw the light. JBL, whenever he would open up WrestleMania on commentary, welcome the lights are on bright. Let's dance. Exactly. Fifth straight fairy. Ha <laughs> ha! Knocked him off. There's those Mega Man three dragonflies again. Get out of here. Oh, I think I got it. 
Upside down sun. Ah, upside down treasure chest. I feel like I'm playing Oracle of Ages 64 here in like a puzzling game, puzzling dungeons. Puzzling dragons. Yep. I don't remember that game. Let me shoot this there. eye. Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. A treasure chest that I can access. Six fairy. I think there's 15 if I remember correctly. Well, it's right above you, Link. What is Link doing here? <laughs> Jeez. I right, saw so I gotta press down all the switches at the same time over here, which means I gotta put on the different masks and play that elegy of ECW music Ugh. or no or I could do this put all the crates on the switches like that oh yeah and then uh, this one here use the because uh, it's the big switch you're gonna need uh, this uh, Goron's fat ass to step on it <laughs> so you just put on the Goron mask itself wouldn't, wouldn't work you have to actually utilize them I'm a new Mega Man character, Ass Man. Well, I'm an Ass Man. That's the 8-bit stage music, and then you fight Billy Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Ass Man. You get You're... Fame Asser. Yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. All right, now open the big tower. Not, not knocking on heaven's tower. Hey, 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 yeah. Not knocking on heaven's door. I sound like Edith from Edith from uh, All in the Family. <laughs> oh shoot! There's the Beemos I was teasing earlier. You can't get me now. Now you can. I better watch out. Ah, try to shoot at me that time. It can't. Ha ha. That was close. It's that switch again. I gotta figure out how to act activate. Ah, oh, jeez. What the heck bit me? Freaking skeleton fish. Quit my fire arrows to melt that ice eye. Look at that cold blooded eye. Look into his cold blooded eyes, King. Dang it, another upside down chest. Going into the darkness. 
Uh, outside it's of the Stone Tower. Nice. Huh. Dang it, more switches to rearrange, or more platforms to rearrange and switches to step on. Is that creepy Link statue again? Yeah, see, I think that's what he was talking about earlier. Shoot the red bloodstained jewel, whatever the heck that is. Whoa! Oh, jeez, what? I don't know what that was. Whoa. Everything's turned upside down. That thing turned topsy turvy. Was this uh, Little Nemo the Dream Master? Well, now we know how to activate the upside down stuff. Upside down treasure chests and switches. Here we are, upside topsy turvy temple. Now things are getting, are getting interesting. This is one of the upside down chests. Eighth stray fairy. Whoa. Better not fall off. Now it feels like the Sky Temple. Yeah, that's not annoying. Yeah. That's not creepy at all. Get out of my way. Big blocking sun block. Sun block. <laughs> block all the suns. Yeah. If you don't like the sun, you can block it. I wish you could have. I wish I had sun block in Mario Three. If you can't beat it, you can suck it. <laughs> the code DX. And if you're not dying with Ayat, I got two words for you: suck Ayat. That's right. Southern DX. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda DX Awakening DX or whatever it's called. <laughs> exactly. Okay, what am I supposed to do her? Do her? <laughs> What's ben, her name? Ben her? Oh, oh, if it's a Ben her, then you might not want to be doing her. Oh, yeah. All right, let me see what I got to do here. This complicated part of the dungeon. Tips is like, eh, you're doing it wrong, Ronnie. You ain't doing it like this. Get good. <laughs> Oh man, it's still upside down, so I guess I gotta flip the dungeon back to normal to open that. Jeez, man. No wonder this dungeon takes a long time. Jeez, what's this? Um, Galaga or Centipede 64? Ah, oh, nice progress. Put my statue here. I thought I... Oh, yeah, that's right. I got... <laughs> Duh. I got to put my creepy statue right there to keep the switch pressed down. Go up there and get the chest. Open the chest. Come on, open the treasure chest. What's Why your chest all belong to us? <laughs> What's this treasure, my Esther? Yes, a treasure master. Yes, a master. Ah, ninth fairy. What do you make up your mind, Link? You have a freaking identity crisis? Take off the mask or leave it on. Whoa, that looks familiar. It looks like the that masked boss in a Link to the Past. Yeah, that's right. You use a hook shot to take the mask off of those th those things and uh, you know, a Link to the Past, and I think also Twilight Princess. And then I don't know if you remember the OP that. Boss, where it's like a giant mask, you gotta chip away at it with the, I think the hammer or something, and 
one of the uh, Dark World, dun the first Dark World dungeon boss. Uh. Okay, that must be the Master K. Here we go, getting the Master K. Oh no, what the? Oh, <laughs> small key. Well, the treasure chest look like for the Master K. Now it's not a master key, it's a servant key. Come on, you pansies, let's do this. Oh no, oh, oh, close. The tenth one, five more to go. Come on, you pansies. Jesus is tricky. All this maneuvering. What a maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What? It was weird. <laughs> what a maneuver that was. What a maneuver that was, my leg. He's going to. He's got it. He's, he's got it. He made it. Wait a minute, what's Link doing right here? What's he doing? What's he doing, McMahon? He made it through the door, the lock door! Wait, wait a minute, it's upside down lava. It's hell, hellfire and brimstone raining down from the sky! That's gotta be Kane! He's turning upside down, King! <laughs> hell, we're going to start. Hell, that's flipped upside down! Hell, it's going topsy turvy! This Sunday, Kane, Undertaker, Inferno match, live! It's like a Cthulhu mask right there. Yeah, cath 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 cathedral mask. What? Cthulhu. Cath cathedral it Star, mask. Star, Star Wars thing? No, it's a uh, HP Lovecraft uh, creature god thingy that he created in his writings. Oh, c yeah, cath Cthulhu. <laughs> cath 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 Cthulhu. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Coochie Coochie Cthulhu. I, uh, I actually ended up getting a shirt from T Fury probably about a year or so ago, and it was called Cthulhu Monster, and it was Cookie Monster with like a bunch of eyes and tentacles on the bottom uh, where his legs would be, and he was eating a bunch of cookies. And uh, I ended up giving it to my girlfriend because I didn't really wear it too much, but I thought it looked cool, and she loves Cookie Monster to death. And uh, so, yeah, so she wears it to bed off and on. <laughs> uh, nice. Well, she's worn it out and about before too, but just recently have I seen her wearing it. it. Looks pretty cool. Yeah. All right, what I gotta do right here? Shoot that red ruby again. Oh, this is always fun in Zelda games. Put these freaking blocks. Oh, of course. Yep, of course. Pushing blocks is always fun. Yep. Yes, um, main main character, Sun Man. You get sunblock. <clears throat> sunblock. Or you get sunburn. Which, by the way, Mega Man Live, I didn't really research it. What are the Robot Masters names? Did they even announce that yet? I really have no clue. As a matter of fact, I was on a, uh, I was checking out a live stream last night of Rob Man from uh, Rob Man's World and uh, Happy Console Gamer, and uh, he was talking about about it last night about how happy he was about it. But he was actually going into some of the history of the story behind Mega Man, and um, but no, we haven't heard anything about any of the new Robot Masters. 
I'm pretty sure. And again, it's weird to me because when I first saw when it was going to be released, I thought that they said it was going to be released near the end of this year. Well, I mean, it is the end of this year, but it was actually near the end of next year. I was like, dang, man, they're waiting and they're announcing it an entire year ahead of time. I thought maybe it might have been available maybe like the middle of next year, possibly, but not the end of next year. Yeah. Or maybe even the, sometime the beginning of next year, but nope. Hmm. Well, what is this? I thought I just fought the mini boss. This, we fought this boss before. Jeez, I fought this dancing voodoo warrior again. Well, ouch! Jeez. Oh, man. All that brimstone falling on my head. All over your head. Yep. Just break your face in two. Has Vince McMahon lost his head tonight live? He'll confront Stone Cold Steve Austin in the moment of truth. The greater power will be revealed. That happened to what? It was me all along. That happened to Twilight Princess. The greater power was revealed. It wasn't Zant. It's me, Link. It was me all along, Link. Get in, Dwarf. Oh, son of a mother. Son of a mother, Fletcher. Yeah. You know, the thing is about that storyline, like I told people in school, we were all talking about, I wonder who's the greater power. And I told this girl, it's Vince McMahon. She goes, really? I said, yeah, I just have a feeling it's Vince McMahon. I just, ha I just got a feeling because it's probably just a plot twist and it's a swerve. I just, I, I bet you it's Vince McMahon. Um, I didn't get to talk to her about it again because summer uh, school was out for the summer. And then, like, right when school let out, that episode happened. It's me, Austin. I said, I knew it. See? I knew it. It was Vince McMahon. I'm sure it wasn't the only one, though, that figured that out. I'm sure other people had a feeling it was Vince McMahon. There was a lot of speculation uh, of who it might be. Even Vince said, people are saying it's Jake the Snake Roberts. People are saying it's Shawn Michaels. People are saying it's the bartender down the block. People are saying it's Andre the Giant. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think one time they did a drawing where, the, the, remember uh, the McMahon Hemsley faction where Triple H and Stephanie were in power? Yeah. Um, and they did a drawing where, and, and I forgot, I guess he's going to face him for the championship. And he drew a name out and he said, Andre the Giant, really? This ain't accurate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. These, uh, where's Stone, Stone Warriors? What's this, Ninja Turtles? It's the, stone, the ultimate Stone Warrior. As the sands fly down for the mountain, and the moon turns green in your anus. No, whoa. <laughs> the moon turns green in your anus. Yes, they, they you said might that want to see a Dr. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, that was like in the old PW Insider audio show from 2006 where they said, and the Warriors started cutting a promo saying, As the sands fly down for the mountain, and the moon turns green in your anus. <laughs> and I emailed him. I said, dude, that was freaking funny. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. And as you tra as you travel to WrestleMania, tear down the cockpit door, Hulk Hogan. And as the sands of time fly through your eyeballs, and as the stakes of ECW sizzle for Monday Night Raw, you're going to have some uncooked eggs on the planet Zebes or some random thing. I don't know. Steve Mongum and Michael will say on Nitro, you want to watch a show that's named after some uncooked eggs? This stuff sizzles over here, baby. Oh my gosh. Worst commentator ever. <laughs> and people say Michael Cole is bad and Tony Schiavone. No, listen to Steve Mongum and Michael in the early Nitro days. Oh, oh, look, oh, 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 I thought I was going to fall into the sky. Fall into the sky. Yeah. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Oh, uh, I hope not. <laughs> Jeez. Can you hook you on the chest? Maybe I can't if you shut up. No, snot nose fairy. Don't tell him what to do. It's your douchebag friend wearing the mask is causing all this trouble. Well, he's under the influence of the mask. Is that really his fault? It's the influence under the mask. Mask. Dude. This should put Kane's mask in this game. That'd be cool. You just summon Hellfire wherever you go to. 
Hellfire. That's gotta be in the text box because you know they don't have voice acting in this game. That's gotta be Kane. That's gotta be Kane. Or Jason's hockey mask. That'd be cool. Go around slaughtering people. With your knife be the bigger and sword turn into a giant machete. That would be awesome. Michael Myers mask too. My friend uh, still has a George W. Bush mask. And he wore it in front of his dog. And the dog never barks at anybody. He started growling at him. It was funny. <laughs> oh, jeez. What is... Oh, Dracula? Oh, Blackula. Oh, it's, it's Zant. <laughs> it's Zant. <laughs> Zant. Zant uh, man, Zant uh, got burnt or something here. Uh, you're the wrong game, Dracula, sir. You're in, you're in the other LP I'm doing. <laughs> oh, wow, jeez. Oh, man, it's like he got the Scythe or Scathe, whatever that weapon's called. It's a mixture of Death, Xant, and Dracula here. Jeez. He got phone pretty quickly. All the bats are dead. They just disintegrated. Ah, here we go. The Master Kai. That's right. That's the, this is the treasure chest is in, idiot. The Sasha Banks key. Like a boss. Yep. Well, from what I heard, though, she could not turn the page. I fail. Yeah, speaking of which, I'm really happy to know that Matt Hardy's finally been... Woken instead of broken, they call it woken. Yeah, I guess oh, it's because the lawsuit you can't do that, yeah. Yeah, but he's he's fully embraced it now. It seems like I hope it continues to be so because that was freaking hilarious when he had that back and forth thing with Bray Wyatt. I hope uh, Jeff Hardy jumps on board too. Yeah, I'm, I was wondering about that. I think Jeff is out with an injury or something right now, so he's not there. But I'm wondering when Jeff comes back, if they'll try to pull an angle again where he feuds with Matt or something before he joins up with him. If he even joins up with him, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Remember their feud 2009, WrestleMania 25? No, Jeff, Matt loves you, Jeff. Matt loves you, Jeff. Don't do it. Matt loves you. And Jeff still did it and <laughs> still jumped off the ladder and landed on through the table. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Talking about Matt Hardy's responsible for setting his house on fire and his dog dying or something, which really happened to Jeff Hardy in real life. Not that Matt set the fire in real life, but like his house did burn down and he lost his dog. And they put they incorporated that to the storyline. I guess Matt Hardy, it was me, Jeff, all along. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. It's just like that one time when they, and I don't know how they managed to do this, but when they got a feud going on with Edge and Matt Hardy, when there was real drama behind that with, with both of them and Lita, I don't know how they managed to do it because they were really at each other's throats, like, in real life. Yeah, or, um, yeah, Edge and Matt Hardy, that whole storyline thing, and, yeah. yeah, just, man, yeah, the whole thing was messed up. Yeah, they're supposed to wrestle that year, SummerSlam 2005, and it ended with, with Edge, like, beat him, beat him up so bad that the ref stopped the match because he was bleeding or whatever. And I was like, that was it? That was one of the things I looked forward to all day was seeing that match and to get stopped within five minutes because of that. I was pissed. Oh, yeah. This is back then before the network, too, first of all. Oh, the Giants mask. I got the Big Show's mask from WCW. No, but um, or Andre the Giants mask. Uh, but anyway, like, yeah, I was pissed off. Like, this is back then. Ouch. This is back then with pay-per-view, you know, before the network. Pay-per-views, you know, you pay the full pay-per-view price. Okay? And that was one of the things I wanted to see in that show, in addition to Hogan versus Shawn Michaels. And uh, I forgot what, the, what else happened in the show, but those two, Hogan and Michaels and Matt Hardy and Edge. I thought about that match during the day. And then finally got to see it, and it ended like that. I was pissed. I mean, if you're going to do that, do that on free TV, like on Raw. Don't do it on freaking pay-per-view. You pay good money to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. 
It's just like that video that I ended up posting today about uh, Jeff Hardy's drug incident back in 2011 when it was uh, Sting and Jeff Hardy for a, a championship match. And Sting ended up doing his uh, stinger drop or whatever it was on Jeff Hardy and, and rolled him up, pinned him for one, two, three. And you could already look at Sting's eyes and see he was pissed off. Because as he was going up the ramp, somebody somebody said something to Sting. And Sting was like, I agree, I agree. Yeah, the fans were chatting, this is BS. And he goes, I agree, I agree. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, seriously, I, I don't blame him. I mean, that was messed up. I mean, now uh, I think Jeff has gotten clean and sober since then. But, I mean, yeah, at the time, though, man, that was just – Messed up. I couldn't blame Sting for uh, but be feeling the way he did. Cause man, that was jeez, that was so horrible. There was also uh, teen, partially TNA's fault. I mean, if they do, they should have known he was messed up and not sent him out there. I don't care if the, they paid money to see it or whatever. Like, don't put him out there and then just like uh, yeah, that, you know. And then they should have fought, which I, I guess they did fire him right there. But then later on, he got brought back and did a storyline where he was going backstage apologizing to people and. Uh, some of the wrestlers are like, no, you got to prove it to us or whatever. And I don't know, man, that, that, that whole thing was just, that was sad. Yeah, it was. If you're still awake watching this, just go to sleep. If you're still awake watching this? <laughs> yeah, for those of you watching, yeah, just go ahead and go to sleep. It might be a while. Jeez. Well, of course, you can check the timer on the video. Yeah, that is true. Now, welcome back to part 22. Two? <laughs> part 2222. Right, Final Fantasy 10 2. This is Majora's Mask part 22. Two. Yeah, that's a long dungeon. Well, Ronnie, maybe if you do a better job playing through it, you can get through it faster and get good. <laughs> get good. If you. If you. <laughs> John Cena's finished move, the F you. I still call that to this day. The F you don't call the attitude adjustment. Yeah, I, I did the same thing. I'm like, whatever, dude. Or uh, what was the other one? It's not the STF. It was the STF you? Yeah, it was. I, th I think it was. Yeah. I think uh, Tony Schiavone has said on a uh, Nitro one time, STF stands for Submission Through Fear. I don't know if that's true or not. Yeah, I was wondering what that meant. Yeah, you know, you see somebody popping out, it's like, STF, STF, STF. I'm like, well, what the heck does that really mean? What's that stand for? When I was a kid, I thought Eric Watts invented it because he was the first one I see do it. Nope, I think maybe Masahiro Chono from Japan might have invented that, or Chris Jericho. <laughs> Jericho invented everything. He has yeah. a list. Yeah. He has a list. Yeah. Yep, and uh, hopefully, that'd be cool if I make the list, the playlist on YouTube, because he has a YouTube channel now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Jericho going to my channel and, and favoriting uh, a video on, on, on his favorites list. Yeah, right. Hey, you never know, man. Weirder things have happened. I mean, just like how one of the owners of Limited Run Games went on one of my videos and said something. I would have never had expected that, and that was actually about their company, too. <laughs> Don't. You're going to get them to come on this video and thumbs down it. Uh, I can't afford a thumbs down this video. That means I'll be ruined, and... <laughs> oh, wait, that means uh, extra view. <laughs> yep. Oh uh, yeah, stranger things have happened. Like, uh, like, you say, I say Jericho might not ever watch my videos. Conan Bryan followed a random person on Twitter years ago. Remember that? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, he he decided to follow a random person on Twitter. I guess just to, to see what would happen, and and then like she kind of, I guess people wonder why this person being followed by Conan. Oh dang it! See that? Start over, son of. A uh, yeah, so like, uh, she got interviewed by it. I think, I don't know who, who else was, if it was Kanye West or someone tried to do something similar. The other person didn't like it. Like, please stop calling me, people, and, and interviewing me. I don't, uh, and like, but please don't follow me, Kanye. This has caused me to get uh, in the public eye. <laughs> it was just weird. But, yeah, I mean, you never know. Like, what if something random happened, like ABGN subscribed to me? Jeez. Yeah, that would be kind of crazy. 
Oh, that right there. See, I took off the mask just in time because if I would have kept it on while having that as a, a, a Deku, I mean, if I kept the Deku mask on while being in the lava, I would have had to start over. I took it off real quick. Now, that's ECW. ECW. Welcome, Joy Styles. Welcome to ECW here in, in Waco, Texas. ECW. 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 Because that's how we all sound like here in Texas. Yeah. According to Jeff. Uh, Got to depend on these pansies again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one more to go. Yeah, we're flipping out over here in Texas. Forty two degrees. Oh no. We got some rain to sleep tonight. Don't forget to drip your faucet so it won't freeze over and the pipes won't bust. Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember I remember hearing about that. About dripping your faucets. That can happen, so I always play it safe. If it gets like below um uh, forty, I drip them. Mm -hmm. I don't want my pipes to bust over here. Also, I've heard about wrapping up your outside faucets as well in, in, uh, in a towel or something like that to keep the freeze from getting on them. Uh, I don't have, I don't, well, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. I live in an apartment complex. See, I'm from Texas. Complex uh, it's a complex uh, issue here. And I'm from Texas, according to JF. I'm supposed to talk like that, yes, since I'm from Texas. Just like the movie Friday Night Lights. They had everybody talk all Southern. And the, I remember the radio DJ here in town was like, uh, yeah, because everybody talks like that. Yes, if you're from Texas, you must be talking like that. Yes, so that's how they had everybody in the movie talk. <laughs> it pissed them off. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's just a one of those annoying stereotypes. Now, when well, you're a video gamer, you must be a loser and live in your parents' basement. Uh, no. Common stereotype if there ever was one. Yeah, and if you play a game on easy, you must be a pansy and I can whoop your ass. Well, they can, those people can just kiss my ass. Unless, <laughs> I'm actually, unless I'm actually playing online or something, then I would be putting myself through that. Which, by the way, I actually need to do a stream of me attempting to fight some people on Tekken 7 online. I don't know if the game will pair me up with beginners or if it will pair me up with people who just some random person, but um, I need to check that out. That'll probably be for an entertaining stream. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. If I can pull myself away from Xenoblade 2. <laughs> uh, yeah. How are these dragonflies? Oh, jeez. Ow! Freaking ravens come after me now. I got ravens, though. I guess Perry Saturn is nearby. Alright, more uh, puzzling stuff involving sunshine. I'm walking on sunshine. Wow. Oh, finally. If you're, if you're walking on sunshine, you're probably going to be in pain. Yeah. I, I think I had a dream one time. I was walking on the sun. And isn't there a... a Might as well be walking on the sun. Yeah, I was going to say, is there a song that I'm walking on the... Where Beerson Buddy's like, whoa, look. 
<laughs> they're naked, but they're the black things are covering their thingies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I was walking on the sun, and it was cool. Well, no, not really. It was hot, but I didn't feel anything. It was, it was cool. Not really. It was hot. <laughs> well, I didn't feel anything, though. You know, I mean, like, I was like out of space as if, like, I could do just go anywhere I want. This, this being that can float anywhere. I was walking on the sun, even though you can't technically, even if you could endure being that close to the sun, you can't really walk on it because it's a ball of gas. You fall through it. But anyway, I was walking on it, seeing all these flames around me. Whoa, this is cool. And hearing the, even though like outer space is like a vacuum, there's no sound. I was hearing a bunch of heat flares and stuff as if a heater was turned on. It was just a weird, cool dream. Did you just say if a heater got turned on? No, if a heat, if a heater. Was turned oh, on. a heater. I thought you said something about the heater. It's <laughs> not like a set fajita, yeah. Yeah. And I want some fajita nachos. There's a local place around here that has some really good ones. Yeah. There's actually, a couple of them have really good ones. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hopefully we're almost done here. Chicken and steak and, and uh, roasted tomatoes and green peppers and some onions and some cheese, mozzarella cheese, or, t or Mexican cheese, or whatever it is on top of tortillas, and you mix it all up, and it tastes like heaven. It sounds like you say green pampers. You put green pampers in there, and you <laughs> stir it all around, and it tastes like heaven. There's like a lot of pansies these days. You got to pamper them. Yeah, there's a lot of pansies that do need to wear some damn pampers. Yeah. They just piss on everything for everybody. And then we piss back because we won't put up with their shizzle dizzle. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Easy dub. Easy dub. Yeah. Oh, Bemos, watch out. Uh oh. Oh, yes, finally. Finally, the Sasha Banks door. Sasha Banks room. What the? Whoa. I gotta jump into a void. Fight the boss here. What am I, shifting Sandland from Mario 64? Whoa! Whoa, well, this is Centipede 64. This is a giant centipede. Oh, schnackies. Twin mode. Oh, jeez. That does not look fun. Wow. Whoa. Whoa, Link is... Wait, good God! Link is giant, Link King! What? He's turned to a giant! Holy Whoa. shnikey balls. What? My God, he's huge! What? How'd he get that big JR? That mask he's wearing... Must have transformed him to a giant king. Ah. <laughs> now he's gonna get. He's gonna open up a giant can of whoop ass. Nah, oh man, did you use his magic power? That's lame. Whoop his tail. He's whooping his tail. He's getting the case of the liver tail. He's high tailing it out here, king. I think he's opened up a can of whole ass, JR, huh? Can of whole ass. Oh, oh, good guy. Oh, he fell face first to the sand. Wait, it's not over yet. What? There's another one. Ah! You're getting the case of the limber tile. I never understood what. <laughs> What is a government mule? Uh, the Democratic Party. Because he goes, he's getting whooped like a government mule. Yeah, that's the only thing that could come to mind is a Democratic Party. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, magic's running out. If you don't believe in magic, start. 
I'm walking on sunshine. Ah. I'm Christopher walking on sunshine. Ah oh, man, not a magic here, jeez. I gotta find a magic jar somewhere. This looks like the final battle in Castlevania 64 with Dracula and then the sand in the desert, wherever the heck I was at. There we go. I already have a jar of magic, duh. Hurry up, are you getting that quicksand? He's singing the quicksand! Come on! Stop doing your ballerina dance. At least hit him. Oh, got him! Got him! He got him! Uh, he got him right in the keister. In his keister. E C W. Yeah, well, yeah, the heart piece is over there. Make, Link, make up your mind where you're going. Heart piece is that way. There we go. Get the heart piece. Get your heart piece of shirt. You got the twin mode remains! <laughs> That's freaky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, another dramatic scene here with the land of the giants. That sounds like a massive amounts of farts. Yeah. Somebody ate too much Taco Bell. Yeah, I know Sloth is in this game. <laughs> Goonie 64. He said, oh, ECW. I hear voices in my head. They understand. They talk to me. Yeah. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. Talk to May. May Young. Rest in peace, May Young. Yeah. Jerry Lawler. May old. May old. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Hey, JR, I think I see some vultures circling around the ring. All right, so this guy to here, and uh, what now? What is that? Looks like one of those clouds you got to dodge in Donkey Kong Country 2 against K. Rule. What was it? The, the Planeteers, Captain Planet, and the Planeteers flying up. The power is yours. The power is not yours. Captain Planet, he's not our hero. He's nothing but a big fat zero. He's gonna get murdered by Sub Zero. I fail. Probably. I think he would. Has Peace returned to Icona Village? Or Icona Lodge? Or whatever Jeff called it? Guess we'll find out in part 23. Until then, God bless and take care. Later, taters. Yeah! Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask Part 23. This is Ron Moore along with the Ravenous Spectre and Large Stomach, I mean Small Tummy Wonderful. Greetings and salutations to you all once again. And it's me, the Ravenous, Ravenous Spectre person thing in the Jiggy Bob. And hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, is uh, Robot Danny here today? <laughs> he might be. Oh, for Oh, for the love of crap, all that's good. Ugh, give it. 
stupid, stupid signal. Oh, whoa. What? what just happened? Uh, that's one of the fairies now. Oh. Giggity. The great it's fairy the of fairies. ECW. ECW. <laughs> so, Link, for those of you who watched Part 22, Link just defeated the Stone Temple Pilot Temple, uh, whatever it was called. And now he has a great fairy <laughs> sword. Nice, because he collected all the fairies in the land. The ECW sword. I forget the bigger in the sword. This looks pretty ECW. Hmm. Yeah, we can't go wrong with great fairy sword. <laughs> and live in color. You can do what you want to do. Yeah, so now live Link. I think Link has a few more side quests here before he finally takes on yeah, the Skull Kid. Life. What? Maximum life. Uh, not yet. You got two more hearts to go. Yep. That's his creeper. A little laser dot face right there. Yeah. So, did anyone play the Soul Calibur 2 version on the GameCube where you get to play as Link? <clears throat> Whoa. Is this the boss from A Link to the Past? Hmm, good question. No, but uh, no, I did not play that Soul Calibur, and we could use Soul Calibur Link right here. I actually ended up playing a little bit of it back when I was at uh, university. Um, I had the PS2 version, and one of my other friends had the GameCube version, and we kind of went back and forth playing both of those versions because some of them were Tekken fans, and they wanted to play as Hihachi from the Tekken series on PS2, and then other people were Legend of Zelda fans, which I think we all were, kind of. And then we want to go and play as uh, Link on the uh, uh, GameCube version. <clears throat> Yeah, so this boss right here, Link is, I think, fighting some more bosses again. Almost like a gauntlet here before he moves on. Mmm, gauntlet. Hey! That's like the gauntlet match is in wrestling. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, because he's facing against a whole lot of uh, eyeballs there. Yeah. Kind of hey. reminds me of the uh, Ocarina of Time boss battle, the first one that you fight. Oh, yeah, that one too, yeah. I yeah. see what you did there. Ha <laughs> ha, but I'm the piss. Yeah, that is definitely the boss that needs to get hit with a uh, hook shot and then everything. But one of the uh, weapons in uh, Soul Calibur 2 when it comes to Link, his best weapon would be like Soul Edge Complete and the Great Fairy Sword. I remember in A Link to the Past, you fought a similar boss to this and use your hook shot to um, grab the eyeballs towards you, destroy the, each eyeball, and then uh, go after the, the main one. Yeah, this is the exact same one. It's a reference to it. It's a nice throwback. Hey, it's Throwback Thursday. I wonder why Link don't use the hookshot then. Maybe he can't do that here? I don't know. Or maybe this is an easier way for Link to do this. Oh, jeez, he's getting pulled right here. Come on, Link. Well, defense is up, so nothing to worry about there. Get a fire arrow in the eye. Burn. Burn. Oh, pwned. All right. Also, the Gilded Sword is like the Golden Master Sword from A Link to the Past. Yeah. Wait, well, Link got her. <laughs> Silver rupees. I want Tiz to do a. I want Tiz to do a playthrough of uh, Breath of the Wild and also the new DLC that he's playing. And we can commentate over that. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, oh, that, that would be cool, but unfortunately, <clears throat> we can't do commentary anymore. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. That LP might Why take five say? years because it's a long game, and, and if you did try to squeeze that in the schedule, it'll take forever. 
Yeah, and considering I'm overworked anyway at work, and it kind of sucks. Who is this? Looks like a douche. <laughs> douche. Oh, Davis, you said douche. Drink the magic. <laughs> Drink the magic gooey stuff. Drink right. the green gooey stuff. Quick cut here, back to uh, the uh, hotel, whatever the heck it is. Is that a roach on the floor? Dirty ass motel. Hotel California. No, no hotel term hotel termina. Um. Oh man. <laughs> See, if, if Gentu was in this part, you know what he would say right here. Well, she's where she belongs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or like, get your ass back in the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Get your ass to the copter! Get to the copter! Get to the kitchen and get me a sandwich! I'm okay. sorry, that was a really pathetic version of trying to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh -huh. This is making uh -huh. soup. There's this guy in NXT that kind of looks like a guy I used to work with. He's in a, a tag team called the Street Profits, but Profits is spelled like money profits, not profits like, you know, religion mm -hmm. but uh he, he comes out and he stands there and that's like he's stirring a pot and every time i look at him I'm like man he kind of looks like a guy i used to work with <laughs> <laughs> i was just thinking that when you're talking about stirring the pot and soup and whatnot and he likes to stir the pot uh, i uh, stirred the shit pot like the spoon all right here's uh the grandmother storyteller <clears throat> Or I, uh, or we can smoke and drink that uh, leaf. Huh. Smoke and drink a leaf. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get uh, high off of marijuana. Marijuana, you say? Nah, I'm good. I don't dabble in the things known as the. The, uh, the weeds. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, would you like me to read your story? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's hilarious. Shoot, I'll eat it. What is that? I don't even know what it is. I'll eat it. <laughs> Piping hot food. Also, uh, Spectre, I don't dabble with weed either. Nah. Ha! That's good. Oh, man, I have a story. A short story, actually. Uh, someone at my job apparently got caught with weed. <laughs> Put it in, the, it was a, in a bag on top of a toilet. And uh, in the women's okay. restroom. Off duty cop found it. The employee went in there and straight up asked the manager right in front of the manager and off duty cop, Can I have my bag of weed back? How are you going to claim it? Wow. Oh my Jeez. God. Yeah, so, it's of course funny you got fired Because the guy, the guy that I was talking about that kind of looked like that wrestler I mentioned earlier, he had actually got caught. Apparently, he got caught uh, smelling like weed or something when he came into work. And, I mean, there was some other crap that was going around, you know, like usual workplace drama and rumors and gossip. And people don't know how to shut their mouths. But uh, he actually ended up, like, selling his fate when he came in. I think he – I don't know if he did it while he was there or he came in smelling like that. But, yeah, he got fired because of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the postman thing is delivering the uh, letter to Andrew. Where did the letters from? Hmm. And Jew. Yeah, and Jew, 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 Jew. Juju bees. Yeah. Juju, Juju fruits from Seinfeld. Oh, oh yeah, those are sticky as piss. They're good, but they're freaking Jew? sticky. Jew please come, Gentu. Gentu, be like, please come to our kitchen. That's where I'll, that's where I'll be at because I belong there. <laughs> the stock pot in. One of my favorite side quests in the game. I got the cafe mask up there at the top of the screen. Hmm. 
All right, here's my room. Ooh, got a present or something. What is this? Another silver rupee. Yay, silver rupees. That's no, really that's that's not sound. that's not the creaking sound in the room. It's the creaking sound in I think Inspector's chair. Yeah, that's a little creepy. <laughs> I'm just freaking y'all out a little bit. That's all. Too bad I'm doing Castlevania right now. <clears throat> oh, it. that would totally fit the atmosphere. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a secret. Not I anymore. Must know. Not anymore. Miyamoto, whoever it was, came out with that book, The Legend of Historia, and and told the st the timeline. Yeah, and the funny funny you should mention that because that was, I don't know if I had ever mentioned this to you before, but I had that book. Okay, I also have the uh, it's some type of art book or something. It's art art artwork throughout the entire Zelda series. My girlfriend got it for me. Um, for I think it was like a Christmas gift, a gift or my birthday or something like that. But I actually had had the hit the the High Rule Historia book before. I bought it some time back, and there was this girl at the time that I I really it's like I liked her, but I wasn't really dating her. And she was going on. This was like back in uh, some odd years ago, and she was back up in uh, college. She was going to college up in Kentucky, and I said, well, I said, I'll send uh, a couple Walking Dead compendiums to you that I already read because she was in The Walking Dead, and I said, I'll also send you the Hyrule Historia so you can check that out too because she was a Zelda fan. Well, I sent them to her, and she checked them all out and everything, and we kind of lost contact, but I got back in contact with her again, and I wanted to get my books back. Well, the dumb bitch never sent my books back. Even when she came down for Thanksgiving one year, and I was trying to talk to her and see what was going on, and she said, yeah, she said, I can get your, your books back to you. She said, where can we meet at? And I told her we were going to meet there the next day. Well, she gave me the excuse. She was like, oh, well, we can't. She said, I have to take care of my grandmother. I have to look after my grandmother today, so I can't meet up with you. I said, she, <clears throat> she said, I'll have to actually mail them to you or something because I can't meet up with you any time while I'm down here for vacation. I'm thinking, this lying bitch. So yeah. anyways, you know, the fact is that she left. She, yeah, she left and went on back to college up in Kentucky. And she did. I, I didn't hear from her again. Didn't know what was going on. Finally, it came to a point where I got pissed off and contacted her again. And she finally said, "Oh well, you ain't got to get an attitude about it." She said, "I have your books. Just go ahead and give me your address so I can send them to them." I'm like, "You should have freaking sent me the damn things by the time you got back to school. I shouldn't have to freaking ask you for them after I already did the past couple of times." Yeah, I remember you, know? you telling me that story. Yeah. I think it was when you made your special guest appearance in my Oracle Seasons. Uh, yeah, 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 I believe it. I believe it was. But yeah, I. So <laughs> I don't know when or if I'll ever get that back, or if I'll ever hear from her again. So yeah, like that book, I was really, I was especially wanting to get that one back, and haven't seen hide nor hair of it ever, ever again. I was like, that's the last time I ever lend anything out, lend anything out to anybody that I can't easily get to them, <laughs> like yeah. drive right down the street and see them or something. Yeah, piss me off. Pisses you off, Papa. <clears throat> I got the pendant of memories. Hopefully, it doesn't yeah. have. Hopefully, it doesn't have memories of uh, faces of evil or Wanda Gamelon in there. Yeah. Oh, so there's quite a few fun glitches in this game. Yeah. Yep. Oh, let's let's do oh, some so spying here. Look at this. Cafe. That's uh, cool. You lost the Keton map. Yeah. Yeah, give us the damn mask already. You know we want the mask because we can sell them for crack. Sell them for crack. <laughs> yeah, for the later, like, last part of the game. Because you... Uh, well... Giving up the masks, selling uh, them all right. for crack. Bag oh, a stock pot in. Uh, a bag of pot, pot in. Huh? Yep, this is from Cafe. Yeah, uh, I wonder why Miyamoto said, let's call it the stock pot in. Miyamoto, you do realize you get the bullets to make a whole bunch of weed and pot references, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
People come to the Stockpot Inn to get high in their personal rooms if you got the key. Well, if you play the Zelda games over the years, Link does love does like pot. <laughs> yes, and that green magic meter. Yeah, he certainly loves drinking pot too. Instead of uh, breaking Breaking Bad, I think someone did a a parody picture called uh, Breaking Pots, and it shows Link smashing pots. <laughs> oh yeah, and Link does love doing that as a hobby too. Oh, let's eavesdrop. It's not creepy at all. What a peeping Tom. What a pervert. So that's Andrew. Is that a Zora or there's a statue over there? And this is, uh, I think, Andrew's mother. Mm. Seems to make quite a bit of sense. Oh, no, wait. No, she just said your mother was. Well, then who is she? The aunt? Oh, grandmother. No. The grandmother was the one that wouldn't eat her food earlier. Yeah, right. <sighs> uh, well, <coughs> I would talk about, like, Majora's Mask, essentially, but, like, in the bad games for porn, they actually made Skull Kid reappear and stuff, and it's like, no, not Anju, she's a married woman, that's completely wrong. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, I don't know if you know or not, Ronnie, but <clears throat> uh, finally my package shipped from Limited Run Games, and it's supposed to be here Saturday. Finally, my final game that I'm ever going to get from them, it finally okay. shipped. Yeah, I don't know if, if you knew about that or not. Yeah, I think so, I saw that on Facebook. Yeah, definitely going to end up doing a video on that. What the heck was up with that door? It switched from like one. I know, right? That's what, what, is, what, is, what is Tibbs doing? Come on, Tibbs. Just stop running in place. Stop running so slow and hurry up and get to the counter. I got to deliver that food. What is this? Hey, look, this is the uh, Majora's Mask version of Pawn Shop, Pawn Stars. <laughs> Pawn Stars. <laughs> That's funny. Why does he get scratched his back and take a shower or something, dude? You got the seven year rich? Who are you, Billy Kidman from Raven's Flock? Exactly. Yeah, and everybody knows what the hey, seven year hey, rich hey, means. Hey, hey, butthead, how about the seven year bitch? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> shut up, Beavis. That's not really that funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me, yeah. Me. <laughs> Beavis the butthead 64. Wow, that'd be something. Oh, that would be something indeed. Ooh. Quite a treasure. That other guy, that thief, looks like a pansy. Or a wannabe child molester. Right? Well, yeah, now you know how it feels being a crook. Yeah, you're a crook yourself, so shut up. Well, Curiosity shop. Bear, Bear is here. I wonder how curious they would be. <laughs> <laughs> this piques my curiosity. <laughs> not only that, the thief one is super uh, wonky and like super slow. All right. Well, yeah. Well, let's not air out their dirty laundry here, as we are in the laundry pool now. Huh. Oh my. Oh, Jericho's list. I mean, I mean, Link's uh, journal. You just made the journal. I don't sound, I don't sound right. <laughs> you just made the journal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robotic Danny is back. Charlie. <laughs> He's breaking through the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> Express mail to Mamba. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, your mom goes to college. <laughs> Most interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet Lord, have mercy. All right, play that the, uh... just sounded like somebody was <coughs> masturbating too hard. 
<laughs> I didn't use any loot. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Michael Cole is with us. Michael, it's great to be here in the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and Terminator. Oh my! He just traveled back to Icona Village or the Icona Lodge. Huh? Oh my! Coming up next, the WWE Women's Champion Ric Flair on SmackDown. Uh, way to fail, Michael Cole. <laughs> Yeah, jeez. My friend told me that. I didn't see that happen. I got to look it up. My friend told me that happened. They weren't even on SmackDown. They're on Raw. And he goes, the WWE, because Charlotte was coming out. Here comes the WWE Women's Champion, Ric Flair, on SmackDown. Good times. You're the green hat kid. ECCW. Whoa. Run home to your mama. Okay, so right here you have to sneak behind him. He can't see you, I guess, or he'll run away. He's going into his freaking hidden hideout or something. Hidden hideout. That's what it, it's supposed to be hidden. It's a hideout. Hmm. I said that Deku scream better not uh, snitch on me. <laughs> kind of like that TLC song. Don't want any scrubs. Don't want no scrub. Look at that guy. I'm going to start running like that see what happens to me. Oh, uh, with the bunny hood uh, yeah. on or something? Open open says me. He's going open to his uh, you? den of thieves. Whoa, wait. Cafe is right there following. Oh, wow. All right, so now let's go in there too. Arthrox. Satcon's hideout. <clears throat> Funny how Seikon is kind of like a reference to Naruto. Whoa, look at that mask. The sun's mask. Ooh, Ooh. mask. Ooh. The sun's mask. We're going to sell that for crack later. <laughs> Hyrulean crack. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, it's a trap. <laughs> What Switch? The Nintendo Switch? <laughs> Indeed. Who wants to be a Switch? Or make a Switch? My grandma. Behave, Rob. Get that Switch. Get the Switch. Gender Switch? No, not much. Oh, jeez. Not really. So this right here, you get to actually play as Cafe. Yep, which that this was pretty revolutionary and different for a Zelda game. You actually got to play a different character. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah. cool. All right, so we got to hurry here before it gets off the conveyor belt and into that hole. Hey, into you hole. said hole. Into the hole. Down in the hole. Dun, 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 dun. Losing my soul. Losing my soul. Dun, dun. Everybody's yeah. a hoe. Yeah. Won't you come? Yeah. Black Won't hole, sun mask, sun. won't you? Yeah. <laughs> come, wash away the rain. Black hole, sun. Come on, Cafe, you can do it. There's the mask. Yeah, Ask Jim Carrey. Just like Jim Carrey. Yeah, I was yeah. just thinking the same thing. Oh, Rocky Dennis. Yep. Now we're on a time limit to get that damn mask. Yeah. Ah, uh, son of a... Yeah, it's one of those blue switches. There you go. Dang it, I feel like I'm playing Oracle of Ages here. Puzzling situation. <laughs> oh, indeed. A very puzzling situation, indeed. Uh-oh. Ocarina of Time, Wolves. Oh! Wolfos! Wolfos were mentioned in uh, the uh, Zelda cartoon. Uh, well, excuse me, princess. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Link wants to he, made on time. he got the sun's mask. What do you say, Robotic yeah. Danny? <laughs> Uh, my mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
What the hell was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're you supposed say? to say your mom. mom. Your your mom. Oh. You insulted your own mother. <laughs> I better be careful mentioning your mother because one time I mentioned uh, in good with good uh, intent, uh, Green's mother in commentary, like uh, as a joke or something like that. Green's mother heard us on live commentary and got mad at Green. Didn't give him his money. I was like, oops. He didn't get his, he didn't get his, his uh, allowance. Yeah, I'm like what? Your friends run their mouth about me. That's it. You're not getting your money. I'm like what? The <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Actually, it wasn't crap. even live commentary. He watched the video and played it back, and I mentioned it. And then Green's mother came to the room. It's like an inside joke, nothing bad or anything. And she, I guess, thought it was bad. And like, what? Your friends talking bad about me? You're not getting your money. And he posted a comment or a message. Dude, you got me in trouble. I was like, sorry, I didn't know you. It's gonna happen. What the heck? It was all in good faith, all in good jokes, all in good taste. I yeah. Guess. Well, Jeff's mother made her appearance, and uh, the very first. Let's play video on the S2K channel. <laughs> By accident, I said three, two, one, play, and then you hear Jeff's mother in the background, "Put your clothes in the dryer." <laughs> and we left it in there, and I said, "Welcome to let's play. Put your clothes in the dryer for the NES." <laughs> <laughs> ah, the sun mask. We finally got the damn thing. What about the moon mask? Uh, mm. I got a moon mask. <laughs> uh, allow me to show my ass to the whole crowd. Yeah. I'm an ass man. Damn, damn. <laughs> I'm an ass man. That song had creepy lyrics. Like, the best surprises when I stick them from behind. Your uh, eyes no. give away the truth of how I feel. What? The, oh, the check this out right here. Check this out. Look, the the uh, the, the dojo, me. the teacher right here. Look at the teacher right here. He's hiding. He's hiding for his life because the moon is about to crash. He's like, oh, I'm scared. I can't take it. I don't want to die. It's okay, Master. I'll save us all. Yep. Four minutes. We got four minutes. Good God Almighty King. That moon's going to come crashing down on Terminal. Ah. Uh, and this woman kind of looks like uh, Telma a little bit, but Telma's a thousand times prettier. Wait a minute. Dude, I think you're way behind in the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be right about that. We're, we're at the 28-minute mark. We're, we're at the 28-minute mark. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm just stating an obvious fact. Oh, boy. All right, so now Cafe oh, keeps his promise. And right before death, they meet up. One way to save the game is letting the moon crash. But uh, I remember when the truth was still providing videos and content is that he actually let the moon drop on New Year's Day. <laughs> nice. nice. Yep. Yeah, I wish Lens of ECW and tips is to do commentary with us, especially in this LP. Right? Lens of Truth, otherwise the other Danny is awesome. Yeah. And he knew his stuff, just like Tibbs, when it came to Majora's Mask. Yep. Me, I'm like, well, right here, Link's doing this right here, and I believe he's uh going to go to this castle next. And <laughs> uh huh. Oh, uh, look. They're uh -huh. now... Uh, Back together again. They're gonna do it in the floor. Oh, the kid from Problem Child. Uh, I mean, not not Problem Child. Uh, the kid from Kindergarten Cop. Uh oh, they're gonna do it. Huh. Oh yeah, I remember that. I'm sorry. That was like a little kid. Uh, Chris Hansen comes in the door. Why don't you have a seat over here, ma'am? Ma'am, have a seat right here. Uh, what are you doing? This is a ten-year-old boy. No, it's a decoy. He's really eighteen. <laughs> the couple's mask. What? There's a predator's mask. And Chris Hansen comes around. <laughs> you get the predator's mask. Now you can catch all the predators in the Hyrule <laughs> or Termina. <laughs> oh my! Oh man, we got like about a minute left. Hmm? A minute left. Oh no! Before the moon the crashes. Moon because you're still at the five-minute mark, Danny. You don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Actually, 
Actually, I still know what you're talking about. <laughs> Shut up, it, man! I think your toupee don't know what it's talking about. <laughs> Only if you knew that uh, <laughs> if I did wear it, you sadly real. We're laughing with you, Danny, not at you. <laughs> Michael BS. <laughs> Michael BS. <laughs> I call BS. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, was like, I was like, who's Michael BS? Michael, Michael Bolton? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bolton's BS. All right, so I, I, went, back, I, I went back to uh, the first day here. Now I'm at the mayor's residence, and whoa, whoa. there's a uh, big conference going on in the mayor's office, maybe about the freaking ne yeah. net neutrality of FCC. Yeah. Try to stop the boat uh, here. The hell yeah. him. You can't get rid of net, net neutrality. I can't even say that, net neutrality. Dang it. <laughs> net neutrality. Net neutrality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got neutered all right. It sounds like something you yeah. do with Mortal Kombat. It, FCC wins neutrality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> FCC can suck it. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I put I put, uh, I put FCC on the list today, if you saw on Facebook. You know, here's the thing, though, man. The thing is, though, is it still has to go through Congress. But the funny thing about that is, considering the fact that you've got all these old farts up in Congress that still feel like the Internet is some newfangled thing that started in the 90s, they still think it's like a newfangled thing nowadays. I'm pretty sure they probably have some younger folks that work in the White House trying to help them just access their email. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like my mother. Oh, man. <laughs> We're just managing on her. <laughs> like, oh my goodness gracious, uh, for all the things that I say about my mother. Some, what, sometimes when we laugh, Danny, that means that's where, that's where you sound like a robot. <laughs> yeah, Even the laughing sounds like a robot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Data from Star from uh, Star Star Tropics, dang it, Data from Star Trek is here with us now. <laughs> this is Data, and we are playing The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Actually, Data actually don't sound too robotic. He actually sounds, speaks pretty good in human English. <laughs> R2-D2 so is here now. <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to laugh where I pee my pants. Ah, ah. Then you ah. have to leave commentary. That wouldn't work. The couple of uh, What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. A young the... cuck has been married? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> did my wife oh, flee? My. I hope so. Freaking ugly. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you say about my mama? You for sorry for who? I don't really trouble. Just get uh, out. Mr. Mayo. Uh, Mayo. Mayor. That's a, that's a goofy looking mayor. He looks like he's no... No wonder... Uh, freaking freaking country screwed up or terminus screwed up right now because he's probably the one that's forward uh, to repeal net neutrality or whatever or whatever the guy's name is fcc that freaking spearheaded that oh agit pie how about we get a piece of your pie and how about you freaking leave you freaking <laughs> moron Ag agitator yeah agitator agitator <laughs> all right got another heart piece yes Taters. Heart pieces. I saved the mayor for the meeting, <laughs> so that's my reward. All right, now let's cut back to here. Back to the showdown with the Skull Kid again. Yet again. Notebook. You just made the notebook. <laughs> I just pip slapped the fairy. It's okay. Ah, there we go. All right, so let's play Good the grief. Oath to Order. To put everything back in order here. Yeah, oh, wait a minute. Back. 
Wait, what's going on here? The earth is shaking. What a groundbreaking event, King. Oh my. Shut up, man. When you got that toupee, toupee it was a groundbreaking event or something. <laughs> He's having a seizure. What is wrong with him? Oh, this is the final battle? No, it's not. Hardly. Whoa, why is everything going up? Oh. It's a gravitation gravitation to pull the moon. Whoa. Yep, and here come the giants. Indeed. What the heck is going on? Here come the giants, the four giants being summoned by the oath to order. They're here to stop the moon. One of the saddest songs to ever be played in Zelda history. What was one of those old love movies with uh Oh, I forgot what his name was from. Uh, I don't know if it's the same actor from a one. It's a Wonderful Life, Patrick Stewart or whoever. Um, where he goes, he looks at his woman. You, I'll give you anything. See that moon? You want the moon? Just say the word. I'll throw a lasso around it and give you the moon. Well, <laughs> here you go. <laughs> a friend of mine just sent me a picture. It's a. It's an actual spoiler that you put on a car and it says Star Wars on it. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's fun. Good time. Spoiler, the movie comes out tomorrow. <laughs> what the heck is up with his arms? They're like stuck inside of his head. That's that's how he's I built. I actually like Star Wars. He's so he's so swole, was it? What the heck? It's just like he's a head with like arms <laughs> and legs. Yeah. They're yeah, just no, freaking no, bodies. And the got, well, don't well have... hey, don't hate these guys. They got a good head on their shoulder. The head or their shoulder. Uh -huh. It's like the head on their crotch and in between their, <laughs> their chest should be. They yeah. You got they a good head no on your dick. dick. Thank you kindly. I appreciate they it. They have no dick. Jeez. I mean, look. They have no yeah, dick. You, you can look right up, right up. I think they meant to have that, that camera shot right up between their, their, their areas there. Yeah. <laughs> they look like tomatoes that sprung out arms and legs and they just stop yeah. the moon yeah <laughs> the soul lost way <laughs> well no kidding he was lonely Danny there's another boss we're gonna fight it's called a uh, the lost signal or something <laughs> Christ <laughs> yeah, my Wi-Fi signal goes up and down. It's full bars at the living room, but in the living room, it's, it's I heard that. I heard that is my wife goes up and down when she's at full bars. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, my Wi-Fi, not my wife. I'm not even married. <laughs> Whoa! Wait a minute. All of Majora's plan, the mask. It is all the doing of the mask. Which I would like to say that the mask is, well, Satan. What the heck is going on? I shall consume. Oh, the, the consume mask everything. went inside the moon. Yep, oh, wait a, wait a minute. It's come back to life. The, and the... Giants are struggling. Oh, jeez. Heard myself. There That's it is not again. freaky at all. Oh, boy. Reverb. Rehash. Reverb. Huh. So, I guess the final battle would be next. What is Link thinking of doing here? Ah. Uh. Going up and moving <laughs> low, and giving him one bad case of sinus congestion. Seems like it. Stab inside of his nasal cavity. 
<laughs> no, we're just breaking cap uh, capillaries in his nose, making the moon's nose bleed. That just that didn't just sound like a chicken when he did that. The way that the signal came through. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop! I hate this phone. I want to break it. <laughs> I Did you know that tails spelled backwards is Liat? <laughs> Liat. No Whoa! Idea. Link is inside the moon now. <laughs> and we will see the rest of that in the next part, which will be the final part and the final battle. So join us next time for Let's Play Discuss Majora's Mask. He's in his guts. Oh, He's in his guts. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. Take care. Later, potatoes. Potatoes. Grab a mash and stick them in a stew. Frag on mash and stick them in a stew. Grab a mash and stick them in a stew. Okay, we're done. I think you turn off the thing. No, I did not. Oh, oh, the black one. Oh, You're sweet, still being recorded. You're being recorded. Yeah. Yeah. You're being recorded. Yeah. yeah. Jeez, this, <laughs> this, was a, this was a jumbled mess. <laughs>
nice weather for our moon. Right, yeah, we're we're live now inside the moon. Ah, where are we at, Jr? I just said inside the moon, King. <laughs> Can't be inside the moon. It's too beautiful in here. What's going on, Jr? Oh, Jr. and Paul Heyman on commentary back in WCW. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paul Heyman goes, "Well, you need to apologize, Jim Ross, because we don't know what uh, we don't have a winner here." He goes, "Well, I know that's stupid. I don't know either. Who you calling stupid? Yeah, you stupid, because I don't know either." <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now this is uh, the part where we usually Goron's mask. And a little obstacle course here. And no, don't go in there yet. We're not finished. Gonna look for another heart piece. Right. So I guess then you have to utilize all of the masks to be able to get through these different sections. Um, no, no, no. We're not gonna, it's not gonna be that long. Just uh, think one or two more obstacle courses and that's it. Oh, okay. I thought it was like different uh, challenge sections dealing with all the masks. Jeez, I tell you, this, this game is long enough as it is. He says that yeah. three hours later. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's play Discuss Majora's Mask, two hours long, be longer than the uh, finale of Twilight Princess, which was an hour and a half. Oh, Jeff couldn't take it and killed himself. Oh. Yeah. He pulled, a J -Man. he pulled a J Man and Rage quit. <laughs> yeah, that's like those are supposed to be, uh, I guess, potion for your magic, but don't you have. We have infinite magic here, so what's the point? I thought they were little like mines or something. Oh, okay, well, oh they're war points. I guess they are. I already know. And I, I messed up here, so let me start over. One of those colorful teleportation devices. Oh. Yeah, one of those Lucy, colorful Lucy. <laughs> teleportation devices. Eat your heart out, Sonic. <laughs> What the Sonic on the GameCube? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh! oh. No. <laughs> no. Dude. Alright, quick cut through that. Here we are. <laughs> the magic of editing. Yes, and... Alright, so we found... Um, the second person that wants to play hide and go seek. Gotta love hey, these masks. Um, do, does the show do you have... Does it contain a human soul? That's what it looks like, a human soul screaming at you. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay, uh, so these people like masks, and... Uh, okay, whatever. He's asking me a question about life or philosophy or something. Okay, we're back on Hyrule Field now. Oh, wait, no, this is... Uh, dream sequence or something. I mean, everything's all hazy. It seems like a little hazy, fuzzy. Just a trippy place to be. Beautiful yet trippy. <laughs> Showing the blast mask and blow blow both of us up. <laughs> okay, what? Well, you don't want that one. Jeez, right, dude. What well, well, mask? Don't be picky. Just give what I give you. I mean, get take what I give you. Yeah, give what I give you. <laughs> give what I give you. Give what I take you. After you give it. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to use uh, the Zora's mask to get through this here. This should not take long. Or leaky style. Yep. Hyrulean style. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh Hyrulean style. Well, what's Hyrulean style? You scream, hee all the time. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 All right, the enemies from Castlevania 64. <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. You have to go through the right path. The right path. Yeah. The right path. Oh, oh, oh. E, C, W. No. The white stuff. <laughs> yeah. The Word I Yank makes song, or the cover of the, the song. Of the yeah. right stuff. That was a band with me, Jeff, uh, J Man, and We Got back in our 80s days. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it totally was. was you were called the White band. Stuff? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were a gay band. Sorry. We, we didn't know. <laughs> now, there's anything wrong with that. Now, there's anything wrong with that, George. No, of course not. My father's gay. <laughs> he was a bra. <laughs> yeah, the bro. The bro. Oh, stop being picky. Just take. <sighs> Jeez. Oh. Yes, the mask of truth. You can't go wrong with that. That's the mask of Danny. Yeah. Let me steal the good mask. 
Yeah. Whoa, it's the moon quake. As the moon is still trying to crash, as a giant is trying to hold it up. Mm. Alright, so I skipped through some boss boss rush. Forget all that stuff we've seen before. Nothing to see oh, here. Psh, 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 nothing to see here. Psh, psh, psh. So now using the uh, bomb chew. Ah, oh, come on. That was close enough. Douchebag. I'm blow you up. Dang it, douchebag CPU. Come on. Uh, uh, boss rush. They had a boss rush in this. Yeah. I hope it was something, a side thing. I think it was. You fight Road Warrior. What? Wait. You fight Road Warrior Hawk. Uh, what a boss rush. <laughs> oh, there we go. I see what I did there. Fail. And what happens if you run out of those? Uh, well, you're screwed. Luck, buddy. Yeah. I guess you go back and like hit pots that form or, or respawn or whatever and, and get some more that bomb trees on. That invisible ladder that just showed up somehow. Uh, yep. Uh, the heart piece. This might be the last one. Man. Yes, now we're fully maxed out on life. You have found every heart piece in this game, Ronnie. You officially have no life. <laughs> right, yeah. Need some laser truth here to discover some things. Let's see, I don't have the acid truth anymore, so. Ah, wait a minute. The ass of truth? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Billy Gunn. I, I thought maybe you could use the lens of truth to look at naked ladies in high level. It's a trick, you just see their skeleton. Oh, oh man. That would be honest truth. Yeah. I can see right through you. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I remember this trick. I think this is done Ocarina of Time also, if I'm not mistaken. What the hell? Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. That was stupid. What's the point of that? I guess to show off. I I thought it was it's off like Ziggler. Yeah. I'm here. The oh, show there, we there we go. Oh. Ah, the debris injured my arms. Yeah. All right, let's melt the ice here to shoot the eye. Open the dough. Open the dough. Make some biscuits. Yeah. Is he freaking mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look at the wallpaper. Hey, it's Sam Fisher. <laughs> Sam Fisher. <laughs> oh, Sam Fisher. Hey, I don't get it. <laughs> Splinter Cell. Yeah. Is it a guy named Sam that fishes? Yeah, he, he fishes. It's an amazing adventure. Car he Carrie fishes Fisher's toes. Carrie I Fisher. Him in the throat. Or Amy Fisher. Now it's time to finally face Majora's Mask. Wait, you're All a Yeah, let's play. Let, let's play Majora's Mask. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Nice. I got the Fierce Deities Mask. It's the, EC, the ECW Mask. The best mask in the game. Ooh. You're the bad guy. Reg didn't, he, didn't he use that in um, uh, Ocarina of Time as well? No. Oh, okay. All right, so here we go. About to fight Majora's Mask. Let me equip the Fierce Deities Mask. So now I'm playing as a Final Fantasy character here. Yeah! That's right! Don't turn it off, because it's all right. It's got hair! Mask yeah, got <laughs> Oh, what the heck? No, I want to fight one mask at a time. What is this? They're all joining as one. Yeah. Or maybe not. 
You had them all, you were using them all, and now they're all turning against you? Right, yeah. That's crazy. It's time to unmask the truth. Who are you? Unmask. It's me, Austin. And the battle's done. I seriously doubt it. I have a feeling it's not over yet. No, it's not. No, not really. That's not freaky at all. Whoa, what the, his, his little webcam on the top, at the top there. <laughs> 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 webcam head. Yeah. Whoa, what the? Why the you take your mask of off? Sees you, Why are you taking your mask off, Link? Get the mask on, be more of an ECW esque battle. Did he steal it? Who? Uh, Majora's mask. Didn't they steal his mask off? No, Link took it off. Oh. I don't get that, but anyway. Yeah, this, that's, this game is not creepy enough. This <laughs> guy's freaking creepy right here. <laughs> Sounds like a pansy, just like Zant. Uh oh. I think I made it. He's gonna have a baby! Yeah, I think I made it Maya. Oh, the webcam transformed into a demon! Oh. He just did his period all over the floor and made two big whips out of it. But yours right. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Ronnie, I think our partner in crime fell asleep. Yeah, I guess Jeff fell asleep. What the heck? No, he I said wasn't. he was up at 5 a.m. this morning. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, use the light arrows here to, to uh, what's it called, stun him. Put the Stone Cold Stunner on him. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Yeah. <laughs> All right, this should be it right here, yes. Shut up, you pansy. Majority ain't got time for that. Right. Ain't nobody got time for that. Whoa. There goes the moon. No, not the moon. Don't don't get rid of the moon. Just uh, get rid of the evil of the moon. We still want the moon. <laughs> Looks like a shooting star. It's like a comet. The more you know. Dun, dun, dun. Nope. There we go. Well, there you uh, are. Yeah, there you went. been out for a few minutes. I've been trying to get it back. Back just in time to uh, see the end. Hey, wait. They destroyed the moon. What about the tides? Uh, I know, right? Jeez. Oh, shit. Well, we're fucked. It's going to turn into Wind Waker. That's what happens. Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's a new day. Yes, it is. Dun <laughs> dun 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 <laughs> Link, wake up. <laughs> Eat some bootios. It's a pancakes. It's, they're doing pancakes now. Yeah. Which is stupid. <laughs> yeah. They're like feeding them in the kids' mouths. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pouring them out of bootio boxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I don't know what type of know. weed the WWE creative is smoking. Right, yeah. Quote, unquote, creative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uncreative. Yeah. There's a skull kid back to normal. He's a duck faced son of a bitch. Yeah, there's the Giants. Oh no. E C well, W. Massive farts. Yeah. As sloth and friends leave. <laughs> I'm so mad. <laughs> you ruined my plan, you little Brad. No, he's well. He was on the influence of the mask. He wasn't the one who was, he was possessed by the mask. Now he's back to his normal self. 
Is is this is this the third mask movie? Is that what I'm getting from this? Yeah. Okay. Son of the son of the mask. Yeah. Stone Cold. We're like son of a bitch. <sighs> Yeah, sure. I'll send you a friend request. <laughs> I guess. Damn well, it. What's your problem sniffing at me? Uh, yeah, we were friends on Facebook, but don't ever talk to me in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, shut up and move on. <laughs> Oh good, we can finally burn this mask. Yeah. No, no, we better burn it for safety. Come on. Man. Well, the evil's left the mask, and that's what he came here for, is to get that mask back. Someone get this guy a jacket or something. It's freezing. Uh -huh. He's got the yeah, chills. He's, he's so cold. So cold and high. Shouldn't you be returning home? Shouldn't you be shutting up? I don't it, have a home. He doesn't have any nerve endings. He's just made of straw. Yeah, look, he has a Mario mask if you can see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's -a me, a Mario. Hey, I'm not in this game, you asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, could you, like, shut up and leave already? Yeah, why are you just coming about partings? We know what partings are about, buddy. Yeah. You and your weird-ass freaky mask. What the fuck? If you don't shut your mouth, I'm going to part your hair with this steel chair, son. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude, just shut up and leave. <laughs> we'll be filled with happiness if you leave. Yeah, there's a Ninja Turtle mask, and there's a Bane mask. Is that really a Ninja Turtle mask, or...? No, it looks like it. It does. And there's a like Super it. Mario mask. Yeah, it kind of does, yeah. There's a Slipknot mask. <laughs> there's a mask mask. Indeed. I'm a mask man! Whoa. Is <laughs> is as if he disappeared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I go to live with my other really annoying creatures. Yeah. Yeah, so why don't you just shut up? <laughs> Too late, he's leaving. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Oh, shut up. You were all rude to Link. Now you're like, thank you. Hey, listen. Navi was annoying. At least she wasn't a bitch. And yeah. Hey, free fireworks. Oh. Shigeru Miyamoto, that dickhead. Oh. Hey, without him, there'd be no Zelda. He was also a dickhead who tried to sue everybody and their mother. For what? Oh, it's a long story. I'll have to read. I'll have to send you some articles about all the shit he's done. Oh. He's not as nice as you think. Uh. But I guess everybody's that way. Koji oh, Kondo. Hi. We got some nice, uh, yeah, music scene. Those <laughs> poor fish who had to die to make that. No, that doesn't sound too. Oh gosh, that sounds terrible. Ugh. Oh, 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 oh. Link didn't have sex with that thing. Sounds like a dying cow. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's singing out of her gills. <laughs> Dwayne Gill? Oh yeah, Dwayne. Jeez, Gilles. everything everything has to be turned to wrestling by me. I'm telling you, you can talk about a, a branch. That'd be like uh. uh you heard about that one time when Jr. Stone Cold stunnered uh, the Nature Boy? I haven't watched wrestling. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you're close. Stone Cold actually does the stunner, and uh, Jr. is a friend of his. So. Did, did, did you hear about about Old Man McMahon letting Vince McMahon run some of the wrestling federation thingy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's yeah. a ladder. Oh, a ladder match? <laughs> yeah, ladder, ladder match. I, I know ladder match. Yeah. Oh, it says uh, the word program. Shigeki or sh- program? Did you watch uh, that program, SmackDown? I thought it was really interesting. Actually, speaking of wrestling, I visit a um, a game store and I do some business with in Kansas City, and they always have old wrestling episodes playing in the background. This is before the WWE Network. They just had huge collections of tapes and DVDs. It's insane. Oh, cool. I guess it's easier to do it now with the WWE Network and all that, but it's just kind of yeah. interesting to see. Yeah, I, heard Vince trying, I heard Vince was trying to bring back the XFL or something like that. Oh, oh geez, my God. man. Donald, Donald Trump's making good money right now, you know. Oh, man. Jeez. You can yeah. There's the post, man. Actually, to- I heard Trump was actually going to give up his uh, payment as being president. Yeah, he did. He didn't that. take anything. That, that's a first for a president. Yeah, well, he doesn't need the money. I think there was one other president that that, that done that. I forgot which um, one it was. I think yeah, it was Roosevelt. I think, I think I think it was Chester A. Arthur. Oh, okay. I could be wrong there. Chester A. Arthur. Chester A. Arthur in elementary school. Yeah, Chester A. Arthur. Chester A. Arthur elementary school. My name is Zeus. Hey Zeus. No Zeus. They're playing the old Zelda theme here. Yeah. Our rendition of it. This game was really weird. I give it. Uh, I don't want to rate it actually. Yeah. I, I want to say go play Link to the Past and enjoy it. You damn kids in your graphics. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have graphics. We just had a stick in our imagination. Whoa. Yeah. We had a piece of cardboard and a piece of yarn. Yeah. <laughs> We, we had made, a stick and we pushed a hoop down a dirt road for fun. Hey, we made it work. We used to walk two miles in the snow to ski wall. <laughs> Uphill both ways, naked sometimes because our laundry didn't get done. We were barefoot as well. I had to carry 100 pounds of books across my back with nothing but a leather strap. <laughs> right? Hey, back in my day, I used to fight two boys at the same time that was messing with your sister. I knocked one of them out over my fist. <laughs> and if I saw it. Oh, go ahead. I said, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry, Grandpa. Your life sucked back then. You have the stuff we have now. And if I forgot to take one of them books to school with me, the moment I got home, I get the strap. Yeah. And that's why I try not to sound like one of those people. And I said, well, back in my day, we didn't have uh, uh, cell phones and or whatever it did. They were rare. And I didn't want to sound like one of those bitter old people. <laughs> that's well, why we're back in my day. And, and you're right, Ronnie. I didn't get a cell phone until college. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I had to have one at that point, but it was, uh. Oh, cool. It's the wedding of uh, Andrew and uh, Cafe. And and Link gets to go home and die alone. Yeah, oh, this, this guy. People who cosplay as him should, it should be a crime. Oh, yeah, someone got arrested in Japan for playing as him, and he got mm-hmm. killed in jail that later on that night. I don't condone that, but I'm just kidding. Yeah, that didn't happen. prisons are rough. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. That didn't happen. <laughs> Uh, well, no, in Japan, he's a everybody's a big fan. I think of of, uh, of yeah. What's his name in Japan? Well, Japan likes what shit. They sell used panties and they love tentacle porn. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Back in my day, we didn't have that stuff. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't have to. Actually, tentacle porn, in a sense, has been around since the 17th century. Oh yeah. Yeah. Back in my day, we just had a Japanese jo- dojo and learned karate, and that's it. Don't research any of that crap. Not worth your time. All right, I, yeah. I, like, I, like I don't know if I want to research it. Oh, all right, back in the mysterious forest where it all began. He's coming in there to kill himself. You know, he's got to end everything. <laughs> he's gonna hang himself from a tree limb. Yeah. High up into the sky. Yep. And then blowing the breeze from the wind. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, isn't that precious? Oh, they became it? friends at the end. Yep. That's so precious. Ever. Whoa, 
Oh. Sorry, a song. That's pretty cool. Yay, the end. What that is you the... get some voice acting? Yeah. Zelda. And that is the end yeah. of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, yeah, so like I said before many times, um, I don't hate this game, but it's not one of my favorite Zeldas either. Um, but I mean, they did, I give them credit for doing something different besides the uh, the old, uh, what's it called, uh, Battle with Ganon and Zelda and all that. They're not even involved in this game whatsoever. It's a completely, diff completely different plot and like an alternate universe because all the characters are the same. Uh, and like the way they look, but yet they're different characters. Except for the Happy Mask Salesman and Link, those are the only two the same characters from Ocarina of Time. And so, yeah. Um, so this game it wasn't bad for what it was, but I'm not a huge fan of the time, the going back in time all the time, and yeah. uh, before the, all the time. Started, yeah, yeah. And this game, uh, but it's very cool, very innovative. I can see why people favorite this over Ocarina of Time because of all the masks and get transformed to different. Uh, life forms like the Zora, the Goron, or the Deku Scrub. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, the mask, the whole, the game is pretty much revolving around masks, and it's pretty cool. To me, it just didn't have the same charm as Ocarina of Time, um, but it's still not a bad game. I would have to. It's a creepy game, though. I mean, you again, you're inside the the mat, the mask. You're inside the moon, and everything's all pretty and and uh, oh, everything's dandy and l dandy and everything, and it's just. <laughs> Uh, creepy, like creepy atmosphere. The whole game is very, very creepy, and uh, can really like give you nightmares. It's something you would dream up after you eat something right before you go to bed, and uh, like you wake up to understand the logic of what just happened. And I was a part of this MSN Zelda group years ago, and I was saying how Majora's Mask was the final boss was easy, and someone goes, "What? Well, well, did you use the Fierce Deity's mask?" I said, "Yeah," and they said, "Well, of course, the, it was easy. Then if you use the mask." I'm like, well, yeah, you're supposed to use the mask. It's not like I cheated. It comes with the game. I mean, it's in the game. It's not like I use a cheat code or a shortcut or a game shark code or anything or ECW mode. So, I mean, of course I use the Fierce Deity's mask. But anyway, before what it was, not that bad of a game. But personally, I'm about to give it uh, maybe a 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Spectre? Well, uh, personally, uh, even though... Zelda is probably like my favorite game series. I've never actually finished a Zelda game, and I'm hard to believe. Oh. Um, but yeah, <laughs> but um, the thing is, is that from the ones I've had experience with, Majora's Mask was the one that I always deterred from. I wasn't really interested in. I never got it on the N64, and I did get it on the 3DS when they ended up re-releasing it. I played it for a very limited amount of time and realized it was just not my game and then went and sold it because I just I could not get into it for the life of me. But now seeing it on the N64, I realized that I actually was glad that I got to see a playthrough of it from, well, it wasn't really from beginning to end, I don't think. I think I came, did I come into this playthrough like maybe halfway through or something like that, I think? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, was, I wasn't really sure, but being able to just go through and see it for what it is, I mean, it's, I realize now why I couldn't get into it. Just like you said, like with the constant going back and forth with the time travel and that whole shindig, and, and that would just aggravate me. Because one thing about me, even though being the big gamer that I am, I really do hate time limits in games. I hate being timed on something. I understand the reason behind it and why you know it's a big emergency or something for whatever the gameplay aspects are for the game i get it i understand it but it's not my thing i just i want to be able to explore i want to be able to really take my time with it. i want to be able to soak in the atmosphere if you will and just that was probably the main thing that was really holding me back from me trying to progress farther with it so overall i mean you know just being able to see it it's cool because i actually got to see it through to the end but as far as me going and just playing it for myself like just on a whim it, it will happen <laughs> Yeah. Now, so, wait a minute. Even Jeff has finished a Zelda game. Yeah, uh, I've um, actually finished a few Zelda games. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, so yeah. I think I finished Ocarina of Time, but I think I was cheating with a Game Shark on the N64 in order to do that. I do think I finished Ocarina of Time. So. How, how dare you cheat? Who cheats in video games? Yeah, gosh. <laughs> hey, it's single-player games is cool. It's not about getting good, getting good, fuck you. It ain't about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's about having fun, damn it. Yeah. 
But it don't yeah. matter. You need to sure, get good. Man. Even though you pay for the game, it's your game. But no, you need to get good. That's what really matters. It's not about having fun. Who says that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. Jeff, what do you got to say about this game? Well, as I didn't get to sit through all this. Now, I did watch a friend play it back in, what was this, 99, 2000 this came out? Yeah, 2000. I believe so. Okay. That's a, I remember, and I sat there and watched him play the whole thing, and I was bored out of my damn mind. <laughs> I like Zelda. I like the concept. But it seems like after Ocarina of Time, I just have had no interest in the game. It's just none. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to give it a 4.5. It's a decent adventure, but to me, it's just not... Go go play Link to the Past. I'm going to keep pushing that game until the day I die. Okay, well, there's actually someone that may disagree with what you just said. And so we have a special guest that did a pre-recorded commentary. He could, not, he could not be here with us live, but he hear these pre-recorded comments from the person that started this LP. Tibbs, Tibbs, what do you got to say about this game? The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, one of my favorite games of all time, and um, Ocarina of Time may be the one that gets a lot of the attention, and it deserves it, don't get me wrong, but there's something about Majora's Mask that intrigues me in some ways just a little bit more, whether it's the darkness of it, whether the whole thing about Link is dead and all that stuff, if you don't know what I mean, look up Game Theory, Link is dead, it'll give you something to think about. Just in general, and in fact, they only had a year to make it, from what I understand. It, it really is great, and when it initially came out, I was a little a little uh, nervous about it. It intimidated me, the whole idea of having a time limit, and I'll admit, I had the strategy guide growing up, the Nintendo Power strategy guide, and for all you kids out there, if you don't know what Nintendo Power is, I feel sorry for you, but... Um, yeah, and I, like I said, I'm, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, be here to finish this one out, but I definitely wanted to give my two cents about it. It's a fantastic, fantastic game. Where it ranks in terms of the Zelda games in general, wow, that's... Uh, it, it, with Zelda, you can't just go, it's not like, all oh, these are the top five, this is the top ten. It's like, what what is the best to me right now? And that could change on a daily basis. But from day one, I fell in love with Skyward Sword. For me, that and Ocarina of Time are like two sides of the same awesome coin. The N64 Zelda games. You can't have one without the other. So in terms of a rating, oh boy. Well, looking at it, has it stood up to the test of time? Absolutely. In fact, I think since the dawn of the internet, its popularity has exploded. Um, thanks to Let's Plays and game theories and all that stuff. In terms of like its structure as a game, it's not perfect. Not all of its mechanics are perfect, of course. And, uh, you know, only four dungeons, which some people may think is a negative, but I think they're four of the best dungeons in the whole series. So, you know, I can't be objective. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I may be ruining the integrity of this uh, glorious channel, but I'm not going to be objective here. I give this a rating of 1 million out of 10. Thank you very much. All right. Well, thank you, Tibbs. And, yeah, so. Um, and there's Tibbs transmitting to us out of a 1930s radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's over one million. Yeah. One million. <laughs> yeah. Up next will be War of the Worlds. Yeah. <laughs> War of the Worlds. <laughs> Jeff, actually, next is supposed to be, what, the sequel to whatever LP you did last year? I forgot. Oh my God! Uh, well, one going? of those laser games. Uh, oh, we still got, yes. Um, which one are we doing next? I will do it. I just need to know which yeah, one. I think you're supposed to do Mad Dog and Cree Part Two or something. Part I forgot. Two? Okay, Electric Boogaloo. I'll work on that tomorrow. You send me a reminder, and I want to do that. I do actually. I think that it was either that or I don't know. Go back to your. Uh, I'll go back to the yeah I'll the archives and see what the heck was next. I forgot, <laughs> but. I think it's Mad Dog McCree Part 2, though. I have to... I think Kevin Smith's in that one for a little bit, actually. Yeah. All righty, then. So, uh, I know you did a uh, Crown Patrol 2. I think that's what you did. Yeah, you did that. Yeah. You did the first two, and then Mad Dog McCree. I think he's supposed to do something else after yeah, that. I Mad forgot. Mad Dog McCree 2. And then we're going to do Space Pirates. Yeah, Space Pirates. But that was what I'm thinking of. Space Pirates, oh, yeah. Yeah, we should do Space Pirates first, and then we'll come back to... Because Mad Dog McCree's fine, but Space Pirates is going to be fantastic. Yeah. All right. So that's the end of this LP of Majora's Mask. Thank you guys for watching, and we are out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I'm Jeff. 
I am the rabbit inspector and uh, later taters. God bless. Take care. Yep.